lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? I just sat pretty good. Are we all pretty good? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's nodding, thumbs up. Guess who's with me today? Well, actually, there's two. Two special guests today. We've got the gorgeous Carol. Hello, and the darling. lovely Bella as well. How are you doing, beautiful? I'm very well, thank you. Feels like ages. It has been a while. I had my first show with Carol, you see. Ah, and now has she stolen you? Does yes, that mean maybe, I don't maybe get to see she's you? pinched. It's Carol and Carol. Carol and Carol. Carol and Carol. Double trouble. Double, <laughs> double trouble. You look lovely. You look lovely in summary. Thank you. And I think it's the first time I've seen your hair down. Maybe. You normally have it up. Well, you're looking lovely anyway. Thank you. Anyway, sorry, that's just random chit chat, isn't <laughs> just, it? Just gossip. Random chit chat. Um, <laughs> what have you been up to? Any goss? I had a little holiday. Very nice. Where did you go? Bella to the beach on the east coast oh very nice she had lots of fun lots of fun yep. lots lots of fun and we've got a great show today we have got some lovely lovely things well one of your all-time favorites if not yeah. favorites is beautiful pearls very beautiful pearls oh, that piece of jewelry carol is apps i saw it in the vt oh yes Beau i love that design i i thought i'll do something without a clasp for once so is that adjustable in a sense? Yep, it's just a lariat. You can make it short or as long. You can wear it front, you can wear it back. <sighs> Absolutely love that. I was feeling a bit Gatsby, I think. It, it is a bit Gatsby, <laughs> but it's also quite contemporary, I think. Yeah. You know, quite a modern twist. I was inspired. It's ins all those colours. Oh, well, we're inspired. <laughs> so that's coming up at... 12. 12 o'clock. Um, and the demo that you're going to be doing at 12 o'clock? The demo at 12 is Pearl Knotting. Lovely, great. So if you need to know how to do, it's, I mean, it's a wonderful skill, really, that can it's, take you a long way. It's quite intimidating, isn't it? Getting those knots in exactly the right place can be really tricky, but once you've done it, yeah. you can do it forever, and then your beads and your pearls and everything drape so yeah. beautifully. Beautifully. Yeah. Um, did I hear a whisper of a new tool as well? Um, we, we have the most marvellous bench top work holder um, and a absolutely fantabulous saw, my favourite saw of all time. Uh, so I hear, well, that, that, that looks, that, wow. It, oh, <laughs> it's just dreamy. So I, that looks like something from medieval times. It does look a little bit medieval. Yeah. Um, but I honestly haven't broken a saw blade since I got it. Oh, really? Yeah. So and I break a lot of saw blades. Do you? So <laughs> brand new saw blade, uh, not saw blade, saw. A lovely saw, bench top work holder, a file set. We've got all sorts of tools. So what's the what's the uh, nine o'clock all about then? Just you work of metal smithing, would you yes, say? Yes, so we're doing some texturing. Yeah. And we are texturing snake rings. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh, I'm excited. It is. It's super fun. Um, so there's your 9 and 12 o'clock covered. Should we go through what else is happening on this morning's show? Um, so at 8 o'clock, is it? It's International Putty Cat Day. Ah. Oh. Oh. And we have your early bird. And I know that we are a channel of uh, feline lovers. Feline lovers, well, and canine lovers, actually. Um, we have pearl sterling silver cat earrings. Oh. It took me down a rabbit hole last night, Listed. Oh, that's the cutest. They are adorable, because I started researching, because I thought, gosh, yeah, cats are very uh, present in lots of jewellery. You think Cartier, yes. probably being the most obvious. Um, with their panther um, and of course Egyptian times. Definitely Egyptian. So I went down that rabbit hole. Oh, lovely. What cats represent and everything. Um, we can text in, that could be our texting topic, couldn't it? All things cat related. Oh, kitty catties, yes. Kitty cat related. Fav favourite cats. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're going to say your pet cats, obviously. <laughs> I have two cats. My two cats are the most antisocial cats ever. I think cats are quite independent though, aren't they? If you're used to dogs. Yeah. Yeah, but that, like we've got we've got two cats. One's called Pearl, because she's <laughs> she's all white and very pretty. One called Dave. Dave. They were <laughs> <laughs> no, they were named by my, my eldest daughter, because they're technically Aww. her cats in actual fact. But if ever we have anyone come round the house, they just disappear. Really? They will not they will not say hello. So like I've got friends, <laughs> best of friends who say, I don't believe you've got cats. I was like, I've never have. seen them. <laughs> they do, they literally hide. I've got two, I promise. Um, but they both just hide. Wow. Really antisocial. <laughs> Occasionally you might sit, well they'll sit in the window and then someone's going, right, I'm off. <laughs> Where do they go? 
Under the bed. Oh. They're going to hide under the bed. Hiding away. Yeah, because they're indoor cats. Oh, I see. We've got quite a, quite a busy road not far from us. So, right. Um, they've always been indoor cats. And to be honest, even with the, sort of the doors wide open, they show no interest in going outside anyway. <laughs> um, no interest whatsoever. They just want to stay indoors. Fair enough. So that's what's happening at eight o'clock. Your beautiful mini make, um, inspired by the Bill Skinner um, cat earrings. Nine o'clock, as we've, as we've discussed, it's all about the bench top uh, work holder and saw tools um all of those goodies then at 10 o'clock i'm excited about these um we have taken the alhambra to another level yes it's the opera but it also is I, again it's also very much like the alhambra motif isn't it it kind of recognizes the two it's a little bit clover-esque as well um so yeah it's an opera design it's brand new and you get the graduation they are 925 sterling silver and we've got them in the two colors as well so they're I absolutely love these. beautiful i mean look at that diamond cutting oh wow, look yeah. i had I'm a good look this morning when i arrived they are super lovely yeah i'm going to be getting a few of those i think look at that design and we're going to show you the inspiration but I'm, I, I, I looked at them and immediately thought of, yeah, so they're inspired by the Opera Tool bracelet, which is a casual £3,000, <laughs> um, if you want to get hold of that. Um, but I also, if you look at sort of the more, I don't know if it's more of a recent addition to the Alhambra, they also, it's, yeah, it does look concave, yeah, like draws the eye, like a vortex. Ready? Ooh, yeah, it's amazing that, isn't it? absolutely amazing um but again if you look at the alhambra they also do this kind of design this kind of diamond cutting so um yeah which is what i sent you roscoe um so yeah loads and loads and loads of goodies then at 11 o'clock lovely jewelry makers we have last chance opportunity of the absolutely exquisite do long jade if you are looking for um, if you're looking for the finest quality of jade, the, one, the, the most amazing water content, then Doolong Jade um, is most definitely, definitely um, the one to look for. We've got two brand new pieces as well. Um, we have had it confirmed. We are not getting any, any more um, of your Doolong. Um, well done. Okay, so that's coming up at 11. It's going to be epic. Then 12 o'clock again, as we've discussed, all about that beautiful necklace that our lovely Carol has created. And the technique is, of course, your pearl knotting. Um, so do get your text messages in as well, lovely jewellery makers. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you've got any feline stories. I know Mark <laughs> always shares a little bit of a putty cat stories. His Ripley's a bit naughty. Oh, we like Ripley. Likes to share. <laughs> Loves to share. Um, <laughs> let's get cracking, shall we? Ooh, starting with... Um, Oh, yeah, they did, yeah. Scholar Sight. Love Scholar Sight. <laughs> On the other side, Al. I only know to look right. <laughs> Here we go. I love Scholar Sight. It's a beautiful gemstone. It's a little bit uh, seraphonite. <clears throat> Warm up your vocals, everybody. Are you ready? Say it together. It's a burn. <gasps> it's a burn. <laughs> For a beautiful, natural, genuine gem. So that was Becky. Yeah, she did really well. Come on, Becky, do it again. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well done. She's got that down. <laughs> Very good. Literally, Frank Butcher could be in the building. <laughs> Now, remember, you can't see all of our um, one pound auctions. We hide them away because people complain that they get shop, that they get they get sold out before we even get to bring them to air. So we hide them now. It's a cunning track, uh, a cunning uh, trick. Sorry that uh, Roscoe has come up with. Next up, then, right? You know what's happening, don't you? Next up, lapis lazuli, beautiful jewelry makers. Fingers at the ready. Oh, look at that colour. That's natural, by the way. It's not dyed. Oh, that's stunning. Amazing quality. The wow. auction's open. <gasps> go, 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 go. It's burned. Go back. It's burned. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. You go on holiday tomorrow as well, don't you? Where are you off to? Benidorm. Benidorm. Yes. 
Do you know, um, uh, I broke a rib in Benidorm. <gasps> <laughs> It does sound like a song, doesn't it? I broke a rib in Benidorm. <laughs> um, when I was in my early 20s going on a hen do, I went on one of those bucking broncos. Oh, no. I have not set anywhere near a bucking bronco ever since. I'm not <laughs> surprised. I bet it's it breaking a rib, doesn't it? <laughs> no, don't go on there. They, they are dangerous. I went flying. Absolutely flying. So avoid the bucking broncos, Becky. <laughs> I actually wasn't. No, Adam. I'd actually don't just gone out. I think I'd had one drink. It kind of ruined the rest of the night then, didn't it? Yeah, because I was dancing like that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Once I had a real thing. <laughs> so avoid back in Broncos. There's my Benidorm tip. Um, the last of your one pound deals is beautiful Tiffany Opal. Um, Adam saying he's never been on a bucking bronco, but he thinks he'd enjoy it. Yeah, I mean you have to be able to hold on very tight. Clearly, I didn't have that. <laughs> I didn't have that strength. <laughs> bucking broncos. Madness. Oh, the things you do in your twenties, eh? Right. Last of your one pound deals. Natural from Utah. One locational gemstone, all the way from Utah. Very difficult to get hold of as well. It's a fusion. This is a wonderful cocktail of amazing gemstones. Um, you get one of the most exquisite, almost like a blueberry colour, I think. Like a blueberry. What do you reckon? It Mixed is, with ice cream. It? Yes, it looks sort of pastel blueberry, blueberry. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Full of antioxidants, by the way. Great, <laughs> great for dogs. Not your gemstone. No, not your gemstones. <laughs> yeah, blueberries. Um, one pound deal. It's a pound. How many have you got, Roscoe? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Less than 10, he said. There we go. There we go. It went all quiet then. I was like, is he, are you there? Hello? <laughs> is there anybody is there? Is there anybody <laughs> there? Check out your baskets. And again, texting. Come and say hi. Do you keep cats? <laughs> Sold out. Well done. I mean, why not? Why not? What's your cat called? Um, is there a particular reason for naming your said cat that name? Uh, do they like to bring you gifts? Have you got any cat stories? What's your favourite cat? All those things. Um, last of stock, beautiful appetite in a bundle. Ooh. That's what we like to see, Roscoe. So six and four millimetres. Some might even say these are the most popular sizes now. Would you agree? <coughs> is that true, Adam? You had a cat called Dick Turpin, was he? He had a little mask. Ah. Oh. He was. He, was he rescue? Was he rescue? Um. His his people, his his owners. His humans were leaving the country, so Dick Turpin stayed with you. Oh bless. Ah. I acquired a cat that way as well. Very similar. Um, my first cat as a grown-up, my first cat as a grown-up, my, um, when I lived back in Wales, my next door neighbours, um, they moved and they just left her. No. They literally just left That's her. That's horrid. And she's the most beautiful cat as well. She couldn't meow. She used to go, <laughs> <laughs> She couldn't meow. And she would have been a little old lady. So I was like, come on. Her name was Jazz. Come on, Jazz. And she lived with me till the rest, until she was little. Aww. Yeah. I know. She was just let sat under a tree. It was heartbroken. Breaking. How do come people on. do it? I know I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was like, come on, Jazz, you can live with me. Yeah, move in. <laughs> um, a parcel. So your six millimetre and four millimetres, both of which are full thirty-eight centimetre strands. One of the hottest gemstones, most certainly, um, of 2024. I think we'd all agree these would be lovely. How about with just to sort of tease you with something else that's coming up? Some beautiful pearls. How about with your do long? You do long, 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 you do long, long. Um, we're at £20, that's £10 per strand. But we're not stopping there. We're going even lower. He's on form this morning, is our Roscoe. I can feel it. He says, when am I not? That's true. <laughs> He's always firing on full cylinders, is our Roscoe, with these amazing deals. Um, this is our weekend coming up, isn't it? Bex, when did you get back from your holidays? Aren't you, oh, so you're back. I'll be back in 
You're back for your for the shows. Oh no, we're on Wednesday, Friday then, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, ten pound strands. That's good. The six mil should be more than what we just saw. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Seven pound fifty for a natural, genuine gemstone. I can't get over that colour. I just I never ever get bored of it. You could just dive in. Yeah, I you? just I could stare at it all day. It's almost like. Do you remember the herbal essence advert? Was yes. it herbal essence <laughs> within the tropical lagoon. That's what I always imagine when I see beautiful appetite of this quality. Shampoo. Uh, <laughs> shampoo. Yeah, basically. <laughs> You know, because we all wash our hair like that lady did. Oh, yes, if um, only. We all do that. Uh, £7.50 per strand. Again, natural, beautiful, neon appetite. Morning, Samantha. Lisa, Denise, Helen, Heather. Hello to you, Paula. Yorkshire, you're there as well. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. It is for both. You do get both. How amazing is that? It's brilliant. For the rarity that is neon appetite, and I would call this neon appetite personally, um, it forms the average carat weight of this gemstone is just 0.15. So these are huge. Wow. Absolutely huge. Have we got any putty caps uh, messages, Roscoe? <coughs> see, see, it's funny, isn't it? Because lots of people say you're either a cat person or a dog person. I think you can be both. I'm both. For sure. Oh, Ross likes pigs. Just animals in general, yeah. 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 Um, hi, Miss Janet. Hi, lovely jewelry maker, folks. My cats hide when they want uh, most of the time. But oh. cats have been my lifesaver, um, especially when um, stuck at home recovering, yeah. Yes, so I'll bless it's you, very yes. comforting to have they animals around. And that around. sound of them purring yeah. is lovely. Um, can't believe these haven't sold out yet. That's £7.50 per strand. Yeah, oh, so it's not just my cats that are antisocial then. <laughs> they also really, and there's no reason behind it, they really dislike my husband. <laughs> they do. They, my cats do not like Tom at all. How peculiar. Yeah, they will literally walk like round the circumference of the room to avoid him. <laughs> and he's like, I'm only ever nice to you. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, bless. It's all rejected. <laughs> he is rejected. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Here are your early birds that are coming up. Lovely uh, jewellery maker folk. It's all about your beautiful mini makes, of which you get everything that you need to make beautiful jewellery. Um, so you have the cat part is actually in the stud. Actually in the stud. Can you see that there? Very Cartier inspired. Then you get two beautiful, let me just double check before I say it. Yeah, two through drilled pearls, which will sit on your little mini head pins gold plated sterling silver head pins and then you've got your butterfly backs there as well um we've got them as you can see in the silver and in the gold in terms of quantity oh we've got good quantity of the silver 250 um but i do think we're a channel of, of cat lovers so i think they're going to be incredibly popular so i would encourage shopping ahead on those um and there's meaning as i learned last night meaning behind um cats in jewelry as well um of course <clears throat> Ancient Egypt used to love cats, didn't they? 100%. Yeah, very meaningful to the Egyptians, I think. Yeah. Um, they're quite, as, as, as creatures go, I think cats are very sensual. And very feminine. I very think. feminine. That's one of the things I read, actually. Yeah. yeah. One of the things I read. Amazing. Right, should we bring you some more deals? Four millimeter jadeites. Oh, well, these are pretty. They'd they be lovely with the do long. They'd be lovely with the projects as well. Good. We want to see how many of you are watching on this glorious Thursday morning. This with your with your Tiffany Opal. <gasps> Lovely. Be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wisteria. Oh, look at that colour! Isn't that gorgeous? For Type A Burmese jadeite, mined out in 2020, 800 years history, still to this day one of the most valuable gemstones that exists on our planet. Now Ross says, "L, you might not know this, but." This was Wayne's manager special. No, I did not know that because I wasn't there on that day. He had 510 <gasps> and now there's nine left. Was he a tinker? Do you want to see a price that you're not paying today? It's funny because those manager specials, they all just wanted to outdo each other. They did. It was very competitive. <laughs> oh, not paying 19.99, Carol. Goodness me. This is all Wayne. Is he back, by the way? 
three to four millimeters in a full 38 centimeter strand. <clears throat> Natural Burmese, a really lovely, delicate apple blossom green. We actually don't know if Wayne's back or not. <laughs> Is he back today? Ah, uh, okay, he's back today. Do you reckon he'll be all suntanned? One of the best value jadeite deals that we've ever done in jewelry maker history. Wow. Well, I guess, yeah. Like I said, if it's down to a manager's special deal this price point, then that says it all, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah. That, that is one of the lowest prices I've ever seen on Jade Eye, especially in rounds. You know, the quality of the colour, the translucency, the fine crystal structure, it's not matte, it's not opaque. I'm thinking about a lovely tassel. Yeah, for Jade Eye ads. Ads is like, what? For Jade Eye? It was Wayne's manager special deal ads. That's why. He did 500 at this price. <clears throat> We've got the final nine. 510, sorry. Uh, Lisa, well done. I've got Angela there. Lynn wants three. Dawn, you're there. Pauline, you're there. Uh, Helen, good morning. Cheryl, you've got yours. I, I, I agree. Uh, Ross has just said that's as good as a one pound deal, isn't it? Definitely. That when is you can see the rarity price. of the gem. It is completely crazy. Susan, make sure you check it out. Brenda, remember everything on this hour will time out um, or sell out. Um, so this we only actually had nine and it's looking very close to being an on-screen sellout jewelry makers. Um, Lillian Wiltshire's got three. Angela's got three. I've got makers still with it in their baskets. Good luck, everyone. They've gone. Well done. Well done. Well done. 510. Gone like that. Crikey. Don't forget your early bird. I'm just being a little putty cat. I love it when cats clean themselves. And do you know the best, the, the cutest part on my cats? They've got, my cats are half Maine Coon. Oh yeah. So they're quite big. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but I love it like, when they're sat down. Of course they've got pristine feet because they yes. don't go outside. <laughs> um, I like that little fluffy bit in their pads. And their toe beans. I love that little fluffy bit. <laughs> it's very cute. Uh, let's do some what? blue sapphire oh yes please wow natural blue sapphire no less stunning mm. oh, i mean isn't it incredible that we get to work with gemstones of this caliber it's amazing and get to work with them at affordable price tag yeah, as well absolutely <clears throat> we're gonna give you an absolutely blinding affordable price tag today for natural blue sapphire one of your big four, of course. Look at that, look at that, look at the luster. Literally dance from facet to facet. Amazing quality. A bit like our Becky's going to be doing in Benidorm. <laughs> She's going to be doing a bit of dancing, aren't you, Bex? Uh, we're going to do it in three price crashes. Are you a good dancer, Bex? No, I reckon you could. I reckon she could cut some shapes. Is that what you say these days? Uh, <laughs> $19.99. $19.99. That's price crash one. You got two more. Wow. You got two more. Yeah. For sapphire. For sapphire. Genuine sapphire. That beautiful cashmere blue sapphire. So twinkly. Second price crash. Ooh. Ooh. Natural sapphire. 25 carats of it. Yes, please. Who wants it under ten pounds? Oh, right. time to multiply. Yeah, under ten pounds, yes. Carol. Where else in the world brings you genuine gemstones of this grade at under a tenner? No pity, yeah. surely. I don't know anywhere. No, I generally don't. Um, I generally don't. You could literally go all out and create a beautiful big tassel sapphire tassel, yep. couldn't you? you? I mean, at that price, you can use them as spaces. You could. You literally <laughs> could. Under ten pounds, lovely jewelry makers. How many do we have, Russ? Thirty-two available. Oh, that's good. Nine. Let's not get used to this, though. <laughs> this is just my reminder that that's not normal. This is a rare, beautiful, valuable gemstone. Yeah, imagine. Imagine you're sort of sat across a table from from um, a high-end gemstone dealer and you're like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in 25 carats of sapphire. <laughs> I want it to be the quality blue, though, you know, the ones that you find in the high-end boutiques. Um, here's a £10 note. What does that get me? Yeah. You know, it's not it's not. You wouldn't a be expecting much, would you? But... No. Maybe one? <laughs> Maybe one. Yeah. Maybe one stone. And you could treat them as solitaires, couldn't you? Yes, absolutely. A sapphire is a sapphire. Yeah. 
You don't have to use them with the, with the drill hole. No. Nope. You could actually set them maybe in your silver and your uh, metal smithing. Yeah, I think I've set <coughs> sapphires in metal clay as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, because you could heat them. You can heat you? them, Lovely. Yeah. Um, we have 32. Morning, Derbyshire. Morning, Fife. Morning, Samantha. Morning, Janet. Morning, Irene. Anne, Anna, Pauline. Another Irene. Ross is saying in my ear, what's going on? <laughs> it's, it's what, 25 past eight. We've just brought genuine natural sapphire of this quality. And we've just brought you type A jadeite for $14.99. Two strands of natural appetite for $14.99. And this sapphire strand for under a tenner. It should be, they should be selling faster is what is point. They should be, they should have sold out. Shouldn't they, Ross? So drop us a text message. Maybe, maybe a few people are having a little lie in this morning. There's no time for that though, is there? We've got deals to bring you. <laughs> Amazing gemstone deals. Yeah, um, text in, text in. I mean, seriously, we have brought you an absolutely incredible lineup thus far. That is a stunning selection of stones. Yeah. It pays to get even... up early, doesn't it? Oh, it, does. it definitely <laughs> does. Especially when Ross is in the hot seat. Yes, pushing Especially. buttons. He ain't scared of the one pound deals and <laughs> sapphire oh. under 10 pounds. Goodness me. Um, <laughs> uh, Ross is saying, do other producers <laughs> Yes they did. Yes they did. Um um uh, Ross is saying, did Laura Rachel do the one pound deals on the weekend? Yes they did. They did. Just checking in. You checking in? <laughs> we were talking about the fact that you've uh, uh you might have micromanaged. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good. <clears throat> no, it was it was it was good, Roscoe, because we literally had and we were talking about the Cotan deals that you left with us. So it was a, it was micromanagement wasn't about wasn't a negative conversation. It was a positive conversation. Um, anyway, don't forget your early birds, beautiful putty cats in your wonderful mini mate projects with genuine cultured pearls. We've got them in the um, gold plated silver and we've got them in the 925 as well. Oh, he's feeling all sensitive now. <clears throat> we let you down. <gasps> Harsh. Oh. <laughs> I don't ever want to let you down, Ross. How did we, how did we let you down? You best be joking. <laughs> he is joking, isn't he? Um, keep an eye on the website. You've got about half hour on this hour to snap up these amazing deals. Should we do some threaders? Oh, yes, please. Some lovely threader earrings. Pack of four. I'm just going to borrow this blackboard. One sec. So. Uno. Dos. So, one, two. You get this times four. Threader earrings, one of the hottest trends, aren't they? There are only 12 left. They were a previous early bird. They absolutely flew. Um, 109 out of the 120 that we launched <coughs> sold out previously. So this is a last chance opportunity. They are solid sterling silver. They work lovely with Carol's uh, projects. They're the amazing. so elegant, these threaders. Four pairs. You've got the little loop at the bottom as well. Can you see that? How about... Not ten pounds a pair for nine two five sterling silver. How about five pounds a pair? Wow, it's very good, isn't it? That's a brilliant price. They have got a nice drape, haven't they? It's a good couple of, I'm going to say, good couple, a good couple of inches, I'd say, to that drop. Yeah, and of course you've got the little aglet at the back there. That's what you pull through the piercing of the ear and the U bend, which is where it sits in the earlobe. They're incredibly comfortable. Uh, <clears throat> it means they're always going to sit at the same length as well. So um, if you like that continuity as well, we're at five pounds per pair. You can literally just um, wrap loop onto the bottom. <clears throat> I've got nine left. Um, there's a reason why so many of them flew on the first launch, lovely jewellery makers. We are not stopping at £5 per pair. We go even lower. Um, Ross has just had that moment of realisation. He says, I remember what we did on these. He says, ignore £5 a pair, I can tell you that for free. <laughs> I 
I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. Honestly, I've only had a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> London Dawn, Genoa, Mary, well done. Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence only. That's, That's four fantastic. pairs, it is, isn't it? Three and all you pair. have to do is add your charm or your bead or yeah, wow, pearl. Yep. And you've got some high-end pearl earrings. Yeah, they're a stash keeper, aren't they? Those. Would you never, would you would never, ever, ever in a million years sell anywhere near the price point? No, no, do not lost. sell it for that price. No. I, funny enough, Susie was saying exactly the same yesterday. Um, those savings are for you guys. Well done. You need to be quick, though. These are extra, extra limited. Uh, hi, uh, uh, Julie and Lucy and Joanne and Sheila and Janet and Mary. You need to check them out. We only had nine. Uh, Jacqueline's on the phone lines as well. Well done. We also did another. We did two massive auctions. Um, well, we've done quite a few massive auctions in our time, haven't we? <laughs> um, but another popular auction was the beading thread. We had 300 initially. I've got 30 of them left, which means 90% of the stock has gone. If Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've got your pure white. You've got your jet black beading thread. I mean, this is so lovely. Beading thread doesn't have to be hidden, does it? No, and black and white are colours that go with everything, aren't they? So yeah. you've got your metres and metres and metres of projects and fun there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, you could do things like your illusion pearl necklace and actually have yes. them, have, like, imagine the black with Tahitian pearls. Gorgeous. Having the sort of uh, um, the beading thread exposed. It's lovely and strong as well. Um, we, never, we haven't done beading thread auctions other than this one for a very, very long time, actually. We used to see them all the time in our, you know, the standard steely coloured tiger tail. Yes. Which isn't necessarily as decorative. Um, not only that, they can also bring brightness or darkness to your gemstones as well. So you can really use them to complement the colours of your gems. Um, you're looking at 50 metres on each reel. Wow. So it's a lot. That's going to keep you going a while. Yeah, keep you busy, won't it? Yes. <laughs> um, made by yours truly. Jury maker. Uh, first price crash, not what you're paying. Oh. Oh, I brought these to her and I forgot it was. <laughs> Gosh, that's very good to say. Five pound a reel for five, 50 metres. That's very good. That's extremely good. If it was good. 10 metres, I'd say that's yes, great. Yes, exactly. You get 100 metres in total. You can see why 90% of the stock has already sold out. Yeah. Are we going to do these in different colours as well? I'd like to see that. Oh, be that nice would be to nice. See them like like yes. aquamarine blues. You could have like the apple greens for your jadeites, couldn't pretty, you? Oh, pretty, yes. They'd be nice. Pastel Gold. pink. Oh, yeah, pastel pink. Mm purples for something like your tiffany opal or your pearls oh yeah 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 your pearls <laughs> that are coming up later on see what you're thinking at <laughs> 7 99 well done as i said adam i don't know what's wrong with me today <laughs> i just <laughs> No more coffee for you. No more coffee for <laughs> Al. Um, Neil, Katie, Mary, Jean, hello to you. Christine, hello to you. Kathy, we've got 30, did you say, Ross? Um, 16 now, because they've, uh, they're absolutely flying. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Uh, but do bear with our wonderful call centre team. As long as you pressed your option one, um, you'll be all good. Uh, hello, Manchester. Hi, all at Jewelry Maker. I had to rescue uh, cats for, uh, sorry, I had two rescue cats for 13 years. Aww. Names? Big King and Big Ginge. Oh, Ginge. <laughs> I went with King. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, my days. I'm sorry, Manchester. <laughs> uh, big Ginge, that makes more sense. <laughs> and, and Big Bag. Oh, Big Bag Puss. <laughs> Ginger Tom's a little black, slinky, uh, a little bit sneaky. Elaine, I'm so sorry. I'm literally crying there. <laughs> I must continue reading and not just stop. Because if you just stop, you get yourself in trouble, don't you? <laughs> big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag, <laughs> big bag puss. Big bag puss. Oh, oh, remember dear. bag puss? 
Oh, Elaine. Yeah, it's lovely to rescue, isn't it? Yes. Um, hiya, Barry in Essex. We have two cats called Mickey and Minnie. Oh. And can you tell uh, we are mad about Disney? Um, even though we don't have children, nothing wrong with that, Barry. Nope. Nothing wrong with that. I, I, like, who doesn't love Disney? Disney, like, Disney's just happy, isn't it? It is. It's jolly and cosy, isn't it? And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually disappointed, Barry, that my three-year-old... Uh, I'm literally crying, look. <laughs> um, my three-year-old hasn't... She's not reached the age... Uh, Willow used to sit and watch all the Disney films all the time, very, very young, whereas Tiggy hasn't got that attention span. Oh. So it's like, come on, let's watch Moana. Come on, let's watch Moana. Shall we watch, shall we watch Aristocats or something like that? She's not interested. Not interested. She's not Aww. interested. Um, oh, apologies again, Elaine, for not reading your message properly. Um, well done, everybody. Lots and lots of you there. It could have been Ging, though, couldn't it? <laughs> it could have been Ging. Ging. That's what... <laughs> well done there's loads of you there loads of you there that, um, let's do some pearls for you yes yeah, oh let's about it um, <laughs> some beautiful peacock pearls we don't see them that often literally crying ah <laughs> uh, uh, peacock pearls and these lovely oh look at that oh the those. kaleidoscope of color that you're getting on those oh. wonderful overtones dreamy they are Peacock pearls have always been a firm favourite, I think, on our screens. I love peacock pearls. Yeah, what's well, not to love? It's a beautiful well, colour, isn't lot. it? Yeah, and they go with everything. Yeah. And, yeah. Because you get that gorgeous blue, but actually then you also get, oh, hang on a minute, there's some there's some green, there's some gold, there's some like uh, bronzy light tones that naturally form across the surface of the pearl. In particular, I think, with your peacock colours, like yeah. Tahitian pearls. Yes, absolutely. That darker body colour almost enables the overtones, doesn't it? You get it? those nice oily colours on yes. top. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect description. So even here at 99.99, I think we'd all agree that's an amazing price for genuine cultured pearls. Have we got many, Russ? 22, it's so not that many. Peacock, peacock, peacock pearls are Ross's favourite, he says. Yeah, I get it. I totally get that. It's a very distinctive, it's a very distinctive variety of pearls. Um, yeah, beautiful. And they complement every single colour as well. They do. If you love peacock pearls, then I bet you love Tahitian pearls as well, because yeah. there's definite similarities. Very similar. Six to seven millimetres, ignore ninety nine ninety nine. We're not stopping there. Forty nine ninety nine for genuine culture pearls. We've halved that price for you. It's a, a lovely shape. So there's one on this strand on the back of my hand right now. You can see it's a perfect drop. And then you've got some which are more elongated. Very, very elegant. There's that one. You see, perfect drop. I love Beauty. how they all have their own little personalities. They do. No pearls the same. No, I find no it, I just find it adorable amazing and if you want to learn how to pearl knot then make sure you're watching at 12 o'clock today yes. because our carol's going to uh, be demonstrating that now we only have 22 of these available let's go lower today shall we it's the early bird hour wayne's back today so you know it's our last day to be unruly <laughs> it's not, well i say that as if we're not unruly anyway oh you think oh he's back to work today right yeah, it does feel like he's been away for absolutely ages, but he's been on a holiday on top of a holiday yes. on top of a holiday. Is he going to be jet lagged? I don't know, it's only six hours oh, from Cape like Verde. So I don't think so. Okay. Don't think so. <laughs> More like, hunk. yeah, so I'm sure it's about six hours. Because I remember, because we're going to Cape Verde as well at the end of this month, and um, I remember that was our cut off for Tiggy. We're like, no longer uh. on that on the plane. Yeah. That, I, like, no, long haul with a three-year-old, no. No, that seems no, like no, a bit no, of a no, nightmare. No, no. 34 pounds and 99 pence only, lovely jewellery makers. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Perfect for your knotting. Um, what kind of silk would you add with this? Ooh, I've quite often done them on purple. Nice. But then I, I'm a bit of a purple fan. Purple. 
Lilacs. Lilacs would be very Pinks. nice. Pinks, I think, goes with every kind of pearl. Yeah, it does. It does. Whites. Yeah. Goes with the white pearls as well, beautifully. Uh, make sure you're checking out, everybody. Well done. And uh, don't forget about your early bird. As you, If you're joining us on this auction, then I'm guessing you're going to be loving as well the early bird, which is a, a beautiful little mini make all focused around pearls um, and your body gaps. Um, well done, everybody. Okay, moving on to, should we do a huge closeout deal? Huge, colossal. We Yay. want to see how many of you are watching this morning. Um, he says, I don't know a great, a huge amount about this gemstone. Oh. Russian flower jade. No, I don't know anything about it then, really. It's a type of jade, okay, obviously, which I assume is from Russia. Okay. Uh. And we've got 50 available. Is it natural, Ross? Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Like float. It's got like floating flower. It's also a little bit serpentine. Amazing. Yeah, I, I, you know, we'll always be honest and upfront and just say, look, I actually don't know that much about this one. You might have seen the launch. It was launched by Dave. Um, this uh, one thing I can guarantee is that this will be old mine. Yes. Because um, anything that we have from that location, without getting too much into it, will be old mine. Um, we're not sourcing anything moving forward from this location for the foreseeable, anyway. Um, and that's natural color. You get this really, yeah, almost serpentine like a zesty lime green color. And uh, if you think about your Burmese jade where you get your floating flowers, where you get these lovely kind of blossoms inside, that's what I'm seeing in this beautiful strand. Okay, we've got 50 available. Um, we're kind of, yeah, we're approaching this blind, aren't we, Ross? Because we don't know anything about it. We don't know what kind of price point it really <laughs> should be. Um, we've, we've never, as in our shift side, we've never done a show on this. I think it was on the other side. So you probably know more than we do, to be honest. Um, but it's a really beautiful colour, isn't it? Look it's at that. Gorgeous. An amazing, amazing zesty colour. Yeah, it's very summery, I think. I like that variegation as well. The fact that you've got different tones of yeah. the same colour. Yeah. Yeah, because there's really almost like serpentine, but there's also seraphonite shades in there mm. as well, isn't there? Much darker. We're at £99 and 99 pence only. 50 are going to sell out today. And again, we don't know if this is right or wrong. I'm going to guess it's probably wrong. How low we go depends on you. Oh. So, we're going to do a huge price jump. If there's no reaction, we'll stop there. <gasps> Which will still be amazing. But Ross is saying he is willing to go lower if there's enough of you there. Because we've got 50. Okay, so it's all down to you. First price crash. Okay, that's interesting, right? Okay. Oh, that is a big jump. That's 80 pounds. An 80 pound jump. We will go lower, but this is all down to you. So, should we put, should we do something like 60 seconds then? Oh, yes. 60 seconds to show Ross that you want to get hold of your Russian flower jade. This 60 seconds, that's it. We're not doing another one after it. You will define whether we take it lower or we don't. You got, you got a minute to show Ross. You don't have to check it out just yet. So clearly you're all far knowledgeable than we are on this amazing gemstone because there's an immediate reaction on the web. Ah. The more of you that are there will, will dictate whether Ross A takes it lower, B by how much. It's looking good, he says. We could do with a few more, but you're on the right track. I'm repeating Ross now. <laughs> um, okay, there's 50 available. There is a definite reaction to this, Roscoe. Uh, okay, yeah. It's natural as well. We're going to take a big chunk off that price. We know it's probably wrong. I don't think it should be under 20, he says, to be honest. Then no, yeah, I any agree. Any variety of jade. <laughs> Has closed higher in the past, apparently. Oh. But we've never we've never actually brought this through as in our, our shift side. So So we're claiming ignorance. Yeah, we'll just go, <laughs> I don't know, sorry about that. I didn't. We're over allocated now, fantastic. Right, okay. So race to the finish line, see who manages to secure theirs. Ooh, yes. For Jade. 
How amazing is that? Yeah, literally, our argument, if, uh, if we get pulled up on this or be it, I don't know. Yeah, didn't know what... We, no, it's it was, not a it good new. argument, but it's all we got, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> We're sticking to it. <laughs> Isn't it, Russ? It's not a strong argument, but that's all we've got to work with. Yeah, basically. So I don't, I don't know anything about it. Basically, yeah. Yeah. We got nothing else to go off. Uh, Christina, Maureen's got two. Margaret's got two. Jacqueline, Regine, Denise, Brenda, Lisa, Lucy, Pauline. Another Pauline's got two. Um, you're right. If this was ser if this was serpentine or seraphonite, it would be over. It would be much higher. Much much. It's actually a rare a rarer gemstone, arguably. Tessa, I love that name. Tessa in Kent's got two. Uh, I've got Cornwall, Carol, the Maker, uh, Tracy, Sharon, Kerry, Anne, Michelle, Justine, Mertha Tidville, Janet, Hello to Lynn, Helen, Dawn, Zoe, uh, Wendy, you've got yours. Tracy says, I'll have three. Thank you very much, Ross. It's all good, isn't it, Ross? It's all good. Lots of multi buyers. 50% um, of the collectors have actually multi-bought on this. So clearly you are far more knowledgeable than we are um, on your beautiful Russian flower, Jade. It's lovely. It's a gorgeous colour, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Don't forget your early birds as well. Jewelry makers all about your beautiful putty cats. Um, hello, Marie in South Yorkshire. I have five cats, Ooh. all from the same litter. Um, they're getting old now. Ah, oh, they're 18 years old, and I love them like my children. Wow. wow. So did you have them all? You had five kittens all at once? All at once? I, but if I had kittens in my house I don't think I'd be able to let them go so I'd probably end up with all of them yeah well. <laughs> we when we had Dave and Pearl Dave and Pearl are brother and sister um and when we had them we had off, the only my, my next door neighbor's cats um they were they were going to get neutered in actual fact and they found out that that one of them that she was pregnant oh. obviously so we're like okay so it's like this conversation means we're going to end up with cats yes now, doesn't it 100 percent. and lo and behold we ended up with two cats <laughs> um anyway um so but they went on holiday not long after the kittens were born so we were like kitten sitting oh um and they 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 did they get they got home very very quickly but they had one called onyx a black one called onyx oh, and pretty. onyx lived with us while they were over in uh, mauritius because he's from mauritius um and for a period of time we had three kittens and it was just beautiful chaos yes beautiful chaos i lost a kitten up the chimney once you did what my kitten disappeared up the chimney did once. He? yes how'd you get him out we left a big tin of tuna at the bottom and it came back <laughs> yeah but it was in behind Come the fire. On. We thought we were going to have to knock the wall out. They're mischief, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Complete mischief. Yeah. There's beautiful chaos kittens. They're just adorable. They are adorable. I love them. I was. I always wanted to get my kittens to do their wee. Oh. Wee. But they never did. Oh. Never did. Yeah. That's Tried. disappointing. I know. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. And again, don't forget your lovely early bird. You have to do that, don't you? You do that over them. Apparently, that's what they do, but mine didn't. Um, now, we have the very, very, very last five, and we've mentioned this gemstone this morning, of your Lake Bacal at Seraphonite. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. Now, I love this gemstone. <sighs> Beautiful. So gem quality seraphonite comes from this location and this location only. Um, it's a beautiful rare gem that forms under some of the most extreme climates and weather conditions. Um, seraphonite literally forms under a frozen lake. Um, and it's almost like the, the, the frozen beauty is captured within a gem. It is incredibly rare. And we spoke about this when we first launched it, saying that actually prior to that launch, we'd only ever had one strand of Seraphonite rounds in the history of Jewelry Maker. One strand. Wow. In 14 years. Um, also, if you recall, this was the uh, um, launch where Ross made the suggestion, okay, well, how about instead, because normally the 10 mils are the most expensive, mm. then the 8 mils and the 6 mil. How about, and not everybody wants a full 38 centimetre strand. No. So he was like, how about we mix it up, make the larger sizes more affordable by bringing a shorter strand. 
So the 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 four mil was thirty eight. Is that right? No, the six mil was thirty eight. Um, then the eight mil was a bit shorter. Ten mil was shorter again. That's a good um, idea. Yeah, it is clever, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, Marie. Yes, they all came from the same mum. She was a strain we took in. Aww. Aww. Uh, we kept the kittens, uh, kept her and the kittens. Aww. And she lived her, ha her li life in happiness. Oh. Now, this is all we have remaining from this parcel. Every other size has sold out. It is irreplaceable. Um, never say never, but it's highly unlike. Well, we're not buying from this location at the moment. Um, again, it was it was actually miscommunication because Seraphonite and Serpentine are often actually just, we quite often trip on those with those gemstones. <laughs> so it was purely by mistake. Um, but then Bernard, one of our suppliers, he actually said, look, well, don't worry, this is old mine anyway. Um, the very, 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 very last of that parcel. Once this is gone, it's completely sold out. How many do we have? Eight, okay, out of 50. These were launched last week? Thursday the 25th of July. Not that long ago. Very new. And we're gonna sell it out today. Mm. Look at that, look at that beautiful pattern. Can you see the movement, the chatoyancy? So, here he is, this is Bernard, gentleman I just spoke about, and he said, um, so basically Wayne will approach Bernard and say, have you got this, have you got that? Um, and he said, have you got any seraphonite? What, what Wayne meant to say was serpentine. <laughs> now, um, let me explain. It's not that we wouldn't want seraphonite, it's just because there is um, an imp what we call a ban on that location at the moment. So he says, I do have a parcel of uh, seraphonite, uh, which I purchased in December 2021. 20, uh, At that time, it was quite costly due to its beauty and its rarity. It is some of the finest I have ever seen, specifically from Lake Bacal region. Um, I have all documentation to hand to confirm the purchase date. What he means by that to say is it's pre-conflict. Yeah. Um, I had this material cut into round beads of 10 millimeter, eight millimeter and, and six mil, but due to the sanctions on this location, i.e. our sanctions uh, are basically saying, okay, with the situation where it is, we're not gonna buy from this location currently. Um, this parcel has been sitting in one of my private vaults since then. Um, I would like to have it moved on. So he'd never offered it to us because we basically said, okay, we've kind of got like a little sanction. Um, anyway, have that being said, yes, that is in place. If it's old mine, then really we shouldn't really have a problem with it, I suppose. Um, he goes on to say, due to our relations, I'm willing to offer you this um, one-time cut price deal. And as requested, I have provided the 10 and the eight millimeter rounds on shorter strands, bringing the price down further. Because if these 10 mils, by the way, jewelry makers were kept at a 38 centimeter strand, they would have been much more expensive. It would have been three figures. Um, same with the 8 mil, so that's why we can actually bring you the larger sizes at a more affordable price tag. The demand for this gemstone is quite high, um, as it just isn't available right now. What is amazing about this parcel of ser uh, seraphonite, I almost said serpentine then see, um, is it is potentially the last parcel in the whole world available to you. You are getting inside access. Wow. Um, I hope that going forward our relations continue in good faith and our dealings bring much, uh, bring much prosperity lovely Bernard um, so now our customers are messaging thank you Margot um, I got the seraphonite um, it's so calming and beautiful it's now with my cabochons yeah it's I mean it's a, it's a rare gem isn't it Margot it's a gem that we don't have the privilege of seeing very often um, in fact we've had literally this parcel um, other than that one strand in 14 years of rounds Wow we've had cabochons yes but of rounds we've had one strand you know, we've brought rare. more grandidurite than yes. that. We've brought more parade tourmaline than that. That's more an amazing Alexandrite thing to be that. able to say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Goodness. Um, now, at 199 that's an unbelievable price tag, and that's most certainly probably where it would be if it, you had a full 38 centimetre strand. Now, we have eight in baskets, and we have eight available. <gasps> that doesn't mean to say that you won't be successful if you dial. We're going to go straight to that price tag worthwhile getting your certificate keep hold of the certificate because it will say late bacal seraphonite which is the gem quality seraphonite 69.99 
absolutely incredible certainly indefinitely one of the rarest gemstones that we've brought you here at jewelry maker um and yeah look look there are other places that will bring you seraphonite but it's not of gem quality yeah whereas this is fine gem quality i've got yorkshire jennifer mark maker kerry and janice all with it in their baskets and you know we always describe the beauty of the location yeah your gemstone sort of sharing the beauty of the location it kind of matches um have a little look at this <gasps> image it's amazing isn't it wow absolutely amazing that, and that's where this gem is mined gorgeous also it does i mean i can appreciate its beauty but it's also terrifying. Yes, yes, I don't think I'd want to be there. I like no. looking at it. <laughs> right, look, look at this, it looks like an underwater world, but it's completely frozen. Goodness. It looks like there's little stacks of stones, don't it? It does, yes. How fascinating. And there's just a man in his canoe. <laughs> a brave man. Yeah, very brave man. So that's, that's terrifying. No, thank you. Absolutely, but, but beautiful at the oh. same time. Look at that, it literally looks like a seraphonite where you actually have those sort of chatoyant markings across the surface of it. This is quite literally where the gemstone is actually unearthed from. Um, we only had eight, I've got four currently. So if you are Yorkshire, Cheshire, Kerry or Janice, you need to be checking out. I think Janice has actually. Um, well done, it's the final strand that we have of seraphonite in the entire business, jewellery makers, and it is late Bacal too. Um, amazing don't forget your lovely early bird jewelry makers um, one more auction and we'll bring you those beautiful um, putty cat mini makes shall we do some aquamarine yes okay these are gems that we haven't seen we don't see that often I love these they're stunning it's a lovely shape what would you do with this shape Carol would you work with them differently I think I would use them individually actually you know as a focal point on a bracelet or on a necklace because I just think they're so unusual yeah it's a lovely cut. Yeah, it's beautiful. And really uh, um, leans towards the actual natural cut of this gem, uh, formation, sorry, of this gemstone, because it naturally has a quite a prismatic um, like shape. So you get, that's why you get this amazing azure blue. Look at the quality of that color. I think this cut really brings out the color yeah, as well, because that surface it. area yeah. gives you all the variations. So it's beautiful. The perfect aquamarine should look like a summer's day sky. Oh, how romantic. Yeah, it should look like a summer's day sky. It should have the most beautiful azure blue. And you've got the big five, of course, your diamonds, your sapphires, your rubies, your emeralds, and your tanzanites. For us, aquamarine's always been within, you know, that, that, you know, that yeah. group of gemstones. This, says Ross, might well be one of the best deals of the hour. Oh. The sheer size of each solitary aquamarine, and it is natural, always a nice combination russ says me personally i think for 150 carats we should be at this price yeah yeah all day long that's amazing russ i wasn't expecting you to go that low that's incredible how about in 30 seconds we half it Yes, please. Half that price. So we're taking it to £15. I want one of those as a ring. I think Ooh, it would nice. look gorgeous. With some, with some silver. Yes. Beautiful. What about that as a project? I mean, how lovely is that? That's just dreamy colours, isn't it? Natural type A Burmese jadeite alongside aquamarine. It's just those lovely pastel yeah. palettes. You add a few pearls maybe from your stash. We're going to half that price, jewellery makers. How many have you got, Roscoe? 40 on the nose. Can't believe it's under 20 pounds. Oh. Never mind under 15. Wow. That's a lot. That's of a big carrot weight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we've brought you individual cabochons, solitary yes. cabochons at more than what's on your screens, and they're still fantastic prices. Absolutely. You've got a drill hole here, but you don't have to use no, that drill hole. Um, I, sorry, I just love that trio. I think they look so beautiful they do together. They look beautiful. They look sort of summer wedding y. Yeah. Yeah, it's chiffon and yes, that kind of thing. Yes, exactly. Things. Afternoon tea. <laughs> Afternoon tea and some cucumber sandwiches. Um, Dawn, Maureen, Michelle, Mary. I like a cucumber sandwich. I do. I think it's a, it's a nice thing to it eat. It is a, a very refreshing. Them, do they? 
Tiggy does. Is she? Yeah, I will put ham and cucumber in her sandwiches and she'll take the ham out and just eat the cucumber sandwich. <laughs> yeah, cucumber's delicious. Um, the last auction before we dive into your early bird lovely jewellery makers. And... We're going to go lower. Let's sell it out, shall we, today? Let's do it. There's 40 available. Why not? Third of the stock has already gone. Before Wayne steps into the building, <laughs> uh, do you reckon he's going to be all tanned? Do you reckon he's going to be all tanned and... No, you're not seeing him? I hope he is, because I'm going in a few weeks. <laughs> I hope the weather's nice. Um, under £10. It's happening only because... Well, there's no reason, actually. We're just doing it. The number six of the big five, <laughs> nine ninety nine. Beautiful wow. aquamarine. That's unbelievable, isn't that it? That is bonkers. It's all Ross. It's beautiful. I want one. It, yeah, you could put them <laughs> on your cap makes as well, couldn't you? Yes, yeah, you could. could. Swap out your oh, it'd be a lovely drop, wouldn't it? Or add it to your pearl, actually. Yeah. Why not use the two together? Um, massive deal for you. The last auction before we step into your early bird jewelry makers: Mary, Michelle, Maureen, Linda, Dawn, uh, Elsa. Hello to you, Leslie, Patricia, Nancy, Janice, and Mirtha Tidfill, and Fife, and Karen, and Sharon, and Tina, and Pauline, and Susan, and Terry, and Maker. Morning, everybody. Beautiful aquamarine. That perfect depiction of aquamarine as well. Um, which is that lovely summery azure blue. Make sure you're checking out. Remember these items do time out as well with every item that we bring you in this hour, um, including your early bird. So we've got them in the two colors, silver or in yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver. Um, so oh, here's an idea, because aquamarine is also a birthstone. Mm. If you are a March baby um, and you like cats, there you go. There's a very personalized piece of jewelry for you. What a lovely gift. Yeah, yeah. If you're a March baby and you love your putty cats, um, it's coming, it's, ha it's happening in a few moments time, wonderful jewelry makers. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Um, okay, we're gonna talk about, because it got me thinking last night when I was prepping for today's show, I was like, you know, cats, you know, they are symbolic um, across many different civilizations and they're very present in jewelry and have been present in jewelry for hundreds of years. So I went down that rabbit hole. I'll share with you a few little bullet points as well and show you a few photographs too. Um, don't go anywhere. Get ready to make sure you secure yours. We've got big quantity of the silver. Uh, yeah, it's not the early bird. It's the early cat. <laughs> Now, we're going to start with the gold-plated 925 sterling silver. It's all down to personal preference. I'm a gold wearer. I'm a silver. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So there we go. Everyone's different, and that's wonderful, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Um, so shop ahead on these. I know they are going to an absolutely unbelievable early bird deal. So, yeah, when I'm prepping for the show, and I usually do so the night before because then it's not a rush in the morning. Yeah. Um, and it sinks in, and I get an opportunity to really go down that rabbit hole. Um, yeah, these beautiful, we know that we are a channel of cat lovers, you know, we see um, conversations, if you like, or profiles, if you like, and uh, we talk about our, our lovely furry friends, don't we? But it is very, very, very significant in jewellery design as well. So I found a few little articles um, that spoke sp specifically about that. Cat jewellery, it said that cats have more lives than most, and they certainly carry more symbolic meaning than most other animals too. Cat jewellery is often found in the form of cat-shaped pendants or necklaces, and the cat motif is generally symbolically li uh, linked, uh, I think that's what, what it's meant to say, uh, to the themes of adventure and curiosity. That's why your putty cat went up the chimney. That is curious. Curiosity and chimney. <laughs> uh, uh, and chimney, and, and what was it? Curiosity and what? <laughs> curiosity and adventure. Thank you. Not chimney. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> what is the symbolic meaning of cats though? Cats are often seen as symbols of intuition, mm. mystery and sensuality. Uh, they are known for their keen senses and ability to see in the dark, which has led to their association with magic and supernatural. Cats are also seen as symbols of independence and self-reliance, as they are known for their solitary nature and ability to take care of themselves. Yes, very Certainly independent. The they are very independent. Um, what is the spiritual significance of, uh, of cats? In many spiritual traditions, cats are believed to um, possess special powers and abilities. They are seen as uh, spiritual guides and protectors, capable of warding off negative energies and evil spirits. Cats are also associated with feminine energy and the divine feminine, representing the nurturing and intuitive aspect of the universe. Aww. Um, certainly mystery. Uh, cats have an air of mystery that has captivated humans for centuries. With their keen senses and ability to see in the dark, they are often associated with intuition and psychic abilities. Cats remind us to trust our instincts and to tap into our own inner wisdom. So maybe that's why my cats avoid my husband. Maybe they just, <laughs> maybe they're just like, oh, I gotta stay away from him. Um, <laughs> uh, protection and good fortune. In ancient Egypt, cats are, were revered as sacred animals and were believed to bring good fortune and protection. They were even worshipped as manifestations um, of the goddess uh, Bastet. Today, many people still believe that having a cat in the house brings luck and wards off evil spirits. Yep. There you go. Uh, balance and flexibility. Have you ever watched a cat gracefully land on its feet after a fall? Cats are known for their incredible balance and flexibility. They can adapt to any situation and always seem to land on their feet. In symbolism, cats represent the ability to navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and agility. I Aww, like all this. I love it. Um, cats are sensual creatures. They take pleasure in grooming themselves, stretching and enjoying the simple pleasures of life. Their sensitivity uh, to touch and their ability to tune into their surroundings remind us to embrace our own sensuality and be present in the moment. And here are a few designers working with cat, uh, with cat motifs. So you have your Anushka. Anushka, we will probably recall, works with Malachite quite a lot. 3,200 for that cat charm. It's quite a lot, isn't it? It's a lot of pennies. Um, you've got Boucheron. Boucheron, £25,000. That's a lot more pennies. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of, lot of money, isn't it? Um, for, what's his name? Vladimir, Wad, I can't say that. <laughs> Vladimir the cat. Anyway, he's got a name. Um, then you've got Angara, there we go. Um, for £540. That's lovely. Um, you've got Gucci. I think that, that's actually a pre-owned piece. If you look at that condition, great, minor uh, wear throughout. So oh. still £600. Chanel, £450. It's like, yeah. And of course, probably the most iconic is Cartier. Yes. Um, so let's bring you your cat early bird jewelry makers. Quite simple constructions, even if you've never made a single piece of jewelry in your lifetime. Um, I will pick up the actual pretty cat part um so you can actually see his lovely little face just there so gorgeous yes, sweet never done anything like this previously before now we have two well, sorry no we don't we have 250 of the silver we've got a hundred of the gold so obviously you get the cat uh sort of studs with the loop at the bottom, you could remove that loop you and can, where Maz yeah. is. You also then get the head pins, which is what you can secure your pearls, your cultured pearls. And then just at the back, can you see your butterfly backs there as well? So it's literally just putting together the most simple puzzle. And you're going to make high end pieces of jewellery. Straight away, we've got collectors getting involved. Um, I think we are a channel of cat lovers. Definitely. I think they're fabulously aloof. I think they're very regal. Yeah, they are. First price crash. We're at a hundred pounds. Not stopping there, lovely jewelry makers. Oh, he's got a bow tie. Oh, I've just spotted the little bow tie. <gasps> First price crash. Straight under uh, twenty pounds. Wow, that's amazing. They're gold plated nine two five sterling silver. You get everything. So you even get the the head pins. You get the butterfly backs, and you get the pearls. We're not done there though. 
We've got just over 100 available jewellery makers. We need to see you there to go lower. Your lovely little putty cat earrings. What lovely gifts. Absolutely. My mother-in-law is um, a huge cat lover. Like, loves, 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 loves her cat. Oh. Um, and always makes a fuss of our cats when she comes up to our house. So this would be the perfect gift for her. Yes. You know? Like, when I'm looking for Christmas presents, it's, oh, it's usually cat-related. Oh. <laughs> always cat-related. Like, I saw an Udi that had cats on it. Right, perfect. There we go. Get her that. She'll love it. She'll absolutely love it. You get everything, if I just scooch that over. So you get um, the pearls, you get the head pins, you get the butterfly bags, and obviously you get the studs. £14.99 only for genuine culture pearl cat earrings. That's amazing. That is amazing. It's very good, says Ross, but it's your early bird. He wants to sell them out. There's a hundred of these available. Think Christmas gifts. Think in your circle. How many people do you know that love cats? Because, because that would be a perfect gift, wouldn't it? Yep. Like if, if 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 you're thinking Christmas gifts, and I know you might be going to be daft out. It's not that far away. We're not far off September now, are we? And it's not even going to take you long to make them, is it? No, it's going to take you five minutes to make. Yep. We're going to go even lower. They are gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Genuine cultured pearls as well. Not stopping here, though, jewellery makers. Going even lower. <laughs> Shop ahead on the silver, too. Oh. Ross, I thought 12.99. That's what I was thinking. I thought twelve ninety nine would be yeah. an absolutely fantastic price. Let's not forget they are they are sterling silver. Um, these are beautiful. Yeah, we've got the silver ones to come. I'm just going to put the stud in so you get an idea. Is is he facing? Is he the right way up? Yeah. There you go. Ah, oh, look. That's a lovely size, isn't it? It looks like his little tail. It does look a little tail. Aww. It looks like his little tail in that jump ring. So you could wear them as is. Yes. How beautiful are they? £9.99. pence. Even if you just kept them as your studs. Shop ahead on the silver ones as well, lovely jewellery makers. Sharon, Helen, Maureen, hello to Lavinia, Elizabeth, Robert, Zoe, Pamela, Andrea, new customers, hello to uh, Shona, Leslie's got three, Diane and Tim, well done to you, Philippa, Pauline, Linda, Margaret. It's going to take you probably five minutes to make these if you even want to do anything with them because I think they'd be lovely little stud earrings. Do you know, my, um, my daughter would love these because she's... Uh, Cat mad. She's cat mad, yeah. Aww. She's cat mad. So I might have to I might have to join you on this early bird. I think she'd love these too. Well done. There's just over a hundred of the gold plated sterling silver. So you you get the studs. I mean they look like just studs as they are, but you also get everything else. You get the culture pearls, you get the head pin, and you get the butterfly backs, obviously. Um shop ahead on the silver ones, we've got two hundred and fifty of those, but it being the most popular colour, um, I imagine, yeah, it's flying on pre order. Yeah, I've just heard that. So um I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. How much would something like this be in places like Pandora? Oh, out plenty. of curiosity. It's not it's not gonna be anywhere near jewelry maker prices, is it? No, not at all. No way near. Okay, first price crash. On your sterling silver. Ah. Nine ninety nine. We've got a big quantity though. Imagine just a little pearl there. See, because these are sterling, you can snip off that post and solder them to things. You could make matching rings. That's a good idea. You could have a whole suite of kitty catties. Turn them into like solderable accents? Yes. That's a good call. And then use your pearls somewhere else. Nice. A little cat charm bracelet, oh, you could do that too. Yes. Ah, oh, lovely. You could Maybe you've got two moggies and you could actually put the two colours. I'd use the red, uh, I'd use the yellow gold if you've got a ginger tom. Oh. <laughs> Go back to that conversation. We're going even lower, jewellery makers. We've got a big old quantity of them. I agree, Ross. Uh, Adam's just said, I think this is my favourite cat design that we've done here at Jewellery Maker. Very, very cute. And we're not stopping here. What are we doing, Ross? Oh, my goodness me. 
So you get the studs, you get the two through drilled pearls, you get the head pin, uh, z sorry, plural, um, and then you get the butterfly backs as well. And we're going lower than seven ninety nine. This is an absolute no brainer. That's amazing, isn't it? They're not base metal. No, this is like a base metal Solid price. Silver. <laughs> Nobody is paying. Yeah, and the cultured pearls. Wow. Loads of multi buyers. I don't blame you because they're perfect gifts. I'm going to say it. Teacher presents. I know it's not, yeah. the, you know, get them for next term. Yes. How awesome is that? Just because at 6 99 It's a great thing just to have in your gift drawer, isn't it? Yeah. You can get the pair for less than £17. Wow. Which is absolutely <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? Perfect, perfect gift price. Uh, gift price point. You know, you got. Can you get a pot plant for that? I doubt it. Maybe a little mini succulent. <laughs> you can get one of them. I'd rather have pearl earrings. I'd rather pearl <laughs> earrings as well. Sterling silver earrings too. Um, uh, Derbyshire, well done to you. Fife's got four. Neil's got three. Uh, Cheryl's got two. Leslie snapped up six. Well done, Leslie. Um, you've got Pauline multi buying as well. Yeah, and it, like I said, it, loads of big designers. Clearly, I barely scraped uh, uh, scraped the surface there, had I? But um, loads of designers use cat in their cats in their jewelry, a bit yeah. like your flora and fauna. Um, well done. Pauline's got four. Andrea's got two. Deborah's got three. Sixty seconds to close this auction not just this auction um everything that we have brought you thus far this morning so make sure you are checking out your baskets you can always combine your order it's no additional cost um in terms of delivery there is one of the seraphonite strands left by the way if you want to get hold of that lots and lots and lots of sellouts already this morning and that's going to continue because we've got an absolutely amazing thursday show for you um so 36 seconds and we're closing this hour jewelry makers if you've got a phone in your hand just stay where you are as long as you press your option one you should be all good and um, if it's in your baskets then definitely check out um coming up after the break we've got the uh tool and the saw with our wonderful carol if you're thinking what tool what saw um <laughs> yeah stay with us because it's very exciting carol's favorite saw my favorite saw ever and the most amazing um tool hold, uh, work holder work holder there we go check out your baskets and do not go anywhere jewelry makers we will see you just after this <laughs> Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Hi Jewelry Makers, I'm gonna be back on the show this Saturday, the 10th of August with some lovely summer makes. So in the 9 a.m. projects, we're gonna be bringing you some beautiful peg bales. There's eight different designs of these and they are 925 sterling silver with some gorgeous kyanite and clear quartz matte round beads. We've also got the same beautiful eight designs that are gold plated 925 sterling silver with red jasper, carnelian and yellow quartzite. And for the 12 o'clock masterclass, we've got some pretty chakra bracelets. They all come with six and eight millimeter strands and five millimeter sterling silver spacer beads as well. So there's tiger's eye, a venturi, and a mix of some multi-strand gemstones to represent each chakra and each color of the rainbow. So please come and join me if you can this Saturday, the 10th of August on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. 
We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your jewellery maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Shopping with jewellery maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Hello Jewellery Makers, guest designer Carol Vickers here. I just wanted to let you know all the exciting things that are happening on my next show and it's on Thursday the 8th of August. So at 9 o'clock we're going to be having another go at the gorgeous adjustable snake ring where we did some texturing and we have got my favourite saw of all time so don't miss out on that if you didn't catch it last time. And then at 12 o'clock they sent me pearls. They sent me the most beautiful pearls, look at these. So I've done a lariat style necklace and a matching pair of earrings. And so I'll be teaching you some pearl knotting techniques so that you can make that sweet yourself. So I'll see you on Thursday. Take care. Oh, welcome back, jewelry makers. We have a laugh, don't we? <laughs> we do have a laugh. Oh, my goodness me, Carol. We've got some amazing goodies. Tools. Uh, new I love tools. My tools. If I know designers, and I think after almost 13 years, I think I do, you get very excited get about new tools. Very giddy about tools, yes. Why are these making you so excitable? So we have got quite a selection actually. We've yep. got a bench top work holder, which is super adjustable, can be used for all sorts of different jobs. You can put things on top, you can put things in a little vise, and it all moves around okay. so that you can move your work. Look at that. It's good, isn't it? And then yeah. it, it opens up and closes. Ignore the pink bit, I glued some silicon in it. But <laughs> it oh, comes, okay. comes without the pink bit. That's a good idea though, so it doesn't damage so your it work. Just, just so it wouldn't mark something I was working on, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you clamp it to your bench or it comes with screws and little screw holes so you can use it on your dining table or even uh, on your bench. Sorry to interrupt you, Carol, mm. but I don't know if you've just heard. Bad news, there's only 80. Oh. I think I think there's going to be a lot a, a high demand for these. I and know the what saw, price they're going to, and there will do be you? yes, lots. Your of favorite demand. saw ever, my very favorite saw ever. medieval. Al Azataz's favorite saw ever, also. Say that again. Azataz's favorite saw. Azataz's and mine. There's only forty-five. They are amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so sh can, do can we shop ahead on these then, Ross? Just put them on pre-order so you can continue talking about them and you can continue shopping with them. So, sorry, I just needed to give you an update no, on the quantity of them. Right, back to you. So, the work holder is ideal for all sorts of things. You, you can open it up as a vise, mm. put your work inside, use it for engraving or for setting. And then you've got these little pins that come with it so you can wedge your work um, for what we're going to do today, which is texturing. It comes with a little Allen key, so you can tighten the um, adjuster on the ball joint at the bottom, which means you can make it stiffer or easier to move. Mm -hmm. 
and it just means that you can pull your work towards you you can push it away if you're working at a funny angle you can twist it round however you need without having to reposition everything okay that's clever so it's super super useful wow and i can see there almost like do you remember the the old school jig yes wire jig because yes. you've almost got that set up. You can use it as a wire jig because all of these little pegs obviously can be moved if you want to make your scrolls and your yeah. clasps or your, even your earring shepherd hooks. So it's like a multi-tool It's then, absolutely a brilliant little tool. And because it's not massive and it doesn't weigh a ton, yeah. if you go to jewellery classes, you can mm. take it with you in your toolbox. It's That's just a good fab. point. And literally kind of like bench benches onto um, either a table or sideboard desk wherever it might be piece yes, of wood so if you don't have a workstation you can screw it into a piece of wood and clamp that wherever you're working or it comes with screw holes and you can screw it directly into your craft table if you've got one i've just pinned it down today with some bench peg clamps or you can get like c clamps from the diy yeah. shop yeah that so work yeah, in the same super way super versatile wow okay it's good isn't it? it it's absolutely amazing do you want to talk us through what you've created then <gasps> so we've got some lovely little solid silver ring blanks and they are snake shaped and I've been doing texturing oh, with them. They're amazing. I've just seen them for the first time. And they're lovely. They, because they're sterling silver, you can solder them. Obviously, because they come flat, you can texture them first and then you can shape them around a ring mandrel to whatever size you want. So they're really versatile. And they're ever so cute. How good are they? So this looks like, like I said, very, very different to the to the finished pieces because you've textured them. Yes. Now these are on pre-order as well, and I guess they be they can be like you said can be adjustable, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. You don't need to solder the thing, the shank closed, so they can be adjustable. They won't get stuck on your hand. You can get them over swollen knuckles, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. Oh. Now, um, update jewelry makers: the uh, bench tool and the saw are flying on pre-order. Um, so if you've got your eye on that, don't wait. Do not wait because um, it will most likely sell out today. Um, and I, it's usually around about three months minimum. Yeah, I've not to, seen these To before. get something back in stock. Um, with the purchase of, which is it, Ross, that you get the instructions? With the bench tool, you will actually get um, Carol's amazing written instructions. And also with the snake ring. Um, so you'll get that literally free to download jewelry makers when your order is at dispatch. We have got other items to bring you as well. So if this is maybe the beginning of your journey, um, then you've got, like I said, the saw blades to go with your saw. Um, you've got some diamond files as well, um, plus others. Now, because it's the most limited, we're going to start with the saw. And because also so many have actually gone on pre-order. So um, we had 45 initially. I've got 30 left. It is amazing, this saw. It's um, great for piercing, texturing, any jeweler's job. So it are not all saws the same? No, most people start off with German saw frame, which is the sort of the flat-backed one. one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then people often move up to one this shape later on in their journey. But I find this one much easier to use. And I'll admit, I don't much like sawing. I'm not the best at sawing, but this does make life a whole lot easier. Does it? Yeah. And it comes, I think, with the pack of saw blades as well. Yeah. And you've got six different sizes. So you don't even have to work out which ones to buy. You've got everything you could need. And it all just fits in here. Looks fairly straightforward because you've got two wing nuts. Yeah. The only thing you need to remember is that you put it into the back um, and tighten it up. Make sure your teeth are pointing the right way, so you want them pointing towards the handle, and obviously on this side. Yes. And then when you tighten up the other nut, you've just got to pull this end towards you to create some tension. Oh, it should sing to and you. And it should sing. How lovely is that? And you just said, I think you mentioned um, this morning that you haven't lost a saw blade yet. No. I Which break. they do break sometimes. I mean, they're a consumable. People yeah. don't you know, expect to never break a saw blade. That's why you get them in packs of so many. But yeah. I used to break maybe three a day and I, I haven't broken any now. There we go. That's it's good amazing. to know. Um, the fact that it's curved, does that help? Is it more, more, I don't know, just maybe. You've got a great deal more space 
between right, your blade see, yeah, and the that. back of your saw frame so right. you can get a lot larger things in here it's good if you're if you're piercing and you want to go around corners it's fantastic right okay well let's bring the graphics live for this because like i said we only had 45 and already these are going on pre-order um we're now in the 20s in terms of availability jewelry makers so you get the saw blades as well um hello amanda hello in cornwall can you tighten the blade um on these please not sure what you mean by tighten the blade you so you can undo the wing nut and then pull it closer towards you that's what these little loops are here so you can pull it so and get the tension tighter I, as in do you, amanda can you sort of elaborate a little bit do you mean if it snaps can you then sort of tight go work for i don't really yeah a bit confused yeah you can't adjust the length of the frame no the length of the frame is the length of a standard yeah because that's solid isn't yeah. it um if we're missing if, if we've misread your message amanda do text back in my lovely um okay now 49 pounds and 99 pence for a bit of kit, you know, yes, you will. They are consumable, as Carol's just saying. You might need to replace your saw blades at some period, but... That's going to last you a while. Though. A long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the actual saw itself um, is built to last. Yes. Uh, Denise in Leicestershire uh, says, I just received my saw and bench tool. Uh, don't know what I did without them all this time. Thanks, Jewelry Maker, and the price was great too. I agree, Denise. They ah. are game changers, aren't they? And you know what they're going to? I do. Okay. I'm not telling. <laughs> really that is very good sorry i've just heard the price tag that's very very good um okay 29.99 i mean for something that like the actual saw itself you're probably never going to need to replace these the reason people move on to these shapes of saw blades after they've started their sort of beginner jewelry journey is because generally speaking they are super expensive and i mean like 80 90 pounds oh they really yeah so that is a great price. So this is a stunning price. And that's why I never had one, because they were so pricey. Until now. Until now, and I've got Until one. now. Yay. Until jewellery maker. Oh my goodness me, that's absolutely amazing. We go even lower. Mm -hmm. See, that's interesting. I would I would never be able to name a price on something like this. So to say that they're normally about 80, 90 pounds. And you, I get that as you sort of move, progress in your jewelry journey, you know, you upgrade your tools, yes, exactly. you might go your pliers and things like that. That's you do right. upgrade them. So this is the more, um, the higher quality. Yeah, your stage two saw, yeah without the high quality price exactly tag, so you don't have to wait no you can, you can just start with the, the fabulous and, when saw. You, and really when you're beginning your journey is when you want the best tools and when you it? want stuff to be easier yeah because yeah, you don't yeah. want to get frustrated and then just give up saw first, work yeah. because it was so hard yeah 19.99 that's absolutely incredible it's amazing isn't it? especially because you get all the blades as well you're yeah. good to go aren't you don't forget to lubricate your saw blade i use beeswax but there's lots of different ways okay Help and you can get that snapping. from most places can't yeah, you yeah or people use different kinds of oil or candle wax all sorts of things there you go so yeah lubricate the actual uh saw itself when you're actually in the process 1999 i've got mary sonia hello to you margaret caroline hello to you cumbria swansea geraldine jennifer elaine durham karen and john uh berkshire hello to you new customers elaine make sure you're all checking out everybody um, we didn't have many of these. You get both. You get the saw and you get the saw blades. And also, any questions that you have for Carol, do text in. Yes, let me know. Text in um, and uh, we'll we'll endeavour to answer them for you. Amanda's message back. Thank oh, you, good. Amanda. Um, no, you've just answered my question. I meant the tension. There yeah, you go. No, you can change the tension as long as you pull it towards you. I tend to wedge it into my rib cage and pull against oh, it. Gosh. It doesn't hurt. Mm. <laughs> Some people push it against their bench, whichever. Yeah. Just to get that perfect tension so it should literally be like a yeah, sing. like a violin string ping 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 <laughs> um let's do what sorry ross get to the demonstration and then we'll actually bring um the worktop holder we'll put the graphics onto your screens jewelry makers if i just quickly show you how it arrives so this is something that jewelry maker has actually constructed so this is our own brand um so there you go um so you get the actual worktop holder you get your allen key you get your screws that you can screw it into whatever it is you get your little pins your little pins that's what we were talking about about like like a jig yes and they hold all sorts of different things which i will show you and what's that we think that's a collar 
to oh okay yeah yeah to actually go on this bit right yeah. okay um so it will bring a price on screen that you're not paying not and the potion packaging is still the same because it's quite heavy i was blown away by the price we took this to not paying i know okay it's remarkable make sure you secure yours and remember everybody pays that final low so we are going to be dropping that price any questions for carol do text in take it away carol okie dokie so the project that you get the instructions for is the snake ring and you can buy the blank as it is it's solid silver so if you want to solder it you can do um i have oh there you go and you you've got um, the option to do pretty much whatever you want with it. So I've done one version where I've curled the tail all the way around and soldered it closed mm -hmm. and used that to put a charm on. This one I have just set a garnet um, in the little tail space. Oh yes! And we've I think we've got those garnets. I think they're still in stock. It's just a three millimeter garnet and a little tube setting so Lovely. or you could solder his head you can do all sorts of things um, but the fact that we can move all these pins and wedge him in place to work on is super useful so all i've done here is i've taken a pair of round nose pliers and just opened up the curves in the body shape so that i can put him on my peg and then we can texture him and you get instructions for both of these. You can texture him with the saw or you can texture him with your files. And there are all sorts of different textures you can do. So I've done some that are sort of crisscross scale shapes. I did another one that was just stripes or if you've got lots of patience, you can do teeny, teeny, tiny cross hatching and make him little scales. And you can also obviously texture the head so that's why this saw is so fantastic. I have put a six zero blade in here. It's nice and tight. And I have put some wax on it to make sure it's gonna slide properly. And because we're not trying to cut through this, we're just trying to mark the metal. We're not going to do lots of backwards and forwards sawing. So the technique for these shapes is simply that I'm going to push my saw the wrong way across the metal to make my guideline and then I'm just going to pull it back once and that's my mark. Um, can I just ask you a question mm. because you've got different numbers on the saw blades. Yes. Which one is coarser? So the six is the finest uh -huh. and the one is the thickest. It's the thickest. And it depends on the thickness of your metal. Right. Okay. So you need a thicker blade for thicker metal or it will snap so that's the thickest so and one, one is the, the thickest, thickest this is number the six finest. is the finest right thank you and so i've gone in with the 60 because what i want to do is make my guidelines and then if i want to thicken them up later i can go back in so i went back in on the ones that i've done for a sample with the 30 and that just made it a more i suppose a more obvious mark so you can literally just forwards the wrong way backwards again and that's how you texture your snake now as i say if you want to go back in and make that thicker you can do it with a wider blade the other thing you can do is you can file texture onto the snake so a triangular file is um, nice to use because it's got that nice sharp edge that you can use and if you've made yourself a guide mark with the saw you can then just gently backwards and forwards. We have got those as well. We we'll have got those, those too. To air as well. And there you get a slightly more, I suppose a softer mark. Yeah. Um, and what you're trying to create is the comparison between the metal you've marked and then obviously the shiny metal that was there to start with. Now, if you've slipped and you've made tiny little scratches in your snake, it doesn't matter because after you have done all your texturing, you're obviously going to buff it and that will take off any little surface scratches that you've created. So all you need to do then is to, if you've really hard, if you've really worked it hard, I would anneal it before you shape it into a ring. So just heat it up with your torch mm. on a solder block so that it's soft again. 
and then obviously you need to put your little snaky body back wherever you want him you can go for as much realism as you want or not you can give him a little face if you want you can give him little eyes um, and then wrap him around your ring mandrel make him to the size that you want and then what I've done with some of the sample ones is I have used liver of sulfur to make the difference between the textures and the original metal stand out more. Um, but if you don't want to use liver of sulfur, because it's very, very smelly. Um, it stinks, yeah. Yeah, then there are instructions in the booklet for how to do it with an egg and a Tupperware box. Oh, boiled egg root. <laughs> the boiled technique. egg trick, yeah. Which is equally stinky. Equally stinky, but yeah, more accessible. More accessible, <laughs> yeah. Basically, it is literally just boiling an egg, isn't it? It's a, it's a hard boiled egg, smashed up. You put your ring in the box with the egg and then it goes black. And you just take your nail buffer, buff off the high points, and then you've got your contrast. How gorgeous is that? Now, believe it or not, jewellery makers, we are still not at your price. For So your jewellery maker, Universal, bench top, work holder, with instructions by um, lovely Carol. Half the stock has gone already. We don't hold it here at 19 No, it's honestly, I thought this was going to be 50, 60 quid when we brought it last time. And I was just fascinated. I don't know how we yeah. managed to get it to this price. And the fact that we're brilliant. making our own tools now as well. Yeah. I mean, that, that's really going to enable lots of people to start on their silversmithing journey. Well, it's isn't expensive it? when you start out, isn't it? You yeah. need so many things. And to be able to get them at these prices just yeah. makes it much easier. Wow. Fully adjustable. Are you ready? Are you ready? We had, am I, I don't know if I am, in all honesty. <laughs> wow. Well, when you consider you would pay £10 for these on our sister channel. There's a lot of detail in there. There's different textures. I bet. I can feel There's it. comparisons. It? Yeah. We'll keep you busy. So all that information that Carol has put down for you, plus you get the tool, really, for an extra fiver. Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. <laughs> um, and, you know, tools are, you know, the purpose, the purpose of a tool is to make your your working easier. Yes, and to keep you safe as well. Yes, you know true. I wouldn't want to saw this in my fingers. I need oh it somewhere goodness, safe. No. <laughs> yeah, you need it to be away from the hand, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you don't want to get hurt. So yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah, well done, everybody. We had eighty five of these. I mean, what a fantastic opportunity to start on your silversmithing journey. You don't have to dive straight into soldering. You don't, and you can use this if you're a wire worker and you need it as a wire jig, or you want to. You know, attach charms to the top of rings, yes. that kind of thing. It's just Gem super setting, handy. Gem setting, probably, as well. Yep, you can pop things in. The That's why I've got my silicon glued in, because if I want to gem set like this little tail, I want to put something in there and hold it still so that I can move it around and see that I've got every angle of the, the gem covered. So great for your gem setting as yep. also. It's just super useful. Um, amazing. Well, this is absolutely flying out, jewellery makers. You get the instructions as well. We have got, remember, the diamond files that Carol you saw Carol using. Um, but I think it's time for us to bring you um, the actual ring, the actual snake ring itself. This is so sweet. Again, like we've just com had that conversation about cats in jewellery. Snakes yeah, have got lots of they're meanings They're super as well, popular, they? aren't they? And again, if you're not a silversmith, you can absolutely use this as um, an extendable chain because it is complete. At the, you know, It's finished, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's finished. You can bend it into anything you want to. It doesn't have to be a ring. No. Nope. But because it's solid silver, there's so much you can do with it. Love that. Okay, jewellery makers. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 55. That's not a huge quantity, jewellery makers. We're going to do this in one price crash. Again, solid 925. You can, you've just seen Carol texturing it. You can leave it as it is. You can, can. put little facial details on there as well. You could maybe maybe uh, go with the actual patterns of certain snakes. Yeah, I mean, um, some of the samples I've done, you know, a bit of everything. So one bit, one bit striped, one bit scales, one bit, you know, spotty, whatever yeah. you like. Yeah, <laughs> you got, they've got different, I almost said prints then, haven't they? Prints, snake prints. Snake yeah. prints. They have, they've got <laughs> a different, different patterns. Um, we only have 55, and again, there's a lot of multi-buyers on this, I'm not surprised. There and it is be, solid yeah. sterling silver. Um, yeah, very, very popular. Soup and jewellery, very, very popular. Lots of meaning again, isn't yeah. there? Definitely. Wow, that's amazing. I love snake rings. Solid sterling silver. Do you know, I think one of the first pieces of jewellery I ever bought myself was actually a snake ring. Really? Yeah. They are very popular. 
and it, yeah, because they go, they sort of climb, they don't climb they? Up and down your up finger, finger. Yeah. Really, very elegant. And especially if you suffer with things like swollen joints, um, you yes. might find sort of soldered rings a little bit more uncomfortable. We'll turn this into an adjustable ring then. Yeah, I mean, that's why I started wearing them because my fingers are not great and it means they can't get wedged on my yeah. hand. <laughs> Which is horrible, isn't it? It's yeah, not it's a awful. nice feeling. And then you when think, am happens. I going to have to go and get it cut off at A&E? Yeah, <laughs> it's not nice. Not nice at all. Oh, gosh, you know, we, I, when I worked in the jewellers, we used to cut off rings. Yeah. It happens a lot. It does, yeah, yeah, you can say, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can. Uh, it's like a tool, a contraption that kind of has. Yes, it's got like a little hooky bit, hook. doesn't it? Yeah. And then you put this little spinning wheel that cuts Ooh, through the ring. Scary I, know, I used stuff. to hate doing it. No, I wouldn't. Um, want to do it. Well done, everybody. Cumbria Maker in Shropshire's got two. Caroline's got two. Elaine's got two. Angela's got three. Rachel, Sally, well done to you. Maureen's got two. Swansea, Kate's got two. Deborah's got two. Anne's got two. Um, very, very popular. Jan, Maureen. Um, I can't keep up with you. There was 55 <laughs> of these. That's not nearly enough to go around, to be honest. Love what you've done there, Carol. Thank you. Very nice. I like that. to bring them to life. Give them a little face. Oh, you've definitely done that. <laughs> little facial features. Yeah. They're fascinating creatures, aren't they, snakes? They are. They're sort of mystical, aren't they? Yeah. Fascinating. I'm not sure I'd keep them. No. I've got a friend who keeps them, but I don't think I would. Oh, really? What snakes has your friend got? Oh, she's got like a rescue centre. She's always got hundreds of the things. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. She loves them. Yeah, they are. They are like I'm not scared of them. I think no, they're I'm quite, not scared they're of quite, them. They're quite amazing. Um, Fourteen ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking out. They're on the verge of selling out. Don't forget, you've also got your diamond files. We'll do these next. In fact, we'll do it now. Let's do it now. Everybody needs these. Do it, really? Yes. Okay. That's if my, you're that's in my educated decision. Yeah, no, there. but if you're doing metal smithing, I guess you definitely do. You do, but even, you know, if I've done wire wrapping projects uh. with plated metal. Yeah. And then if you want to file off the plating and show a different colour of metal and get your mixed metal look, you can do that with them oh. as well. They're really useful for all sorts of things. Oh, yes, because actually, I mean, how many times have you heard me say, oh, you could always remove the jump ring if you want and yeah. just file it and down. and then file it down and polish it off. I'd use my diamond files then. You would. Or if you want to make earrings and then you want to soften off the end that goes through the ear you ah. use them for all sorts of things oh yeah because you don't want it to be sharp you don't sharp, want to spike do it in your ear no? so you get different shapes i don't know if you can quite see that there this one's flat this one's more hmm so there's a flat one there's a ring file which is like a d shape a semi that's circle. that one isn't it there's a square a square so you can that get one? your right angles yeah there's the triangle that we used in the demo yeah that's that one good for getting into all sorts of little nooks and crannies and then there's a round one and a round one there you go that's that one there um so you get all of these there's you only do. 50 available though so you do need to be quick and they last i assume yeah i think i've had a set of these for five years and they have literally diamonds um well there you go it says impregnated diamond files so you've got di which we know is uh, it is an incredibly strong uh, material, then that's what we, we actually use to file things down. $9.99, goodness me. Yeah, and they've got grippy little handles on as well, so nice. Grippy little handles. A nice rubber handle. So wait a second, something's just dawned on me, Carol. <laughs> I can get the bench yep. tool for, what was it, $14.99, Russ? I can get the, the, the files, $24.99. I can get the saw and the saw blades. Twenty. So all of this and the instructions with under fifty pounds would change. I know. And that's I awesome. thought the work holder would be fifty pound on its own. That's that's incredible. It's brilliant. I mean, it's a, it's a ready to go dustbin kit, isn't it? Really? Yeah. And away you go. What a great way of actually entering into sort of this medium of this this uh, uh, technique of jewellery making. Yeah. And it's all stuff you can take with you if you go to classes or yep. workshops or you you make with friends. Love that. Except they'll all want them. So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Course. Keep good hold. Um, where, where on earth did you get all those <laughs> yeah. from? Well done, everybody. Again, make sure you're checking, uh, checking out your baskets. Um, no. <laughs> Almost knocked all the spacer beads everywhere. <laughs> that would have been absolute chaos. Right. Who would like a massive bundle 
of the spaces that I almost knocked over. <laughs> 400. Wow. Wow, that is huge. Oh, lovely. I'm not going to tip all these out. I'm sure you'll understand. Because Lauren won't thank me for that. No, we'll get in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Can I show you them all, though? I mean, ah, oh, there you go. Look at all these. Wow. Because they're not just spaces. You've also got different cuts. Seven different designs, which totals four... Oh, look at those. If I tilt them towards Becky. Um, from your almost like a trillient shape to your kind of like cubic shapes. I like those. They're cool, aren't they? Mm. Hang on. There is 14 grams of sterling silver in these. Wow. And you can solder them as accents, can't you, if they're sterling? Yeah. 14 grams. Now, today, bit of a funny day, we're gonna say. Tell you what, so we're going to do a mega bundle closeout for that reason. We've just spontaneously added it into the show. We want to see how... Oh, look at these. You've got to see how many, uh, how many of you are watching. I love these spaces. They're really... They're, they're quite irregular. Now, we've got 70 available. We've bundled them together specifically for you today. There's 400. You've got your classic rounds, and then you've got your kind of irregular... Can you see that? They look like more almost hearts. I love okay. the different shapes, aren't they great? Gosh, you get masses. Yeah, you do. Okay, let's start at an already ridiculous price. <laughs> How about 40p per sterling silver spacer bead? Wow. They're cool, aren't they? They're lovely. I really like the different shapes. They're all quite geometric, actually. Um, very modern, you know, not just your classic rounds, which I love. I lo do love those, but you've got some which are... Can you see that? Do you know, it, it, it's like... I'm going to tip these out, actually, because they're almost like an iceberg. Can I you love see? that. That's going to catch the light, isn't it? Just... Oh, they're so shiny and lovely. How cool are they? And that's just one of the designs. <laughs> so, seven designs, 400 pieces, 14 grams of sterling silver. We're currently at 40p per spacer bead. A perfect stash builder, lovely jewelry makers. What we're going to do, get the wheels in motion, it's half that price. Yay! Making it 20p per spacer. Fantastic. That's awesome. What is it? As soon as you only add one to a bit of cord, maybe the macrame tool that we were using yesterday on, on some uh, cord and you've just made sterling silver jewellery. Do you know what we're making today? It was International <laughs> Friendship Day yesterday, wasn't it? We're going to make some more friends. Oh. Because it's not about profit. We're not making profit today. We're literally... Thanking our jewelry maker audience. We are going to take 400 sterling silver, seven different designs, spacer beads, all bundled together to get today to 10 p each. Fantastic. Seven sets, 400 pieces. Do you remember the days, jewelry makers, when you used to see packs of 10? We're currently £7.15 per set of sterling silver. If we were to bring them to you individually, they would not be £7.50. They'd be, what, £12.99. And, you know, again, it's a kind of pinch-me moment, a realisation moment. Ross, we used to do packs of 10 spacer beads, mm. didn't we? You're getting 400 right now. 400. The price of sterling silver has not gone down. No, it's very much not. It's the polar opposite. <laughs> polar opposite. 10p for a piece of sterling silver. The, wow, that's one of the best sterling silver deals I've ever seen. Per set now, I, I'm going to literally quote Ross. He says, oh dear, that's £5.70. <laughs> Five, wait, wait, wait. Just, can we just put this into perspective? That is £5.70. Wow. All those spaces, they are 925 these eh £5.70 
all of your designs, £5.70. How amazing, but we've only got 70 available jewelry makers. So again, please make sure um, you check out your baskets. I got this, these are studio samples, thank goodness. Um, make sure you're checking them out. Rachel, well done to you. Ray, uh, Wiltshire, Irene, Mary, Durham's, Multibort, Nottinghamshire. Absolutely an opportunity for you to stock up your stashes. As soon as you put just one spacer bead anywhere near your jewellery, you have the ability to be able to say, well, it's a sterling silver piece of jewellery. Yeah, or just put them on elastic, make sterling silver yeah. stretchy rings. Yes. Tiny little triangle. I'm obsessed yes. with these triangle ones. They're lovely, they're beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. One of the pieces of jewellery that, yes, Carol made had a lovely peacock pearl. No, me and so, my pearls. Well, we're going to replay the Yay. peacock pearls that we had in the first These hour. These are lush. If you were maybe, um, yeah, walking the dog, walking the cat. Making your brekkie. Making your brekkie. I don't know. If you have places to be, in the shower, whatever it might be, <laughs> you might have missed this early bird. Um, but yeah, Aww. one of the amazing pieces that Carol created, go, go, gadget arms, there we are, <laughs> um, features just one simple pearl at the end. No less the beautiful peacock pearl. And you did confess it's one of your favourites. It as is. did Ross. And I want these gorgeous teal ones I here. Know. They're amazing, aren't They're they? They're beautiful. Now, we took this to a true early bird deal, mm. jewellery makers. Um, so the wiring you purchased for $14.99. So this will fit perfectly. If you remember, oh yeah. You can make that ring with a huge surplus of pearls, obviously. <laughs> a huge surplus of pearls for less than 50 pounds. Wow. Let's do it in one price crash, jewellery makers. Stunning peacock pearls with all those wonderful, glorious overtones. Uh, we don't normally repeat auctions uh, from the first hour, but because of this amazing piece. Shall I um, count the bills? Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. 50. So that ring, you can make it for, £15.69p for a sterling silver and pearl ring. How much would you sell that for, out of curiosity, if you don't mind me asking? 60 60 pounds Yeah. That seems fair. Yeah. <laughs> seems more than fair. It's a beautiful, bespoke piece of jewellery. Per pearl on this amazing strand, 70p. Wow. Set, you can't get a chocolate that bar. Bonkers. Um, out of our Chris, out of our vending machine for that. <laughs> so goodness me. Look at the quality of these uh, peacock pearls. And we don't see them very often. Again, if you love Tahitian pearls, but maybe don't have the Tahitian pearl budget, then this is a fantastic alternative. Yeah. Because you get that wonderful steely color, and then you get those lovely, gorgeous overtones. So the greens, can you see the greens here? Can you see the pink overtones just here? Can you see the teals just up here? Um, that's the joy of pearls. It's never just one flat color. Um, you get overtones and undertones. Each one is truly unique. Well done. Um, okay, moving on. Not long till your early bird is, uh, sorry, your deed of the day, lovely jewellery makers as well. We're going to be talking about a brand new design inspired by the opera Tule, uh, Tule um, but also I think a little bit Alhambra. Um, inspired, it's like a blend of the two, two high-end designers. So we're going to be talking about that in a few moments' time. Before that, shall we do some sterling silver crimp tubes? Yeah. You get a pack of 100 essentials. I need these. A crimp tube is the idea that you do squash it and that's what you um, effectively bead with. You know, it's, it's what holds your pieces of jewelry, your necklaces, your bracelets together. But at the same time, they are beautiful. So you could use them as little decorative beads. I use them as spacers, yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. the tube shape. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Um, now we're gonna do, for a stash essential, a massive deal for you. Something that we can't make. We can make jump rings, can't we? We can yep. make shepherd hooks, but we'd struggle to make tubes. Yeah, it wouldn't be worth the effort, would it? Especially not at this but price tag. No, absolutely. 
14.99 you only need two to make a bracelet don't yeah. you you only need two to make a necklace we are not stopping there we want to see you lovely jewelry makers there's almost 300 and Ooh. they are an essential is there anything worse than when you've got a piece of jewelry in your mind that you want to create and then you can't find your crimp so annoying so annoying you lay all your beads out you lay out your beading thread and then you're like oh I guess not then. <laughs> guess I'm not making that yeah, then. I just so have to annoying. wait three days. <laughs> yeah, basically for you to uh, for them to arrive. So yeah. findings are uh, they are what make your pieces of jewellery ultimately. Well, and you obviously, but you need them. We are not stopping at fourteen ninety nine. We're also not stopping at eleven ninety nine. We've got a big quantity, three hundred of these available jewellery makers. Even if you think, I think I've got, I think I've got crimps. Yeah, but. Have you know? Where are they? Ross is saying, I bet you haven't got them at this price though. <laughs> we got a big quantity, mega auction. Is it? Is it? It's like if you know if you do your food shop, there are always pieces. I think. Yeah, it's true. Adam's like, you know, when you go to the food shop, you're like, oh, I think I've got soy sauce. Yeah. I did that the other day because my friend, my neighbour, made the most beautiful um, focaccia bread, and I was like, oh, I've got balsamic. I didn't have balsamic. Oh dear. If you ever hear there's that question, if you've got to ask the question, chances are no. Yeah. <laughs> I need to learn by my mistakes. <laughs> Make sure you have essentials like your crimp tunes jewelry makers. Um, especially when there's a pack of 100, we're under 10 pounds and we're going even lower. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? It is. Angela, Northumberland, Janet, Durham, Jan, Carol, Karen, uh, Murtha, hello to you, Sandra, Nancy. Morning, everybody. Stock up your stashes. You know you're going to use them. It's like a baker. Oh, I won't bother buying uh, flour. <laughs> oh, you know you're going to use it. Oh, yeah. I don't need any yeast, I don't think. <laughs> oh, no, you probably do. Uh, 7.99. Make sure you check it out, everybody. There's loads of you there. It's true, though, isn't it? It's like um, a builder without a trowel. <laughs> a chef without salt. Yes, that's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, a gardener without a spade. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got a, a jewellery maker without their crimps. Same thing. Same difference. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? A butcher Tools without a trade. cleaver. Uh... Uh, a swimmer without a swimsuit. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> a tennis player without a tennis racket. Tricky. You get the idea. <laughs> you go palm of the hand technique. <laughs> um, you need your... <laughs> <laughs> you need your crimps. I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm deviating from sort of the, you know, professions and now going down the, uh, you know, the sports route. <laughs> Badminton player without a shuttlecock. Yes, indeed. <laughs> indeed. What do you do? What are you going to do? You need your crimps, don't you? Loads of you getting involved. Sue, uh, Northumberland, June. Angela's got two. Mary's got two. Anne's got two. Um, Hampshire's got two. Well done. We had a big quantity of these. And they are lovely little decorative spaces as well. Yeah. Perfect little decorative spaces. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm going back to the professions. Name the profession. Give me a profession. Uh, yeah, a fine without hose. Um, an architect without a pencil. Oh, yes. There you go. Do they do it on computers now? Okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, an accountant without his calculator. <laughs> do you remember in school when your teacher used to say to, say to you, you're not going to be able to walk around with a calculator all your life, yes, are I you? Yes, I do. And she do was remember? wrong. She was wrong. <laughs> I do walk around with a calculator all and my life. And I still life. can't do long division. No, nor me. <laughs> nor me. My eight-year-old comes to me for help with her maths and I can't do some of that. No, I wouldn't. Um, wouldn't be any <laughs> use at all. Seven ninety-nine. dollars uh, mate, that's a cracking deal, Roscoe. Sweet. A cracking deal. Uh, and you get a pack of 100 of them. I've still got one more deal to bring you as well. Ooh. Guess what? You've had the crimps. What do you need now? You need their little jackets. You need don't their you? little jackets. 
crimp covers. They look like little Pac-Men. I love them. And basically, so you can imagine, you've done your crimp, you do this, close it over gently, and you create the most beautiful spherical bead. And you look so now, professional with no sticky outy ends or anything. Yeah. And those sticky outy ends um, can be quite uncomfortable too. Mm -hmm. You know, they can catch, they can get caught but in Yeah, they hair. get tangled, don't they? Yeah, so it is much better to use a crimp cover, in my opinion anyway. Um, also, they're great around knots. Yes, hide your knots in them. Great and stretchy bracelets too. Um, I've only got a hundred of these available though, jewellery makers, so um, they are much more limited. I'll hold one of your crimp covers up and you can get you get the idea. Yeah, basically, yeah, you just gently squeeze it round. Like Pac-Man without a maze. Yeah, true. Today's a bit odd. It is we are in a funny <laughs> mood today, aren't we? Yeah. First price crash. I like our oddness though. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Four ninety nine, first price crash. Ooh, that's true, good. actually. What is Pac Man eating? What are the little dots? Do people still play Pac Man? Yes. Really? I bought I bought um my husband, I think it was for Christmas last year in his stocking. It's like a proper old school you know like um you know like the vintage you know like a the arcade game machine. Yeah. But it's a little mini one. Oh. See that? It's like it's cute. like that big. And it's so good. The girls love it. <laughs> Does he ever Absolutely get a Absolutely go? love it. Yeah. <laughs> he he's quite good at it. He's doing a mute himself when he's on a conference call and secretly he's just playing Pac-Man. <laughs> you shouldn't out all his bad habits yeah. on television. Yeah. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> um, 3 99 That's fantastic. Wow. I'll definitely be stocking up yeah, on these. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get some. like a 15. If you do stretchy bracelets, use your crimp covers to go over the knot. Yep, looks really professional and tidy. does. And, it's, and you can say and it's selling silver. Selling silver. Yeah. You can also, they, they also um, are great if you make mistakes in knotting, which I do. <laughs> because they can actually, if you've got any sort of a knot which isn't quite central or isn't it's quite where flush, it should be. Yeah. yeah. You can actually add a few of your uh, crimp covers and it looks like that's how it should be. Um, we've only got 100 of these though, jewellery makers. Angela's got five, Michelle's got uh, two. Durham's got four, Karen's got two, Wilch has got two. Yeah, I don't blame you for stocking up your stashes. Um, if you've got them in your baskets, I would check them out. A mm. hundred can go in a heartbeat. It really, really can. Definitely think about getting these when you're, um, with regards to sort of the do long jade that we've got coming up at 11 o'clock. Oh, yes. Um, also your, your deal of the day. They'd be amazing with your deal of the day. You know, those wonderful opera four leaf clover designs that we're launching Lovely. and also with carol's amazing masterclass so it's luxury findings like this that make all the difference you wouldn't want to put something that's base metal maybe alongside the quality of the pearls um that carol has and that's at 12 o'clock so hi susan is the lilac jewelry case on <laughs> show today <laughs> yes it is susan that's the first thing i grabbed when i came in the studio this morning as well but there's something there's inside something in it, Susan, yes. When we say the best prize pearls we've ever done, we absolutely mean it. Mm. I don't know what they're going to, I'm excited. Oh, it's good. I've seen them, they're it's, dreamy. It's so good. Mm. Oh my days. I know, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're actually coming up in the next hour. But there is some bad news, jewellery makers. They're your fireball pearls, natural, metallic. Oops, it's okay because they've got elastic on all nicely secured. Look at those. I mean, they're literally like gold. There's 19. Oh. So they are very, very, very limited. The best price pearls we've ever done. How gorgeous are they? They are dreamy. And in that case as well. Yeah. Something special. It's very special. The deal is exceptional. 19 coming up in the next hour alongside this brand new component, this brand new design that we are taking, as is inspired by um, the Opera Tool design, which by the way is a cool £3,000 if you want to buy that elsewhere. <laughs> um, or if you want to make, your, uh, make something yourself, then make sure you're with us at Jewelry Maker because it's happening after this. <laughs>
Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step by step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your jewellery maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Hi Jewelry Makers, I'm gonna be back on the show this Saturday, the 10th of August, with some lovely summer makes. So in the 9am projects, we're gonna be bringing you some beautiful peg bales. There's eight different designs of these and they are 925 sterling silver with some gorgeous kyanite and clear quartz matte round beads. We've also got the same beautiful eight designs that are gold plated 925 sterling silver with red jasper, carnelian and yellow quartzite. And for the 12 o'clock masterclass, we've got some pretty chakra bracelets. They all come with six and eight millimeter strands and five millimeter sterling silver spacer beads as well. So there's tiger's eye, a venturi, and a mix of some multi-strand gemstones to represent each chakra and each color of the rainbow. So please come and join me if you can this Saturday, the 10th of August on Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95, charges may differ outside the UK, or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers, and now for your deal of the day. And I do think. The moment I saw these, and I'm sure you're going to absolutely agree, it's little elements like this that create luxury jewellery <coughs> immediately. Actually, if you look at some of the, you know, the really high end, if they call themselves a maison, then you know it's going to be expensive. Um, the likes of your Van Cleef and the Buccalates. Um, 
it's actually, in terms of the construction, very simple pieces of jewellery. But in terms of the motif, not so much. And not many of us will actually be able to create, I certainly wouldn't be able to create the detail that you're about to see in your deal of the day. I understand the price points that actually these high-end jewellers command when they are diamond cut precision. But your deal of the day is exactly that too. It's diamond cut precision. The whole inspiration, and one of the teams that are powers that, uh, it's one of the things the team upstairs, the powers that be, do absolutely amazing at, is keeping their ear close to the ground for some of the big designs that are being blogged about, that are being worn by celebrities that are, have just taken the jewellery world by storm. They're very good at doing that. Um, and then what we do is go, okay, so that's, that's, that, you know, that's huge. Take your early bird, for example. That's huge. Is there something that we can do maybe take inspiration from that and make it accessible for our audience? Well, that's literally what has happened today. We have amazing craft uh, um, sterling silver and goldsmiths that actually work and create your pieces. We have, we have gemstone cutters, our own cutting house. So we have those, you know, that at our disposal. That also helps us achieve these levels of luxury at a more affordable price tag. But let's go to the jewelers that actually inspired originally your deal of the day. And then I'm going to take you to another high-end jewelers that actually has a very similar motif. So Bucalati, um, the opera, Bucalati's iconic opera collection has taken the Maison, there it is, there's that word, the Maison's logo, and turned it into the main theme in every model. The focus of captivating, ever-changing creativity, combining the tradition of ancient goldsmithing techniques with the originality and beauty of its design. Um, in particular, the Thule, uh, tool decoration is one of the uh, distinctive features found in many Bucalati creations. In the opera collection, this delicate style incorporates coloured stones or enamels uh, to lend an iconic touch to objects, which free of any encasing, now become celebrations of their own shape-based beauty. In all its guises, the opera collection possesses Tremendous personality and unmistakable style, reflecting the prestige, elegance, and femininity common uh, to every Bucalati piece. And you can see on that model wearing it, she's got sort of the, yeah, on the wrist, uh, sorry, on the fingers, on the wrist, around the neckline, in the ear, um, the opera design, which is kind of a little bit four leaf clover, if that makes sense. Um, and there's your first hint. I mean, that would have been photographed in somewhere like Rome, wouldn't it? with that kind of bot backdrop. A bit what? A little bit lotus flower, absolutely. And it's actually the Bucalati motif um, that they have then gone on uh, to make it centre stage. So they go on to say, the iconic opera collection lends itself to continuous and extremely amazing interpretations. The logo element becomes a true um, I can never say it, protagonist in the centre of an ever captivating creativity. Uh, the decoration, which is one of Bucalati's signatures, becomes an iconic touch to the collection. If you want to buy any of these pieces, by the way, £8,400. It's beautiful. Look at that detailing. The bracelet, stunning. £3,000. Um, the one, the, the sort of main centre stage piece is yeah remember that because I mean we did give you a little sneaky peek it's very very similar these earrings we launched during um, or an idea behind these earrings during the Oplands weekend and they absolutely flew absolutely flew um, two thousand pounds if you want to get hold of the opera earrings and again it's that same motif this is something that lots of big maison jewelers will actually do they'll take think the think uh, van cleef and arpels um, and now their alhambra design now this is what i was researching last night every single because i do think they're quite similar 
I do think they're quite similar. Maybe a little bit more rounded, I guess, with the Alhambra. Um, but it got me thinking about, okay, we know about the tiger's eye, we know about the malachite Alhambras, but actually they do a very beaded or diamond cut precision variety, which is what you're seeing them creating just here. And did you know that every single Alhambra piece is done by hand, is literally crafted by hand? But guess what? So is yours. Yours are all crafted by hands. Um, if you want to go to Van Cleef and Arpels and get one of their five motif bracelets, uh, £14,500. Uh, £14,500. Um, what about uh, maybe in the white gold? £29,500. And that's because you've got little melee diamonds encrusted within. A few more diamonds in that one. I'm not sure if it justifies double the price, but, you know, okay. How about in this? And I thought this was genius. How clever is this? It's reversible. You can spin it round. So clever. If you want to get hold of that ring, £5,350. But again, look at the craftsmanship. And this is why I really wanted to show you. Add the Alhambra to it. Can you see the craftsmanship all in and around the diamonds? See how they almost do that diamond precision cutting. Draws the eye towards the solitaire itself, which is only melee size as well, by the way. Um, but 5,300. Watches, you can get Van Cleef and Arpels watches, 21,800 pounds. But again, it's the texturing of the actual sterling silver. Now, lovely jewelry makers. So we've taken two very, very, very reputable jewelers, Bucalati and Van Cleef and Arpels. And we have brought, put them into the hands of our skillful diamond cutters. Um, and said, come up with something that's quite similar, put pen to paper. We like to do that. Let's see if we can bring you that same level of luxury, but do so at an affordable price. I don't know about you, but I can't just walk in and pay 5,000 pounds for a ring, or 30,000 pounds, or 3,000 for a bracelet, or 29,000 pounds and 500 for a bracelet. How about if I told you, you can make a version of that bracelet at a fraction. They are stunning. Ross, I, I want these, really, really want these because there's something that I've been keeping secret for the time being. And I'm just gonna arrange because I wanna show you this. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna show you this. But there's something I've, I've, I've kept quiet up until now, Ross. And I don't even know if you know this. Adam will, because he obviously did that recording. It's front and reverse. Double-sided. Imagine that. Yeah, with light on a night out. Yeah, absolutely. Candlelight, maybe. It, it draws your eye in the same way that Van Cleef and Arpels did. Draws your eye towards the center of the motif. Yeah, quite kaleidoscopic, absolutely. But I've got to do this again. Literally, the fact that you've got, it's reversible. You don't just get the one. You get the graduation of size. So here's the one down. And then you have the smaller. You get all three in this purchase. Now there is a hundred of the gold and I've got a hundred and fifty of the silver, which for the de for a deal of the day, I have to tell you is not that much. Not that much at all. Can I make a suggestion? And I you probably figure out an order much better than I will. But imagine this with a sterling silver chain and a clasp. How about, how about, yeah, should we do that? Should we put it on the guest? Yeah, good, good call, lads. Becky is just going to take, yes. Scooch it over. Down a bit. How about that and then chain in between? A bit more towards you. Other way. Yeah. 
Imagine that with your sterling silver chain. You can imagine that in a maison or in a pair of earrings, because you get you get the three design the three shapes. You are queuing up to get these, and I do not blame you. I want to get it as well. We are going to do 60 seconds to launch. The silver are on pre-order as well. I think lots of people are going to go for this look. Imagine how much that would be in a high-end jewellers. Seriously. How much? I'd be intrigued to know. And remember, those motifs are, 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 are double-sided. So even if on a bracelet or on a wrist, it does roll over, flips over, then you're always going to have that beautiful design. A single opera, a Galileo pendant, £8,500 in the two-tone. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't got £8,500 that I can go and splash out on a pendant. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't spend it on that. I love that piece of jewellery, don't get me wrong. But I can justify the deal of the day price tag. We can see you queuing up for the gold. There's over 50 of you there. I've got, what, just over 100 of the gold. I want the, on the nose, right, okay. 150 of the silver and 23 <coughs> of you have already confirmed. I think people are gonna get both. Good luck, everyone. I've got a hundred. I knew it was going to be popular. It's such a stylish, uh, stylish look. It's such a luxurious look. You can see the quality, the detailing. You can, you can. I mean, look, look at that precision. Have you ever known sterling silver literally create a vortex? That's the thing. It's, it's almost like a vortex illusion set. Um, we're bringing this, the gold right now. You get all three. In terms of measurements, lovely jewelry makers, they start from ten mil. Sorry, 10, 15, and 20 millimeters in their size. Um, so you've got, yeah, they're large. There's a huge amount of sterling silver. So you can make one of them a centerpiece. You can use them individually. Um, or uh, you can actually use them as, you know, collectively in this one amazing design. Elaine, Pamela, Sarah, Wiltshire, Ayrshire, Nottinghamshire getting two, Hazel getting two, Vela, Glamorgan getting two, Valerie, well done. I, I keep doing this, because look at that. And then, look at that. And you're not just getting the one, you get three. Now you might think, 299 pounds, a jewelry maker, let's be honest, you know we're not stopping there but let's go to the most affordable of the alhambras and can i be controversial i love the alhambra design but i actually prefer this shape per motif and they do say that five motifs that's 2900 pounds per motif we're at 100 pound per motif now i know it's not 18 karat gold yours is gold plated sterling silver still precious metal I actually prefer this shape. How about, <gasps> for all that diamond cup precision, one of the most exclusive launches we've done, how about 30 pounds per motif? Imagine them. Yeah, one single fireball pearl. Imagine these. I want these. They'd be absolutely stunning in earrings, wouldn't they? One single pearl, or would you go the large, medium, and small, and go for, and then a pearl at the bottom? Can you imagine them? <gasps> so you'd need two pairs. Oh, they would be stunning. Imagine getting two two lots of these, and literally going the three motifs and a pearl at the bottom, <gasps> and then three on a necklace. Yes, Bex. How about how about what? 20 pounds per motif. It's a classic timeless design, I agree. I think anyone could get, uh, could, you know, could wear these. Add the silver, they are on pre-order jewelry makers, 59 pounds and 99 pence. Literally connect them, connect them with the chain. Uh, connect them with the chain. Already collectors getting involved. Are you ready? I'm kicking myself now, I haven't got my phone next to me.
Good luck, everyone. Oh, wow. Sorry, Ross, I've just literally looked at the star buy sheet. That's absolutely incredible. These are my favorite motif now. I have to tell you, um, these are my favorite motif. I think they're so regal. I think they're so luxurious. I think they look expensive, don't they? Thanks. Good old Beck, she's on board. Um, are you ready? Nothing to see here. Forget £20 per motif. You can get all three today. Oh my goodness me, for £49.99. That's a lot of craftsmanship. When you think the vintage Alhambra is 2000 what was it? 2900 per motif. Best part of £3,000. You're getting them basically... How much is that per motif for us? How much is ours? Less than £20. Amazing. I'm definitely joining you on this opportunity. They are so beautiful. Um, yeah. One single bracelet. Literally, one feature piece. £3,000. And it's on chain. It's so easily... In, you, you could create a version, couldn't you? On the ankle. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Wonderful, wonderful connectors. Right, I'm definitely thinking about those earrings now, Bex. They'd be absolutely incredible. Well done, everybody. Lots of you with it in your basket. Kent's thinking about eight. We're at less than 20 pounds per motif. But believe it or not, that's not our deal of the day price. I say R. We go even lower. There are multi-buyers getting involved. Half the stock is confirmed. You need to be quick checking out, myself included. Eileen, Elaine, Pamela, Cambridgeshire, Sarah, Wiltshire, Ayrshire, Nottinghamshire, Hazel, Vela, Glamorgan, Valerie, Worcestershire, Karen. Oh my goodness me, these are incredible. Um, I think our lovely Carol would love these also. Stunning. You've got the graduation there. So if you are going, if you're thinking on the, uh, of the earrings, so just do that. Or would you do it the other way? That's what I would do. Yeah. Like so pearl at the bottom or favorite gemstone at the bottom nice little shepherd hook at the top there look at that detailing there i'm showing you the top one just because the largest one just because it's easier to pick up all that diamond cutting and precision good luck everyone we go even lower we go even lower do you know what? I need to allocate a day to actually make all the jewellery for all the stuff that I'm buy I buy at Jewellery Maker. Oh, what? Oh, some of the rubies. Yes. Team it with the rubies that we had the other day or some of Carol's amazing pearls that are coming up at 12 o'clock. Um, yeah, these are a bit special. I think they could overtake the uh, four-leaf clover motif in terms of popularity here at Roscoe. They do look more expensive. Absolutely. They look... Yeah, you can see straight away that it's from a maison. A maison. Oh, Adam saying rosary linking with micro faceted in between. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Ten pounds each. You can go to Van Cleef and Arpels, get one of their minis, their mini clovers, and it's th it's over two thousand pounds. If you if you can't justify that. Or oh, you're thinking, I don't have £2,000, me either. That's why a lot, many of us actually start making jewellery, isn't it? Is to be able to create and wear jewellery that we love, that maybe can't afford elsewhere. Or you like adaptations of it. Yeah, you want, uh, maybe they don't fit you but, uh, um, quite the way you wish. That's what making your jewellery, um, how it really benefits you. I think if as a business... This motif, and you can say it's inspired by Bucalati's opera collection. Um, if you want to get the opera collection from Bucalati, you're talking about three grand for a bracelet, or you're talking about maybe um, even more. Let's bring you the silver, because already people are getting involved. Do, I, do, you, want me to, do you want me to do the same? Oh, what about odds? What about silver one side, yellow the other? First price crash. We've got a bigger quantity of the silver. But you have shopped out on this one. I'm not surprised. £29.99. pence. You're liking the silver back to you. She says, I'm not stopping there, though. She's going even lower. 
we're going to go straight down to that closing price jewelry makers again double sided so if you are thinking about earrings or if you're thinking about a piece of jewelry that could potentially flip over it doesn't matter because it looks absolutely stunning this way and this way look at those carol look at that detailing they're gorgeous, aren't they? I love how they catch the light. I think I would put in the ear. a gemstone bang in the middle. Oh, your gem setting as yeah. well. Yeah. That would be gorgeous. Put a diamond in the centre. Oh. Bigger quantity, sterling silver. You had gold-plated sterling silver. What? Nineteen ninety-nine. That's amazing. All the detail in it. Yeah. And it's double-sided as well to yeah. be able to create that diamond cutting front and reverse. Yes. No easy task no, at all. No, I wouldn't want to try it. You know, when have you ever seen sterling silver almost create like a vortex illusion? It is just, yeah, it's so eye-catching and it just draws you in, doesn't wow. it? Wow, wow, wow. I can see why Bucalati, this is one of their most successful collections. Yeah. So take an inspiration by said Maison. Um, there's loads of you getting involved. Um, I think these will be an on-screen sellout. Let me just double check the quantities of the silver. You've got, what, 147. It's not massive. That's not very many. No, not when we've done, we've done 300 quantity auction yesterday and it sold out. Um, so for our deal of the day, I think that most definitely will be the case. How about those bracelets as well? The beautiful little bracelet, just literally with sections of chain in yep. between. Stunning. Or a long line necklace. Oh, lovely. Or a ring. Yeah, gorgeous in a ring. Definitely multi-buy opportunities. It's going to be one of those pieces that you kind of think, oh, I wish I got more. Yes, definitely. I wish I bought more of them. <laughs> I like the idea of the long line necklace. I do. Oh, you can put them in headbands. Check Bex out. She's like putting a headband. Fancy. That would be very fancy. <laughs> Beautiful. We had 140. I don't have anywhere near that quantity. Over half the stock's gone. Erica in Cleveland. Well done, multi-buying. Audrey's got four. Jacqueline's got two. Tina's got two. Alison's got two. Faye's got two. Sorry's got two. Um, hello to you. Charlie. Lovely Charlie. L. Bucalati is my all-time favourite designer. I have two in gold pair of earrings another birthday gift for me to me thank you <laughs> charlie i don't blame you i don't blame you and i just said it. i actually think these will overtake the four leaf clover yeah because there's more detail to them there definitely is they're they're very very eye-catching yeah well done everybody make sure you're checking out we have those pearls that i teased you with earlier on oh. that would go amazing with your bucalati as well um coming up very 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 limited julie if you want those 10 definitely check out because over half the stock has gone there's a lot you've got company um well done stay where you are on those phone lines they're absolutely incredible right then one of the finest pearl strands and also one of the best prices that we've ever done you think how much this box alone would cost what do you reckon 50 pounds elsewhere yeah it's very luxe isn't it beautiful i can guarantee if you didn't see the contents you're going to be blown away firstly these are fireball pearls so mm. you have that abundance of nacre that gets it gives you a beautiful tail you get maximum luster because you have that abundance of nacre but if you've always aspired to our luxury pearls, but never bit quite been within budget, then today, hopefully we can change that. Because we promise that these will be one of the most affordable luxury pearl opportunities that we've ever brought you. Again, I always mention this, because I can bring you pearls for a tenner. They won't look like this though. We can bring you pearls for hundreds of thousands of pounds. These are luxury pearls. And I've got 19. That's it. Check out the luster. They're totally natural in their colour. Metallic, which is uber, uber, uber rare. They're absolutely insane. That purple is some of the deepest, richest purple that I've ever seen. Gold. I mean, they could, some of those beautiful pearls could pass as 24 karat gold, couldn't they? Yeah but it's natural in its color. Amazing. Three years ago, I remember, yeah, because I, I was literally stood next to Dave when I saw that, when we, I saw those pearls in person. 
and they were lovely it was the first time we'd ever actually really started the conversations not first time but we started seeing the conversations happening around fireball pearls um and i remember salim lovely gentleman after that meeting dave did message him saying okay um great to meet you same here and he says this lot my friend um is sold sorry and dave <laughs> was like oh such a shame you didn't you have to be quick with opportunities like this if you ever find more uh, please let me know but the prices that Celine was actually asking was if you were to cherry pick four thousand dollars but three years ago per strand if you wanted the entire lot two thousand five hundred dollars and that by the way you think what three years ago was pre nini we hadn't quite seen uh, the effect of COVID after that. There they are. There's a lot of golden ones in there. Really what you're looking for, and it is all down to the eye of the beholder, I guess, but what you're looking for is that perfect blend. The blend of gold. The blend of purple. Now see this necklace. Again, I was stood literally alongside Dave when this photograph was taken. Now, granted, they are bigger, but I have to say, can you also see how you've got a very obvious nucleated bead? Not quite so attractive, in my opinion. Can you see some of them? You've got the ball, and then you've got this flat nacre around it. But they, they were wholesale £6,995. Wholesale. So if you ever you want to work out what the difference between the wholesale price and the jewellers, I, I get some jewellers work slightly differently. But as a rule of thumb, either times it by three or four. So you're talking £21,000 for that pearl necklace. Hot retail. Because that's wholesale. I've got 19 available in fireball pearls where you haven't got sort of the bead and then flat nacre all the way around where you have that beautiful it should look like a comet effectively and have a beautiful tail now i know this is one of your greatest passions carol yes i personally won't buy pearls from anywhere else other than jewelry maker no it's it is out, without doubt our greatest strength i know we bring you amazing jade i know we bring you amazing Kotan like yesterday we bring you a, a you know we've traveled the world to bring you some of the world's rarest gemstones and we will still endeavor to do that but genuinely the only other establishments that I think that can rival our quality never mind about the price for a second the only other establishments that I think can rival our quality are the likes of Van Cleef the likes of Cartier the likes of Yoko of London do you know why I say those because we know that we buy the same from the same locations as they do. Your pearls are the same pearls as they have. But isn't that amazing? I mean, I remember when I first started watching Jewelry Maker and I didn't own any pearls because mm. most places I could see the ones I wanted, I couldn't afford to buy them. Yeah. And now I've got a box full. Yeah, it's incredible. It's fantastic. You source your pearls from the same place that your Cartier's, yep. that your Van Cleef, the only difference is you're not paying the Cartier price tag. No. And your Yoko's of London. By the way, if you want some pink spherical pills from Yoko of London, there's... The, in fact, I don't think, even think that's available right now. £22,500. But actually, are they wrong? I'm not showing... I'm not sort of outing Yoko as if to say, goodness me, that's ridiculous. Are they wrong? Or is it us in the best possible way? Are we wrong with our prices? Because if you compare elsewhere, then we, it's us, definitely. A single natural pink pearl. And it doesn't matter whether it's spherical, baroque, drop, fireball, whichever it is. That's down, you know, personal choice. A single pink pearl, 500 pounds. It's beautiful. It's only 8 mil, by the way, that. Crikey. It's quite small. It is. I've got 19 available in the world. These are absolutely exquisite. Highly metallic as well. Remember, from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic, and you have a full strand. In terms of size, you are getting 10 millimeter fireball pearls. 
So a fireball, you can't, also can't predict a fireball. So when you are culturing, um, you can't say, right, okay, little oyster, I'm gonna put this nuclear speed in here and I want you to produce a fireball pearl. Right, little oyster, I want you to, put, put, uh, to produce a round. I want you to produce a button. I want you to produce a brock. They don't, that, that's not how it works. You've got to think they're, they're rotated on a daily basis. Uh, barnacles are literally removed from their exterior shell so the oyster can feed and filter. These will also be one pearl per oyster so because of the sheer size of them. It's like a little lottery ticket. Now, when you see the price, even the cost, yeah, Ross is saying, our customers will think, why is it so low? It's almost too good to be true. When we bought these and first launched them to air, we had quantity, we had over 100 of them. And that's why they took it, we took it to this price tag. Yoko of London will bring you one pearl for 500 pounds. We don't do that. They might sell one every, I don't know, month, six months. We're about to bring you 19 in a matter of minutes and they'll all sell. We don't work on massive margins. We work off tiny margins. But know that you are sourcing your pearls from the same farms as those big designers. Are you ready? The graphics are about to open. You get everything that you see on your screen. The beautiful box, they are totally natural. The auction is live. Look at those purples, look at those golds. The colors are absolutely insane. Straight away we have, yeah, almost amatrine, absolutely. You've got bicolor pearls, I suppose. Electric blues, you've got bronze pistachios golds and yeah the, the richest ultraviolet purple i've ever seen straight away we've got collectors getting involved again we are in what i refer to it and this is just an elism pearl mania the world has gone nuts for pearls um you know it's it's no longer a gemstone which literally is something that uh um maybe you saw your mom or your grandma wearing this is something that every generation is wearing and most importantly you've got to think about this way most culture pearls are cultured in china the chinese have got an insatiable appetite for pearls at the moment so they won't export them so the accessibility of pearls has been has never been more challenging than it is today which means that basically those pearl uh, harvesters have got the monopoly they can command whatever price they want um, so for us to continue to bring you affordable price tag is becoming a challenge. However, we're doing it. We managed to get uh, we managed to get hold of over a hundred, and we are going to match that launch price. Can I say huge congratulations to Cumbria, Peter and Sharon, Swansea, Moira's there. I don't think we all realise just how amazing this price is. If so I'm going to ask you, jewelry makers, if you're watching right now and you are a pearl fanatic like Carol and I are, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to add it to your basket. You don't have to check it out yet. Because if you don't do that, I think you'll miss out. So yeah, add it to your basket. Genuinely, I think you'll thank me. Yeah, you'll thank me. There, I can see Patricia's a pearl lover, Susan, Sheila and Judith and Moira and Laurel. If you are a pearl fanatic like us, you don't have to check out yet. Add it to your basket because you are one step closer to getting the biggest pearl deal. We've seen the, you've seen the prices that we've shown you in the market. Let's say I had one. One available. And it was maybe knotted with an 18 karat gold clasp. That wouldn't be out of realms. How many times, and, and, and I literally get this look when I speak to the team upstairs. <laughs> I get the eye roll. Imagine that on an 18 karat gold clasp in Bond Street. In Bond Street, seriously. Yep. Knotted on silk, French wire done properly. That's a four figure piece of jewelry and then some. It's the same pearls. It's the same pearls. This is why, and I don't even have to justify it to my husband anymore. If I buy more pearls, he's like, yep, yeah, cool. Because literally, 
if I wanted to, not them sell them at a profit straight away. It's not hard. Yep. Because look at the comparisons, the prices elsewhere. Hello, Debbie saying I have these. The color is amazing. The best metallic luster um, I've ever bought. Jewelry maker are the best pills. Totally agree. Yep. I totally agree. Absolutely. And the price as well. The quality and the price though, don't you think, Debbie? We are not closing here. There's a reason why I called to our lovely pearl collectors and said, if you love your pearls, add it to your basket now. Don't have to check it out yet. Because if you're not happy with the deal that we're about to bring you, you just walk away, it's fine. But we know that you're not going to be. You have five way split pay also. 19 in the world one massive price crash and that's why jewelry maker are going to be starting doing 18 karat gold class because of pearls of this quality of this grade to 199 pounds yes a little bit of that as well adam i have nagged them to the point of submission <laughs> i was like please stop doing 18 karat gold class because we'd have to import them from italy you can go to cooks and gold as well but if you're looking for something really high end then you know they're, they're you know there's a fairly generic you know but this is the quality of pearls that should go on uh to go on 18 karat the price is also amazing, says Debbie. I like that, Debbie, keeping your cards close to your chest there. She knows the <laughs> end game. The price, Debbie, is it 299? Did we close, Debbie? Did you pay 299 pounds for these amazing metallic pearls? No, we didn't. Don't say, Ross says, don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> don't say we didn't warn you. I mean, the box alone's 50 quid, surely. Yeah. I just think about all the effort that those little mollusks have put in. They're incredible, and the aren't they? People looking after them and the years. Oh. One pearl per mollusk Amazing. as well. One pearl. So to actually to create a necklace, a full yeah. 360 necklace like this. It's a big deal. It is a big deal and it takes a lot of time. And don't yeah. forget the world has is just gone crazy for pearls. We knew that the pandemic would have an implication. We knew that. We knew it would have an implication on the price point. We knew that it would have an implication on the, on the supply. What we didn't foresee is literally celebrities, uh, uh, what do you call them now, influencers, you know, yeah. fashions trending so, uh, so changing so dramatic, dramatically. It has turned the pearl market on its head. High fashion. High fashion. Yeah. Well, without doubt, you try. You watch an award ceremony, oh, and yes. you will one hundred percent see pearls. Yep. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. She wore them the other day. One hundred and ninety-nine pounds wow. for pearls of this size, of this quality, of this metallic beauty, and you also get the presentation box as well. That is absolutely incredible. Swansea, Peter and Sharon, Cumbria, Judith, Laurel, Bristol, Bristol, Maker and Merseyside. The only reason that we could take, these would normally be 299. 299, would you agree? Least, that would be yeah. incredible. Here at Jewelry Maker, please don't think that would be the same outside no. these four walls. But because we had 100, we were able to literally take 100 pounds off that price. We told you from the start, to trust us because it is one of the best price pearls that we have ever done and that's because 199 is still not your price the next drop is our closing price though jewelry makers i had 19 i don't have 19 now so i'm going to ask you again debbie did you pay £199 for your amazing pearls that you've texted about? <laughs> I don't no. think she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't. It's remarkable. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? They are stunning. Look at these beautiful bronze. Look at these here. Oh my goodness me. Going even lower, jewellery makers. We had 19. It's a guaranteed sellout today. Yeah. This with your opera. Oh. Can you imagine? Oh, absolutely lovely. Those golds together. Imagine. A 
149 pounds oh, that's amazing can i also like never mind comparing against yoko or van cleef or cartier let's compare with ourselves before the pandemic before the pandemic though ross if we saw us if we saw a strand like this they would be that long yeah do you remember i do ross is saying i remember his first shift on this show we learned launched pearls like this with dave on the day we had a quantity of eight and they closed at 1500 pounds i remember it vividly and i'm still gonna say that's an amazing price we were honestly that was an amazing price that's what we could get at the quantity yeah. we managed obviously we, uh, jewelry maker has massively grown as a company hugely grown you know we used to do single pearls yes i remember but yeah we used to have designs that just wear one on their own it used to come in a little box didn't it <laughs> a little box and they were about this price you're getting a full 38 centimeter strand i've got one left well done uh doreen bristol you've got three justin kerry lynn what's the split pay 30 pounds <gasps> that's super oh that's last one we want it we'll fight for it <laughs> oh. Unbelievable! Amazing. Justin Kerry, Lynn Wiltshire. I think have they sold out? Yeah, they are. In, it's okay. We'll we'll take the studio sample. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for everybody. They're going to be thrilled. Oh, they're absolutely they're right. breathtaking. They really are jewelry makers. Aww. They're absolutely breathtaking, and that is a huge deal. Please know, take that one four nine price tag, and forget it. Yeah because that is no reflection of the true value or worth. It's ridiculous, it, it's, it, it is actually ridiculous. For one of those, that would be amazing. You've got a full 38 centimeter strand. I do have a very posh blue box here as well. What's in there? It looks posh, doesn't it? I think, oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, there's a hint there, these. Yeah. Do you know what's in these? I think I do. They're mind blowing. No way. Yeah. I haven't seen these before. I think I ordered these. <laughs> They're unreal. Oh my goodness. Who the, our gems colleagues lost their mind over these. I'm not surprised. Sorry, this is the first time I've ever seen them. They're half drilled. I'm just trying to get them so you can see them perfectly. Come here. Come on, stop. Behave now. Um, half drilled. Cultured pearls. It's a proper mummism, that. Behave now. Come on. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Pack it in now. Pack it in. Pack it in. Give over. <laughs> um, oh, I've never seen these before. They're huge! Look at those pinks. They are unbelievably beautiful. I threw them in my basket the minute I saw them. I bet you did. And they're half drilled. There you go, you can see the drill hole. Now, I won't believe the price. I don't know what these are going to... Tell me this quantity then, Ross. I'm intrigued. And it comes boxed like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to Stratford-upon-Avon. Pop to Stratford-upon-Avon. And let's look at the ones in the middle, because they're the white pearls. They are significantly smaller, and I do mean significantly. £480. Any pearl... So I remember asking Charlie Barron a uh, few years ago, actually, now. It's like, what's the difference in terms of pearl size rarity? And he said... I mean, he's talking about marine pearls, obviously, mm. but... I think, you know, freshwater pearls normally fall much smaller than marine pearls. Yeah. So anyway, so he said, OK, well, if you get a 10 millimetre pearl, that's like equivalent to a three carat diamond solitaire. Ooh. I, I'm fairly certain that statistic would probably still apply with freshwater because normally freshwater pearls are smaller again. I mean, you rarely see pearls of this size. No, they're absolutely Ever. colossal. They're giant. What 
measurement are these? 15 <laughs> to 16 millimeters. Some of the largest pills we've ever done. I'm just going to take one. I'll, I'll pop him back, I promise. Honest. <laughs> I'm going to try and hold them in the tweezers. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Uh, oh, look at those. Aren't they dreamy? <gasps> you don't. You can see from there the size of them, can't you? And the luster's great as well. They actually cover my earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me, they're amazing. But just one on a peg bale as yeah. a necklace, they're gonna look just stupendous. How many have we got, Ross? 60. That's amazing. Half drilled as well. So again, all you need to do is put a little bit of wire, effectively, or a peg bale, like you said. Yeah. Okay. Come in the teal velvet uh, box. Now, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo clue what these go to. I'm excited, though, because I have got my phone ready. <laughs> um, let's get a price on your screen that's nowhere near your closing price. How many jewelers? Different question then. Let's not. Wow, that's amazing, Ross. <laughs> There's 16 mil. I'd pay that for one and then some. Yeah, how much would the box be? You pay a premium for these boxes because they're the velvet ones. Normally they're just sort of run of the mill boxes, yeah. aren't they? No, these are the fancy ones, aren't they? Look, look, those pearl earrings are smaller and they're 480 pounds. In a jeweler's that's about 20 miles away from here. 480 pounds. Um, okay, seriously, that's 50 pound per 16 mil pearl. That's absolutely insane. We're not stopping there. There's three price crashes. Do you remember some time back, jewelry makers, we brought you the largest white pearl strand mm. in jewelry maker history? Yes. I bought that for my mother in law. Oh, that's a very birthday. nice thing to do. She's a lovely lady. She deserves Aww. it. Um, and I bought a gold clasp from elsewhere because jewelry maker didn't do. <laughs> we get do it. Them. We get it. <laughs> And I, had, and I had a lovely Debs knot it for me. Oh, fantastic. And that was a, um, her birthday present. I need these to go. Christmas present, yes, there's the earrings to go alongside do. it. The first price crash of your three price crashes. £69.99. pence. I know. What are you going to do with yours? Bonkers. I am doing massive solitaire cocktail rings. Oh, so they're going to be on the hand. Yeah, because you know me. If you, if, I, if you can't see my ring from space, I'm not interested. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> there are multi buyers. We go even lower jewelry makers. They've got to be some of the largest white pearls we've had. These are the pearls that should go with that necklace, shouldn't they? That, they were 16 mil too, weren't they? £34.99. pence. Go with what, sorry? Oh, the gold of the... Oh, yes. There you go, of the Bucalati. Oh, yeah. look at that. Imagine that. Oh, that my goodness. Yes, Bex. amazing. Oh. You didn't Good. tell me she was a jewellery designer. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. And look, look at the luster on those pearls just there. You oh. can literally see the reflection of the studio. So beautiful. You've got two further price crashes, jewellery makers. They're half drilled. No way. Oh, now I've seen them in person. I think I need more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you not see them in person? No, I bought them off the telly. <laughs> bought them off the t telly. 15 to 16 millimetre. Can you imagine that? They're stunning. As. We did say three price crashes. We've only done two so far. Imagine those. It's long earrings. Oh, that's amazing. Even just put them on those threaders we had earlier. Oh, yes. Instant 
glamour. Instant glamour. Look at those. I'd buy those. If I walked past you as an artisanal jeweller and you had those earrings, I would 100% buy those. Beautiful. Another minute and we go lower to your final price. They are huge and I agree they could be beautiful solid earrings because they're colossal. Not often do you see a cultural pearl of this size. No. Anything over 10 mil is considered huge. And remember, you don't have to take my word for it, to, but definitely take the advice of Charlie Barron. He knows his pearls. He definitely knows his pearls. Sixth generation yeah. pearl harvester. And, and uh, well, no, he can't now at the moment. You know, the world, the, the world of pearls has dramatically changed. He's now trading and uh, dealing with diamonds and emeralds yes. and rubies and things. Um, but I remember asking him some years ago, what's the difference? in terms of size of pearls anything over 10 mil he says is like a three carat diamond solitaire and i don't know many people that own a three carat diamond solitaire unless you're j-lo of course <laughs> uh 49 pounds and 99 pence only we go even lower we had 60 10 seconds i want to buy these ross and they come beautifully boxed You see why I bought them? It's 20, 20 pound a pearl. It's madness. 20 pounds? I know, and they're colossal. 480 in Stratford. <laughs> For the those, little ones. For the little ones. <laughs> they're nice, don't get oh, me wrong. Oh, they're lovely. 480 pounds. I would definitely go for the bigger ones, given the choice. <laughs> and, and you know, seriously, all you need to do is glue a little, glue a little uh, bit of sterling silver or whatever, gold, whichever you want. And it's on split pay, so you know it's gone too low. Wow. You just need to glue a little bit of wire, put a butterfly back. They are huge. If you go in studs, if you go in drops, they're even easier again, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, those threaders we had earlier, all you have to do is attach it to one of those and you have got an absolutely dreamy pair of earrings. Even if you just did that? Oh, it just looks lovely. Or you're thinking, no, 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 go big. <laughs> How gorgeous are these? I love that. Oh my goodness me. That's your deal of the day alongside these pearls. Well done. Um, yeah, as soon as we duck into this break, I'm 100% joining you on this opportunity. They're absolutely ginormous. Look at the quality. And here you get some lovely little folds of the nacre. Can you see just there? A little bit of fold of the nacre, but you don't get to a pearl of this size without having those characteristics. And they are literally little demonstrations um, of the fact that they are genuine cultured pearls, not faux, not plastic, not glass. Um, I had 60, Michelle, Christine, uh, Cumbria, Rupal, Maria, Anne, Lauren, uh, Cambridgeshire, Liz, Ailsa. Hello to you, Lynn, Peter and Sharon. Nottinghamshire's just snapped up too. We'd be daft not to, wouldn't we? Um, Debbie's got two. Ross is just saying he thinks he's going to buy these. Oh gosh, no! That was a, that's a really sensible purchase. Look, when have we seen pearls? And we just said a few moments ago, pearls are one of our greatest strengths, aren't they? How often do we bring you sixteen mil pearls? That tells you the rarity. I've got a pearl collection, and there are very, very few in there of this size. You just don't see them very often. No, they're special. Look at that. It's absolutely enormous. <laughs> but imagine my new cocktail ring. Oh, you are going to be able to see it from space. <laughs> oh, it's Carol with a with huge a cultured ring. pearl. <laughs> yeah, we showed you this. I know it's a different colour. I know this is a pink pearl. But it puts it into perspective. For one single pink pearl, and that's eight mil. We've doubled the size. All right, yours doesn't have the bail and everything. But yet. Then that's, yet. We can do that. We can that. easily sort that. Yeah. It's 39.99 and you get two. There's 14 left. I will 100% be joining you on these. They're absolutely ginormous. Are you getting them two ads? Helen in Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire getting two, June, well done. If you are, Teresa, Debbie, I think you've just come through and got another set. I don't blame you, lovely. <laughs> Debbie's got three now. Uh, Maureen, Pansy in Middlesex, well done. Teresa, Jacqueline, new customer, and Sharon. 
um, Helen, Nina, hello to you, Nottinghamshire, hello to you, Herefordshire, Michelle in West in Wales, are you coming through to get some more, lovely? I don't blame you. I'm Very wise. Yep. I think we'd regret it otherwise. Jacqueline in Essex, if you want those seven, oh, you need to be quick. I've got eight. <laughs> Michelle's got two. Thought so, Michelle. Well done, lovely. Well done, my darling. So again, you don't just get one. <laughs> you get two. And a pretty, pretty box. And a lovely box, yeah. Beautiful teal box. I need to get them for my mother-in-law. Sorry, yeah. I need to get those um, for my mother-in-law. There's three left. Oh, gosh. Because they would go beautifully with her necklace. Um, well done. Well done. Now, what is um, very obvious is that you have an appetite for pearls. Before we get into your do long, 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 you do long, long. <laughs> Shall we do a massive closeout on pearls? Yay! There's no logic in that statement, is there? Not really, but let's do it. First ones are sold out. Those uh, white pearls are about to sell out. I've only got 40, but we fancy being rebellious. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can I just, I know it's a bit uncon uh, uh, unconventional, but look. Like a peachy gold. Ooh, they're pretty, aren't they? they Dusky are pinks. Lovely. Like the Yoko ones. Yeah. Into the peaches. And this is all natural colour. These are not bleached and dyed. I've not seen these. They're pretty. Why have I not seen these? <laughs> they're very pretty, and we're going to do a closeout deal. I hope oh, you've got your phone handy. I know, I'm going to need to start pushing buttons. From your dusky pinks to your peaches to your whites. Wow, that's beautiful. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. I say it every time I see our pearls, but honestly, do we agree? It is that it is it's what we're best at. I just don't know how we do it. I, it no. blows my mind every time. Our own sister channel, and this is not to gloat to any of our co our colleagues that are maybe watching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because we are on big we are on big screens as well in their production office. But this is not to gloat. But our own sister channel on their twentieth birthday, which is happening in October, they normally allocate thirty percent of their on air time to pearls mm. and thirty percent of the budget. Okay. They haven't bought a single pearl for their birthday. And that's Gemporia. Oh, that makes me sad. And you might be thinking, well, why don't you share some of your pearls? <laughs> Which we would do, obviously. But Gemporia do need a different quantity to us. Yes. Gemporia has got a huge, we've got a smaller audience. We're a bit more niche, aren't we? Yeah. Not everybody makes jewellery. No. Whereas lots of people love to wear jewellery. So Gemporia is a little bit bigger. So they would do, they would like 40 would just frustrate customers. Yes, it would sell out so immediately. So that's, why, that's yeah. why we don't go, oh yeah, I have these, there's 40 available, they'd be gone in seconds. We're going to do a massive closeout deal, jewellery makers. Your first price crash on a full strand of totally natural coloured pearls. Purples, peach, and white. They're so lovely. Ninety nine, ninety nine. First price crash. Wow. How are you doing, Russ? Let's <laughs> do three. Says. These will be lovely alongside your um, masterclass as well, because they're the peaches and the purples, yes. aren't they? Yes. First price crash. Oh. 20 quid. Yeah. That's basically what we've just done. We're just giving you 20 quid. Just back. have it back. Have it gone. Have it okay. back. First price crash. <laughs> Second. Oh, go on, yeah. I have another tenner. <laughs> yeah. Good. Take it, take it. 99.99. That was already awesome, wasn't it? But there's another one. Can you imagine you went into a high-end jewellers um, look, looking for one of the world's most globally sought after gemstones, now more than ever, but although it has historically always been. And you said, okay, see that lovely natural pearl, um, multicolored pearl necklace that you actually have in your window? And it might have a, a clasp of some variety. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that's at 99.99, and that would be an unbelievable deal. Um, and get that, please. So you've met, yeah, right, lovely. <laughs> and they're boxing it up, and they go, I'll tell you what, yeah, I just have 30 quid. Here's, here's some notes. Have that, oh, yeah. <laughs> just, have, just have 30 quid back. It just doesn't happen. No. When the world desire for a gemstone I don't it doesn't just rise. No, it's just skyrocketed. It's taken over, yeah, yeah skyrocketed. The prices don't go down. And yet that's exactly what we're doing. Well. <laughs> oh my goodness oh, wow. me. These are not dyed. These are totally natural. We've basically, imagine that scenario, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy that, 99.99, that's a really good price, isn't it, for naturally colored pearls? And then you go to pay and they go, oh yeah, I'll just keep that 50 quid. Don't worry, we'll halve it. Keep that, go on, <laughs> keep it, why not? Angela's got two, Justin's got two, Lynn, Susan, William and Anne, Susan and Moira, well done everybody. Look at that beautiful palette. I just love it, it's such, beautiful gentle colors you could wear it anywhere for anything compliments everyone yeah definitely compliments your masterclass yes because if you love these colors then you're going to love carol's masterclass oh, you are. yes the very um, which similar has palette. those sort of peaches and purples yeah um these are obviously that little bit smaller so they would work really well if you want to create sort of uh, um punctuations um hi around angela sorry uh got two l Oh, well lots of done. love to you, Ange. Lovely. Well done, lovely. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. If you are loving the closeout deals, then coming up after the break, we have got the last, and we do mean very last, we are not buying any more of this. We can't. I'll explain why in a second. Um, the last opportunities of your Dulong Jade. Um, jade forms in different locations around the world. Dulong Jade was actually often um, sold under the Burmese umbrella because it's not too far away in terms of location. Um, and it has some of the most amazing water content. We cannot replace it. You're about to get um, you're about to get some of the most unbelievable closeout deals. So that's coming up just after the uh, after the break, and also the most amazing masterclass, the lovely Carol, all about pearl knotting. So we'll see you after this. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi Jewelry Makers, I'm going to be back on the show this Saturday, the 10th of August, with some lovely summer makes. 
So in the 9am projects, we're gonna be bringing you some beautiful peg bales. There's eight different designs of these and they are 925 sterling silver with some gorgeous kyanite and clear quartz matte round beads. We've also got the same beautiful eight designs that are gold plated 925 sterling silver with red jasper, carnelian and yellow quartzite. And for the 12 o'clock masterclass, we've got some pretty chakra bracelets. They all come with six and eight millimeter strands and five millimeter sterling silver spacer beads as well. So there's tiger's eye, a venturi, and a mix of some multi-strand gemstones to represent each chakra and each color of the rainbow. So please come and join me if you can this Saturday, the 10th of August on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 395. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of 595. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Oh, I tell you what, there's been some absolute beauties on today's show. Hasn't there? And we've still got, what, an hour and 40 minutes to squeeze in some more levels of luxury. And I do mean luxury. Doesn't necessarily mean at an unachievable prices. In fact, you know, you think about the likes of those pearls. You think about the pearls that are coming up in Carol's Masterclass. Little me, I shouldn't be able to afford those. No, I shouldn't. They, you know, they, those are pearls that... They should be out of reach, shouldn't they? Well, 22 and a half grand yeah. at Yoko of London. But the same applies with the gemstone that, I mean, that's your masterclass coming up in half an hour's time. The same applies absolutely with the gem that I'm about to bring you. More so than probably any other. Because Jade, and I, and I was, uh, um, Dave was asked a question yesterday. We are still very much learning about Jade here in the West. But I would say uh, our jewellery maker audience are very much ahead of most. And I mean, well, I mean that with the greatest respect is because we're very fortunate to have connections that reach as far as the Far East. Now, we were asked the question yesterday, what's the difference between Jade and Jadeite? Um, so let me explain once again. Jade is a surname. Imagine it imaginary this is how I, I break it down jade is a surname and the jade family they have um, a child and the first child is around about nine thousand years old and that's nephrite then a little a, a long, little hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years later the jade family have another child that is jadeite okay yeah they left a big gap <laughs> And more recently as well, you've now got your quartzite jade. So gemologically and chemically, they are different. As in their, their, gem, their chemical composition is not the same. Um, but they come under the gemstone family. So jadeite, the younger sibling, is actually rarer. However, there are, as we discussed yesterday certain varieties of your nephrite jade like Cochant which command the highest price of all. Now you can get all varieties of jade from different locations around the world. Um, you can get jade eye in Burma, you can get it in Russia, um, you can get 
jades in China, of course. You can get them in British Columbia. There's lots of different locations around the world. But this location is the one closest to Burma. And for that reason, actually caused a bit of confusion. I want to show you a photo, uh, an image, a map, that precisely puts where Dulong jade is actually formed. Dulong is a kind of jade produced in Goshan County on the border between Yunnan and Burma. Um, due to the close integration with the local Dulong culture and the increase in cultural exchanges in recent years, it has gradually begin, began to appear in the market. Now you might think, well, that's quite a, a vast difference. Yeah, but you can imagine the difference in terms of location between Burmese and say the British Columbia, that's huge. Um, but quite often, Dulong jade, that integration meant that Dulong jade, which isn't well known globally, was actually exchanged as Burmese. But there is a difference that I think you will notice, which I'll get to in a second. The Dulong River is a remote and mysterious river valley in the Goshan County in uh, Ninjing River, Yunnan. It is located in the northwest corner of Yunnan province. The highest elevation in the territory is 4,936 meters and the lowest is 1,000. So you are, it, it's sourced from altitude. Uh, the original ecological environment um, is intact um, in the canyon and it is rich in natural resources. The Dulong is one of um, the ethnic minorities with a small population in China. Um, it is the ethnic group with the smallest population in the Yunnan province, with a total, total population of around 7,000. Um, it has a separate language and no written language. Wow. Um, the Arab Aboriginal people living here in the Dulong tribe, uh, so the locals give it more, a more down-to-earth name, Dulong. That's they call it, Dulong Jade. Um, and doesn't she look lovely? She does. Doesn't she look absolutely lovely? She looks like a joyful soul. She certainly does. So, in actual fact, whilst we're learning more about Dulong Jade now, you might well have seen it previously, but maybe mined or sold, sorry, traded under the Burmese title. Let, if we're going to get a, any information about this from anyone, then I would definitely be looking for uh, looking towards Bernard. And Bernard says the Dulong Jade trade exists between Yunnan and Burma. Uh, then it is sold as Burmese because the, nobody knows of the Dulong, so they actually integrate it with the Burmese jade. It is very glassy. All of the material is excellent quality, um, but it is uh, very less in comparison. So as in, uh, it's not as abundant as Burmese jade is what he means. This area produces all of the world-class floating flower grade, and now it will rise to prominence as people understand where the best jade comes from. I believe um, if it is mined uh, as heavily as Burma, it will be depleted maybe two years because there's not the quantities that used to um, that Burmese jade actually had. Dulong means top grade to jade buyers. It uh, consistently produces top water jadeite. There is no opaque um, that I have seen. This is the most discovery of 2023. So very, very, very exciting. You think when we're talking about jade, whatever the location, whatever the variety, we talk about what? Color? Water content. Translucency, don't we? And remember, um, it's often referred to opaque, snow, ice, water, water being the most translucent. Dulong has the most water content. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of other photographs here. It has an appearance that is similar to that of ice type floating flower jade. Really distinctive colour as well, much more of a bluey light green. But the reality is, jewellery makers, we most likely have seen Dulong jade before. But it was most likely traded under Burma, Burmese as a location because of it's not so far away. And we didn't know that Dulong existed. Will Dulong Jade, uh, a rising star, open a new chapter in the jade market? That's an interesting question, isn't it? In recent years, it has gradually begun to appear on the market, but the output is relatively small. Dulong Jade belongs to the jadeite uh, jade species with high hardness and strong heat resistance. The hardness of jade is slightly lower than that of Dulong Jade, but its density is slightly higher than that of Dulong Jade. I don't understand that sentence, I'll be really honest. Um, because the hardness and the density of Dulong Jade are very close to all aspects of jade. It is hailed as a sister stone of Burmese. Um, Dulong Jade has the characteristics of higher 
hardness than jadeite. Strong durability, rich color, and appearance very similar to ice type floating flower jade, but the price is lower than that of jadeite. Um, that's probably because of awareness though. Yes. Purely because of the awareness. Um, in addition, it is closely integrated with, um, with the local Doolong culture in recent years. With the increasing cultural exchanges, Doolong jade has gradually and frequently appeared in the market gorgeously. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, it will surely uh, set off a new situation um, in the jade market. That is almost a change of dynasty. I love conversations and exchanges like this because quite often there's like that broken English as well. So yeah. um, you get some quite nice words just dropped in spontaneously, which I think is really good. Um, so yeah, the reality is, I think the answer to that is they don't have the output to actually for it to take over the likes of Burma or even your Kotan. Now we often reference Stanley Chu. Um, Stanley, and again, like Bernard, he's another individual um, we've got a great relationship with that we would actually ask him. If you don't know who Stanley is, um, well, we've highlighted who he is because I often casually mention him and, and expect everyone to know. So, well, he's the managing director of On Tung Jewelry. Um, but Stanley comes from a well known Jade Out family. His legendary father, Mr. Chu Che Keng, yeah, uh, has been in the trade for over 50 years. His magnificent collection of Jade Out is second to none. And this is what he says about Dulong Jade. Um, if this was just across the border, if this was in Kachin and not Dulong, the color, the, this color, this crystal, you'd be talking six figures. These Dulong jades are future heirlooms. I truly believe that. Um, all the stories now in Hong Kong have Dulong in their windows. Uh, sorry, all the stores. Um, the price is growing rapidly. I'd recommend buying up as much rough as you can if you have a good source because you could be priced out overnight with the way this material caught up at the Hong Kong show. It was the first time I've seen it there under its real name and so the recognition is as important um, piece of the equation, maybe the most crucial. So I, I go back to what I said earlier on, you most likely have seen Dulong J before but it would have been sold as Burmese with the Burmese price tag. We're about to bring you Do Long Jade, everything that we have. And then unfortunately, jewelry makers, what Stanley foresaw is happening. We are priced out. We can't buy anymore. Now we could do something that most other jewelry businesses would do and go, okay, well look, that's what the, what's that what what's the, the going rate for Do Long Jade now? Up here you say, right, let's raise our prices. We could do that. But we're a TV shopping channel, that's not how we work. Um, we wouldn't have a shopping channel if we did that with all of our high, our rare gemstones. Instead, let's just say, right, just get it gone. Close out deal and say, that's the end of Doolong. Good luck, because we start with the graduated natural glassy translucency imperial color but not at the imperial price tag i'm not i'm also going to say not at the do long price tag because the reality is that's that's gone at a close out price tag stanley said it was the first time i've seen do long jade under its real name and so the recognition is as an important piece of the equation, maybe the most crucial. He said, you probably have seen it, but you've seen it as Burmese because it's not too far away on the map, which if it was sold at Burmese, it'd be sold as Imperial and it would have the Imperial price tag. There's, there's six of these available. You could knot that, put it on, on, on a high-end class. It's the last chance to buy. We are drawing a line, sadly, um, in the sand for Do Long Jade. We can't get any more. Um, so what we have is what we have, and you're gonna get them at closeout deals today. The graphics are live, massive opportunity, a window of opportunity that, yeah. We, uh, uh, again, 
Well, he said, didn't he? All the stores in Hong Kong have do long in their windows. The price has grown rapidly. I'd recommend buying up as much as you can if you get a good source because you could be priced out overnight the way this material caught up at the Hong Kong Gem Fair. So here is a great price. You try and find Imperial Green Jade, whether that's Burmese or do long, you try and find Imperial Green Jade natural at a thousand pounds. It, it won't happen. No. Natural Doolong Jade. I'm going to show you the launch price. Because we are closing no way near the launch price today. We need, we need the space. Okay, I just want to say something. Some, some time ago, I think it was really on the, it was on like a turning point for us when we started what I call Jade Fever. You know, where we started really seeing the most beautiful jade here at Jewelry Maker over, over our years. I remember watching a channel, a shopping channel, not us, um, not our sister channel, another one, one of our competitors, and they were bringing a necklace that doesn't look too dissimilar to this, and they just said jade, and I was like, okay, I'm curious, is that what kind of jade then? Um, but it was dyed beyond all imagination, yeah. I don't even think it was a jadeite or an ephrite. Um, I don't even think it was a quartzite, a quartzite jade, but it was type C, polymer impregnated. It was almost neon green and it was way more than what's on your screens. Yours is totally and utterly natural. It is gemologically certified, natural, do long jade. Massive closeout deal, jewelry makers. We launched it at 499 but we are not closing it there. You don't have to take my recommendation. And in the world of Jade, I would 100% be looking to the likes of Bernard, Stanley, Dave. I've got six or had. Sally Hewer. Today, 299 pounds for the most imperial strand i've ever seen goodness me the most imperial color i most likely ever will see to be yes. truthful you know um it, it has the most beautiful it is the most barbara hutton isn't it um it's that water content that beautiful translucency it's that matched gorgeous coloring remember another another thing stanley actually uh, educated us on there's only one piece of jewelry that is more valuable um than a carved bangle and he said that's a matched strand and you have a beautiful matte strand. You know, he commented as well um, about the floating flower. You get these lovely pools of concentrated green. Um, yeah, the strand on the right hand side is the Barbara Hutton, probably one of the most iconic uh, jade out pieces of jewelry in the world. Um, Barbara Hutton jade out necklace acquired by Cartier um, at auction for a record breaking $27 million. Cool. Features 27 imperial jade out beads. Um, yeah, literally, we, don't, we, we, we put it alongside it. We launched this at £499. We have had special permission from the powers that be. Said, right, okay, this is the situation of Doulong Jade. We can't buy anymore. We're priced out. We're already £200 lower right now. How about then we half the launch price? We've had permission to close it out. There, will, well, there won't be a better time to get Doulong Jade because, quite frankly, we won't have it. And also, if you do see it elsewhere, Doolong Jade's not going to be at the prices that you're going to see. Hello, Caroline. Uh, this is perfect. I have this material. Cost me... Oh, sorry. Cost me more to get. I can't see it. Uh, my suggestion, grab it with both hands. This price is bonkers stunning. Bon oh, it's bonkers. Stunning piece. Thank you. Um... Caroline, I've got one left. It is bonkers, isn't it? Look at that colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Not it. And I would be inspired by the Barbara Hutton piece. Which I don't know. It was about 27 million if you want to buy that one. It's probably more now. <laughs> um, launched at £499. Today.
We've halved that price for you. It's the most imperial color I probably will ever be in the presence of. 14 millimeters these go up to, which is absolutely incredible. Hazel, Durham, Cumbria, Lanarkshire, Wiltshire, Susan. Um, good luck, new customers. Um, amazing. Now this is it. This is all the do long that we have. The next opportunity is a strand of 10 millimeters. And I've got, oh my goodness me, Ross, have you seen this? I love the Doolong. It's beautiful. Hang on. These busts are lovely, but you can't get your finger in there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's solid imperial colour, isn't it? And again, it's totally natural. Um, yeah, if you've admired Doolong, now's the time to get it. Yeah. Because we won't have it on our screens again. Oh, that's just gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? First one's gone well done. The faster we work together, the more I can break well. Saying that, I might be more... I might be... I've only got 20 minutes, but also, I, I might run out of do long. I haven't got masses of it. Bye-bye. First one <laughs> sold out. Remember the launch price that we told you on the previous strand? This is um, not graduated. It's a similar carrot weight, 260 carats got eight left can I get a different bust sorry it's just a bit big on there so the bust is a bit big um 499 pounds was the launch price previously we're gonna do a huge closeout deal half the stock has gone I've only got five of them left are you ready What? Must you took from 499? From 499 down to 149. Oh my goodness me, look at that right there. Wow. Unbelievable. It's not far off the same carrot weight as uh, the graduation. It's just if you like that linear look. Totally and utterly natural. Definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity, yes. lovely jewelry makers. Plus, yeah, you've got your split payment. My um, call screen's frozen, just so you know, so I can't see your names as of yet. Roscoe, my call screen's frozen, so I can't see um, any names at the moment. I've got Lanarkshire, Wiltshire, Durham, Jamati. Valerie's in as well. I've only got two of them left. In fact, now there's one. Beautiful. Collect on the phone lines, you can do it. Glasgow, if you press your option one, it's yours. We Again, this is the end of the road for do long for us. We're literally priced out of it's it. It's so sad. It's such a beautiful stone. It is beautiful. For one, you can literally go through for that last one. If you dial now, you will get that one. If you are the person that picks up the phone lines, dials 0800 644 655, you can get that last one. Okay, I'll leave it with you. Next up, eight millimeters. Oh yeah, that. Oh, it's very. That's amazing. Very chic. Uh, eight millimeters, so wearable as well. Yes you've seen the kind of deals that we are intending for one of the mo the finest examples of jade in the world um do long jade totally natural with the most known and celebrated for the glassiest um of water content and then you've got the most amazing imperial green but the reality is jewelry makers we most likely will have seen do long jade before but it wouldn't have had the title because of its close lo location, it quite often was sold under Burmese uh, the Burmese title. Now it's getting recognized because obviously the Burmese mine is not operational anymore. Uh, previous launch price, 499 pounds. Roscoe. Okay. What, how many do we have? 16, oh, that's a big quantity. Nice size too. Very wearable. Hmm. Okay. 
How about then in one minute? Oh my goodness me. What what Stanley foresaw? Get it now, he said. You might be priced out overnight, like it was in Hong Kong. How about if I told you, jewelry makers, we're gonna take Du Long Jade, certified natural, for under a hundred pounds. How? How do we do that? Close out. We are literally. It's, it, this is more functional. Yeah. We are doing this to basically say, okay, it is what it is. We can't buy any more. We've got limited quantity of these, so we need that location within the vault. Remember, you had Liam on the other day talking about how we share a vault, don't we, with our sister channels? An hobby maker, they take up space. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're bringing it to you. There, I've said it out loud. We had 16, did you say, Ross? 15. 16. It's going to be under £100. Durham says, give me two. Valerie, Lynn, Heather, Gloucestershire, Lanarkshire, Jamati, and Heather wants three. Unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable. The most imperial colour that I will ever see in person, I think. It's other than maybe a museum. Stunning, stunning green, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. And like all your jades, whether you're talking about... Kotan, whether you're talking about Burmese, whether you're talking about Dulong, whether you're talking about your quartzite, just keep it really traditional, you know? Yes. That classic knotted design, it's up to you, obviously. You know, like Barbara Hutton, you know, probably the most iconic piece of jade jewelry in the world. The Barbara Hutton necklace, um, acquired by Cartier at auction. I can't remember when this was, it wasn't, it was quite a while ago, but $27 million. Can you imagine what that price tag would be now? Probably hundreds of millions. Yeah. It well, well, well that was years ago, so it's gonna be it's gonna be hundreds of millions now, isn't it? For the Barbara Hutton necklace. There she is wearing it right now. I've got six of these left. Are we gonna do close out? You don't want to put anything back in the vault? I'm fairly mm -hmm. sure there's crew that would snap up the last of these. <laughs> okay. Extra saving, he says. I want to clear them. I want to, I want to sell everything out. He says, do, too long. Uh, I've do long today. Can't say fairer than that. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, end of the road. Which is really, it's a real shame. It's, really it's some sad. of the finest that I've seen. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. And it was a very fleeting window of opportunity, yes. wasn't it, as well? But we were there. We were there. We had it. At least we can say we actually yeah. had it. And our customers actually maybe own it. We're custodians of it. Exactly. We are going lower. The finest. The glassiest translucency. This natural, beautiful colour. Everybody pays the final low. So if you were the first people or the very last people, everybody will pay that final low. It's a totally natural gemstone. Remember just to repeat. Never mind what I say. Take the, take the advice of Stanley Chu. If this was just across the border, if this was in Kachin, not do long, this uh, colour, this crystal, you'd be talking six figures. These Dulong Jades are future heirlooms. I truly believe that. All the stores now in Hong Kong have Dulong in their windows. The price is growing rapidly. I'd recommend buying up as much uh, rough as you can if you have a good source um, because you could be priced out overnight um, with the way this material caught fire at the Hong Kong show. Um, it was the first time I've seen it there under its real name and so the recognition is as important, uh, sorry, is an important piece of the equation, maybe the most crucial. We're not saying do long jade is mined out. It's not, it's taking off. We're priced out. I've got three left. Wiltshire, Susan, Kerry, uh, Helen, Jane, Susan, Sheila, Cumbria's got two, Jamati, Gloucestershire, Lanarkshire, Lynn, Heather, Durham's got two, Valerie, Alexis, you can do it, Patricia, you can do it, Heather, you can do it, Maker, you can do it, and there's loads of you with it in your, uh, on, the, on the phone that need to press their option one. Oh, there you go. There you are. I can see two anonymous makers. Look, look at the split pay. $19.99 for Do Long Jade. You know, the reality is, most of us, if we've seen this elsewhere, we'd have, 
up until the sort of recognition and the fact that we are shouting about Doolong Jade as a different location, because it's operational. Burmese mine's closed, so they have to explain where it's come from, don't they? Yeah. So they have to go, oh no, this is Doolong, literally across the border. I've got one left op uh, one opportunity left. It's close out deals. Um, if I think, I think I'm right, Ross. Is this the only round strand left? Done. Do long rounds. Not quite done. Because there is one more strand, a brand new strand that you haven't yet seen. Do you want to see it? Have a guess what gemstone this features, other than do long, obviously. That's stunning, isn't it? The red is Nan Hong, also mined out. I have another brand new strand. Rye speeds. I'm very taken with this. They're both beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Brand new, but also close out. Their first airing is going to be their last. Aww. Did we go and save the best till last? <laughs> yeah, I love these two. I love this one, I can't decide. Yeah, it's hard. Do you know they both look lovely with all the strands that we've brought you so far? I mean, if you wanted to extend that strand, you could easily put the other rounds in there, couldn't you? Perfectly colour match, perfectly translucency match. These are coming up. Now, Ross, next question, do I have quantity of them? The one with the... Okay, the rice bead shape, we've got 40. And then the do long with the Nan Hong, we have how many? 35. So the, the reality is they are all going to be limited, aren't they? They are going to be limited. We're talking about two of the world's rarest gemstones. Mm. They're both available on pre-order. So do shop ahead. Shall we do really two more brand new items before we get to your premieres? Okay. Um... I want to put that on a bust. That's too long. No way. That's too... Sorry, it didn't seem right just being on that little plinth. It needs to be on a bust. Here we go. No way. Of course, I mean, you've got, you've got carvers that can actually... You've got carvers that can um, obviously cut your Burmese jade. I'm trying to find my tweezers now. Um, your Burmese Jade and they are going to be the same carvers master carvers that actually work with your Doolong Jade I've lost my thank you imagine and I know you've seen this before how complex it is to carve interlocking links out of one boulder no splitting no soldering interlocking links look at that water content and again that's something that stanley really emphasized jade is far easier to uh um as well as two grading factors really color and translucency and when we're talking carvings artistry and you might be thinking okay that's not so difficult Okay, so imagine how that started. That started as a boulder of whatever size. You can't create a ring and then a ring and then solder them together. They literally have to be carved as one. I, that blows my it mind. It blows my mind. I just can't imagine how you would achieve it. It's absolutely magical. Look at the water content of these. They're absolutely beautiful. It's the best I've seen. They are brand new. Believe it or not, jewellery makers, these have never been on our screens previously before. The first time, how many do we have? 
I've got 40, okay. I'm going to start with the rounds and then I do have, just to give you a little bit of a teaser, I do have the hearts as well. <gasps> the graphics are live. How gorgeous are these? There's 40 of each. You can shop ahead on the hearts. Or oh, I think you can. Look at that water content, that beautiful translucency. Remember the words of Stanley, it was talking about the fact, look, if this was across the border, if this was catching uh, not too long, this, uh, this color, this crystal, those are those two grading things, the color, the crystal, how the water content basically, you'd be talking six figures. First price crash, I've got 40 available jewellery makers, 40 available in the world, all the craftsmanship, all the work that has gone into these. It's the end of the road for us, unfortunately, for Dulong Jade. We cannot afford to keep buying it. It's not mined out. First, wow. First price crash. We're not saying that Dulong Jade is mined out. It's not. Burmese is, which is just across the border. Um, what we're saying is we can't buy anymore, so we have to draw a line in the sand, so let's literally close it out. You know that. Instead of going, okay, it's going up in price, you say. Stanley, we'll do the same. No, we don't do that. Um, we literally drop it on air. We do spontaneous closeout deals, and um, we enjoyed it while it lasted. <laughs> the quality of your do long. We're already at a closeout price, in my opinion. I have 40, or had. Just literally Lark said not that. Look how beautiful. I love this. I, uh, the movement in it. Yeah. It's just superb. It's like, well, interlocking links are mm. often um, often symbolic of partnership or friendship yes, as well. Yes, and eternity and yeah. infinity. And, so it's a lovely, it's yeah, a lovely... It's a really uh, nice thing. It's quite a, sentiment, a sentimental carving. Yeah. It might look simple. It's anything but. <laughs> it's anything but simple. It's probably one of the most complex to achieve. In fact, I remember the first time I ever saw it, it was probably, um, it was in a design that was sold at auction and it had a carved Buddha at the bottom and it was six figures, of course. Wow, yeah. 49.99, we're going even lower. Well done, everybody. Wow. For, oh. Ooh. Staggering the auction, says Ross, because we are so busy right now. An unbelievable opportunity for you to acquire, be the custodian of the legacy that is Dulong Jade. The legacy that is Dulong Jade that, remember, is significantly smaller in terms of its, its offerings um, than that of Burmese Jade. So you are not going to get you know, tens of thousands of years history like we had with your Kotan. You're not going to get 800 years of history with this location. It's far rarer. Um, much, much, much smaller deposits. But absolutely, the Hong Kong trade fair, gem fair, sorry, and the jade market has gone crazy for it. Because the reality is they've probably seen do long before. Everybody pays the final low. We have to say goodbye to it because unfortunately we're priced out. Can't replace it. That wonderful glassy water content. And I love the fact that we have, we have the contacts to be able to say, okay, what do you reckon, Stanley? Wow. What do you think about Dulong Jade? Future heirlooms. He says, I truly believe that. And here we are at twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> I can't believe that. Twenty nine. It's laughable, isn't I mean, it? That's absolutely. Stanley, bonkers. what do you think about Dulong Jade, future heirlooms? That's his words. Yeah. It was uh, the first time I've seen it under its real name, and so the recognition recognition is as important piece of the equation, maybe the most crucial. Mm. Because you've got to think about it. If if Jade is appearing from that loca locality, if you like, the it can't you can't say oh that's Burmese Jade anymore. No, nope. because that's done. So it's like oh no, this is Dulong. Dulong's just across the border, and and all of a sudden you're going to have all these uh, these Jade miners going. What? There's another jade mine across. It's all very secretive in that part of the world. Well, it has to be. Um, yeah, exactly. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. £29.99. pence. You can shop ahead on your beautiful hearts, the interlocking hearts, which I'm um, very much a fan of. Um, you can also shop ahead on the rice beads and also um, 
the Doolong with the Nan Hong. Um, so you can shop ahead on those. Very, very, very exciting opportunity. Lovely jewelry makers. Twenty nine ninety nine. Only because, only because, close out deal. Two very exciting opportunities. Because see this one here, teamed with Nan Hong Agate, mind out. Do you want to know what the black gemstones are with that Nan Hong strand? Not jet, not spinel, black jadeite. Wow, I love that strand. It's beautiful, isn't it's it? It's absolutely gorgeous. One more auction, both on pre-order so you can grab them. I've got 40 of each, so they are quite limited. You'd have them together? Yeah, amazing. Well, today's the day to do it because they're going to be affordable prices. Ah, oh, look. we It's widely referenced that the heart shape is one of the most complex shapes to carve. One of the most complex shapes to facet let alone carve, because a facet is basically flat surfaces, isn't it? Mm. All the way around at angles. Whereas a carving is curved, so probably uh, more challenging again. There are tricky angles in hearts if you make them with anything. All yeah. The ins and outs of the points. Can you imagine actually carving out of one solid piece of Doulon Jade of this quality a heart? can't imagine where you'd even begin <laughs> no can you imagine you can literally see through it we've said that before in fact wasn't that in this article about the icy icy jade where do you remember when we first launched uh, um launched um ice water jade eye and we and dave actually showed him reading a newspaper yes through an ice jade cabochon you could do that with your do long jade 15 millimeters interlock it look at that they're gorgeous aren't they guess what they should be more every every single one of these items should be more what a nice anniversary piece this would be oh, or a wedding gift yeah a wedding gift how nice is that it's lovely i might have to get some of these it's a lovely gift and like, like I'd wear that on a chain, yes, but I, I know that my husband would probably wear it on a bit of leather or something yes. like that. Yeah, you could put leather on either one, couldn't you? Yeah. Oh. So gorgeous. It's just and beautiful. It's such a pleasing shape and all that, that shine on it, that watery shine. Yeah, that translucency. Mm. And affordable at this price tag. That's a mad price. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it is, it really is. Let's go back to Bernard again, another, again, for me, he's like, if you want to know anything about jade, you go to Stanley, you go to Bernard. Um, and Bernard says the Doolong jade trade exists because uh, between Yunnan and Burma, uh, then it is sold as Burmese. That's what he's saying. Um, and he's saying the same thing. He's saying the same thing as what Stanley was saying. He was saying it's sold as Burma, which is what Stanley was saying until it's recently been recognised. It's very glassy. All of the material is excellent quality, but it is uh, very less in comparison, as in it's less available. Um, this area produces all of the world-class floating flower grade, and now it will rise uh, to the prominence um, as people understand where the best jade is actually from. Um, I believe um, if it was mined as heavily as Burma, it would be deplete with may within maybe two years. Um, well, we have been priced out. Doolong uh, means top grade to jade buyers. It consistently produces top water jadeite. There you go. There is no opaque that I've ever seen, says, uh, says, says Bernard. There is that top water grade. £29.99. pence. I think I have to join you on this. I think it's a nice one for a nice little... Uh, Christmas present or anniversary present? Yeah, I want this one too. Sweet, isn't it? It's really lovely. Beautiful. Well done. Now, as if we're about to bring you <laughs> a launch, but also a closeout. We're launching it, but we're closing it out at the same time. <laughs> it's a one show wonder. All the information that we have shared with you, the fact that the reality is Doolong is not new. It has been mined for a period of time, but actually only now we're, we're understanding that from a local population of around about 7,000, if Doolong 
the Doulong Jade that was is probably existing already in the market probably comes under the Burmese title. But obviously, uh, since 2020, since the closure of the Burmese mine, now whatever is coming from that location, it has to be Doulong. We're going to start with the one which is teamed with none other than Nan Hong. You also know the situation with Nan Hong Agate, right? Not all agates are the same. Nan Hong, Sakura. I always forget, I can never pronounce the one which is a bit avocado. Alashan, thank you. Alashan. They are some of the most valuable gemstones and also incredibly rare. They're natural. Nan Hong. They've seen, the Chinese have seen this mined out previously before. Fast forward a few centuries, they discovered a Nan Hong Agate mine, another deposit. And we went to the Hong Kong fair, uh, gem fair at the beginning of this year, not, not especially looking for Nan Hong, um, but we go to those locations because, you know, you need to be there to get the up-to-date information. And it's quite vital that we did, because if we hadn't, we wouldn't, wouldn't have known this. Nan Hong, this material is so rare now because of the situation of the mine. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jade in the market now. Okay, right. This is the most red, red jade out Nan Hong I've seen. Do you see what I mean? Um, but it's saying, what's the situation in the market? The mine closed in November, which is the last Nan Hong mine in the East and the last one in the world. Um, there's only 40 available jewellery makers. It is going to be an on and gone opportunity. Teaming natural, genuine certified Nan Hong agate with natural Do Long Jade. It's what, sorry? Seven to eight millimetres. Last chance to get hold of your Do Long Jade rounds. The graduated strand sold out, the 10 mil sold out, the 8 mil sold out. This is the last chance for you to get uh, do long in rounds. Even if you take this and separate it, you if you don't want the Nan Hong to go alongside the do long, separate it. Do you know that they're even, they're actually taking, going back through the mine and grinding down Nan Hong, the fragments that they can find, the offcuts that they might have got from shapes like this, mm. grinding it down to create powder. Here it is. Oh, wow. And even that is fetching a thousand Hong Kong dollars per gram. We're at 99 pounds and 99 pence, but we're not stopping there. I love this strand. Because it's also giving me the Barbara Hutton vibes with the combination of the red. All totally natural. Cumbria, I don't blame you for getting four. I would too. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the only uh, Doulong strand that we have um, in rounds left. Um, and it's one of the very last opportunities that we've actually got in Nan Hong. Um, yeah, Nan Hong Agate, we've got maybe a, a couple of strands, that's about it. Um, Valerie, Cumbria, well done. Lanarkshire, Wiltshire, Margaret, I've got Jane, Kerry, Olwyn, and Maurice there too. Jane in Somerset, absolutely amazing. 20 seconds, we're gonna take it even lower, lovely jewelry makers. I'm going to wish you all the very best of luck. There's 40. Good luck. Natural Nan Hong. Natural Do Long. Divide that price in half. Have we ever done... Have we ever done Do Long Rounds... At what, 35 pounds? <laughs> Have we ever done Nan Hong rondelles at 35 pounds? It just sounds ludicrous, doesn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Do Long, sorry, Nan Hong is one of the rarest red gemstones in the world. It's mined and it's closed now. Mm -hmm. It closed in November, just gone. November, just gone. Do long operational, very rare. They believe that if it's mining the same rate that Burmese was, it'll be gone within two years. Uh, 69 pounds and 99 pence. 
Olwyn, Alison, Heather, West Sussex, Linda. This is the first part of our penultimate auction. It is penultimate, isn't it? Because we got this one too. Let's go again. Come on, we're running out of time. Yeah. We've got big quantities in comparison to um, everything else that we have brought you. Well, to be honest, yeah. Do long jade, we're never gonna have massive quantities. Remember, the reality is we, we might have seen do long jade before. Who knows? The Barbara Hutton might be a do long jade. You never know. We don't know. It's about the warty translucency that fine crystal structure, that beautiful imperial green color that's natural, it's not dyed, not polymer impregnated, not type B or type C, um, but previously would have been sold under the Burmese umbrella because the locality of Doolong wasn't known before. Crazy, crazy, crazy deal. No Doolong, no Nan Hong should be anywhere near the price that's on your screens right now purely because we've been given authority to close it out today 49 pounds and night look at that 49 pounds and 99 pence um get your certificate of authenticity it's definitely you know yeah that's uh, yeah that's worthwhile doing it will say those crucial words not enhanced yeah not dyed which most of us would assume both of agate uh, uh, you know of um, certain varieties of agates most definitely would expect with this imperial color for it to have undergone maybe a polymer impregnation i've got seven of them left linda snapped up two allison snapped up two wiltshire snapped up two joyce caroline hello to you linda uh michelle susan gloria marion maker in west sussex olwyn heather jane margaret you can still do it but you need to be quick you need to be quick and i have got one finale strand to bring you in the do long collection and that's it there's loads of you with that in their basket so i'll leave you with uh, leave it with you okay the finale what you're gonna do this but it's got black jade out in it okay takes millions of years longer for a black jade <laughs> to be black but okay hi ho yeah there was, 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 was a few million years between friends eh i love this strand so much it's gorgeous isn't it it's just beautiful what is it the shape that you're loving the shape and the black and the yeah i just think the black brings out the green and i don't know it's just there's the floating flower as well you can really see in adam's recording the floating mm. flower so well balanced and a gorgeous translucency it's mm. all natural the doolong's natural the type a jadeite's natural this is brand new it's never been on your screen since the full 38 centimeter strand it's such an elegant shape isn't it the yes. speed shape that elongation really yeah. works well really suits the gemstone straight away thank you for your trust valerie cornwall sheila alice and wiltshire it's going under a hundred pounds it's never been on your screen so it's a brand new premiere we've got how many 40 on the nose yeah okay we've pledged it under under 100 pounds under 50. Oh, that's amazing i like seeing it on the black background too yeah oh, look at that oh it's gorgeous absolutely stunning isn't it Hang on. What about this? What about this? And that in there somewhere. Oh, beautiful. Knotted that together. Yeah. And that as you drop. Yeah, you could even suspend yeah. it if you wanted. Absolutely amazing. You have just got the rice bead do long with jadeite. Burmese jadeite, so they're, 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 they're literally all um, mined in the same location, or was for the black. And you've just got the Nan Hong and the Du Long, <laughs> both of these, I know I'm concentrating, for less than £100 today. One of them on their own shouldn't be anywhere near that price tag. Absolutely. 
You know that because they run three-way split pay. The Doolong and the Nanhong should have been way more than £100. The Doolong and the Burmese Jadeite should have been way more than £100. You've just got both for less than £100. Massive closeout deals, jewellery makers. We have been given authority and permission to basically say, OK, say um, bye to Doolong. Unfortunately, we are priced out. It is one of those um it is one of the it's a real shame it is bittersweet but at least we've had that window of opportunity to say that yeah, you know to get absolutely. hold of it you know um and it happens you know the same with your look burmese jade is actually deplete is gone however we've still got burmese jade we can still buy burmese jade it's accessible it's affordable to us but what we can't buy is Doolong. now ross just said there is one final auction is it that Oh, it is, yeah. Okay. Finale, don't tell me this is do long. Is it? Oh, I've not seen this. Nor me. Ooh, oh, it is do long. Mm. <gasps> oh, there's loads. <laughs> Get a nice little posh head. A lovely little bag, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. You get your cord. Oh, very nice. These colours are glorious. Wait, 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 wait. This was the last of the rounds. <laughs> and we didn't have this size, Ross, in our rounds. Yeah, we didn't have six mil. So this is the only opportunity to get six mil. Yeah. Okay. There's only seven, so you've got to be super speedy. Two 38 centimetre strands of certified natural Doolong Jade. Wow. Ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence is absolutely incredible. That's the last of it. Do long, literally. It's, no, it's two thirty-eight centimetre strands. How amazing is that? That's a fantastic price. It, it really is. Yeah, really, really is. The final seven opportunities: twenty-four pounds ninety-nine pence on your split pay. You got two strands here, um, which is absolutely incredible. Lots of you there. The uh, oh wait, that, and there's another one. Oh yes, there's another one there. It's for Marlers. Look at all that. Right, lovely jewellery makers. We have four left. I'll leave that with you. Keep an eye on the website. Wish list items that if you feel like you've missed out. Now, coming up after the break, we've got the most amazing masterclass. Um, the most amazing piece of jewellery. Um, it's truly inspired. These are perfectly spherical, natural pearls. And of course, um, Carol, wow. <laughs> what an amazing amazing design we're going to be learning about the wonderful historic technique that is pearl knotting we are. and most importantly you're going to see as well one of the most incredible deals to go alongside that project and um, so join carol and i just after this <laughs> show this Saturday the 10th of August with some lovely summer makes. So in the 9am projects we're going to be bringing you some beautiful peg bales. There's eight different designs of these and they are 925 sterling silver with some gorgeous kyanite and clear quartz matte round beads. We've also got the same beautiful eight designs that are gold plated 925 sterling silver with red jasper, carnelian and yellow quartzite. And for the 12 o'clock masterclass, we've got some pretty chakra bracelets. They all come with six and eight millimeter strands and five millimeter sterling silver spacer beads as well. So there's tiger's eye, a venturi, and a mix of some multi-strand gemstones to represent each chakra and each color of the rainbow. So please come and join me if you can this Saturday, the 10th of August on Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewellery Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewellery Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewellery Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Jewellery Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is 3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK, or upgrade to our premium option of 5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. We just want all of a sudden went. Of course, cold in here. <laughs> Chilly, isn't it? Oh, no, that was me demanding that they turn the air con no, on. No, no, no. I'm, my I'm fault. The, I am that person as well. <laughs> um, but then it gets to twelve o'clock, and it's like yeah, chilly, 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 chilly. Now, um, I'm just going to ask ask for a little bit of housekeeping from our lovely Ross first. Ross, how many of these masterclasses do we have? Really? Ooh. Eighty-three. They're brand new. You've been spoilt with pearls today because these are stunning. I um, was so pleased when these arrived. Ross, what are these going to? Oh. It's exciting. Okay. You know, we said earlier on this morning, we brought you two different, oh, two, I'm going to say two very luxurious pearl opportunities today, this being one of them. Definitely. But they've all been very, but they've both been very different. They'd work together yep. really nicely. So the first luxurious pearl strand that we brought you were those fireballs, yeah? Mm. If you love fireballs, but you are looking for the Yoko of London perfectly spherical pearls. Sorry, if you love colored pearls, but instead of the fireballs, you want them to be spherical, this is the one for you. They are very, They're very unbelievable. lovely, yeah. And the um, colours are fabulous. They're insane. Yeah. Becky, sorry, I think I've left my star by sheet over there for a second, but I'm only asking because I want the piece of paper. If I left it somewhere over there. Never mind. I'll use this. Here you go. Now, something I learned from Charlie, that if you are looking at pearls, top tip, look at them on a white piece of paper. Because there is nowhere that anything can hide. That's right. 
and also a pearl will reflect its surroundings so for example if I was to put a pearl a white pearl necklace up to um, my neckline and I'm wearing a blue blouse then it would reflect blue so if you're looking at grading your pearls pop it on a per on a white piece of paper sorry it's the first time I'm looking at oh my goodness I know I mean, yeah, let's. Green. Oh my God, they are, there's proper pistachios. They are graduated as well. They are big. If, if, they, if, we, if we've got the very mention of the word near in our graphics, there's nothing near <laughs> round about these. They're perfectly spherical. We do undersell and over deliver. Look at that one. It's like a rose gold. Look at that. Oh, look at that one too. That one's nice. Oh, I love them all. They're complete bronzes. There's everything. There's the whole range. Adam, just because honestly, these are all absolutely breathtaking. Can we do from end to end? From your blush pinks to your pistachios, to your peach, to your golds. Oh my goodness, look at these. There are 83 available opportunities, jewelry makers, and they are all natural. See what I mean? They are spherical pearls, aren't they? Oh yeah, absolutely. If you are looking for the irregular, the quirky, the interesting, the fireball pearls that we had earlier on were insane. Yeah. If you are looking for the perfectly spherical Yoko of London natural coloured pearls, this is the opportunity for you. But instead of just having your purples and your pinks, this actually has your pistachios, this has the papayas, the golds, the bronzes, all of the above, and it's graduated. And just recall, remember, cast your mind back to what kind of prices Yoko of London was asking. One pink pearl. Let's yeah. go there. Yeah? Or there. Which one? <laughs> that one? One single pink pearl in Yoko of London on an 18 karat gold class. Yeah, should we go there? I'm just singling this little guy out. Just. 500 pounds at Yoko of London. That's one pearl. And by the way, this is bigger than eight mil. Oh yeah. You want to go to that one? Yeah, I agree. Yep. Oh, and that one. Look at where are we? Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> Look at that one. Oh my goodness me! How would you even choose? I mean, look at them all. Yoko of London reached out to us, you know. Oh. They actually reached out. Well, I say us, Dave. <laughs> they reached out to Dave and said. I, d I can't remember if this was actually, but he did mention, but I can't remember if it's actually in Hong Kong or if it was actually here. But if you go to their website, I mean, look at that pendant. Email went back in stock. Yeah. They don't have the pearls. And they actually reached out to us and actually said, where are you sourcing your pearls from? We source from the same places that they do. They're like, okay, well, would you like to sell any? No, because we could do that. <laughs> We could do that, but we're only, why? Because it's one of, it's our greatest seller here yeah. at Jewelry Maker. Why would we then go, okay, Yoko of London, yeah, you are. Yeah, you take And more. our customers, <laughs> customers would miss out. So it was a case of, um, unfortunately, no, because it is still a difficult situation for us. We're, you're, we're literally just part, you are literally passing the buck. Yeah. By doing that. So Jewelry Makers, to have 83, when Yoko of London sell them individually at £500 each, on a gold bale, granted, and on a chain. But that's, gold isn't running out. No. And it's a simple bale. And a simple chain. Yeah. I could make that. Yeah. You don't just get the graduated pearls. You also get the silk. You also get the silk with this gorgeous kind of soft... A little blush colour. Yeah, like a blush yeah. nude colour. It's very nice. Stunning with those pearls. And even here at £1,999, you try and find... Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're in the centre, aren't we? So let's go here just for ease. Two, four. There you go. 
We've matched the price of Yoko of London with those four. There you go. <laughs> and by the way, you get more than four. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Goodness. Forty-one. I'll go on. Should we? Should we? <laughs> forty-one. times 500 i tell you what ross i tell you what grant you gotta buy the gold chain mm. okay so let's let's say let's say just for kicks 300 then because you've got to buy the gold chain and the gold bail so 41 times 300 pounds Twelve thousand three hundred pounds goodness me so again, it takes me back to, you know, that £22,500 necklace, is that unrealistic? <laughs> are they wrong or is it us? We are not stopping here. About £300 a pearl, yeah? Next price crash. Look at that. That's a really unusual colour, isn't it? It's like a rose gold. Mm. 300 so buy one pearl, get the rest for free. Basically, nice. <laughs> I like that deal, Roscoe. That's a great deal. And we are no way near done. There is not nearly enough people on the phone lines. I'm loving your, your idea that Lariat. So this is multi-wear? Yes. Yeah, so because all you have to do is fit your loop in between whichever pearl you choose, you can wear it long, you can wear it short, you can wear the drop to the front, or if you've got a backless evening dress, oh, you can nice. wear the drop to the back. And I just pulled out two nicely matched ones to make some earrings to go with. I mean, seriously, Carol, those earrings alone should, should, should be best part of that price, shouldn't they? Yeah. 300 pounds. We showed you those pearl stud earrings in, in Stratford-upon-Avon that were 480. Oh, yeah. Weren't they? Do you know where we are per pearl? Seven pounds no. 30, and we are not <laughs> done. There's not oh. nearly enough people on the phone lines though. 20 miles away from our studio right now, you can get a pair of pearl stud earrings for £535. We're at £7 per pearl, That's and yours madness. are natural. That's completely mad. So you can make those earrings for £15. Goodness. And save yourself the 500 odd quid. <laughs> Go, oh, look at that. Honestly, these are incredible. It's our greatest strength. I've always said it, jewellery makers. And I think for as long as we have pearls on our screens, I always will. Look at those. Not them on a high-end gold clasp. Hiya, Margot. The Lariat necklace is just ace. I love it, she Aww, says. Thanks, Margot. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to learn how to create this. 18 seconds. Alice, well done. Claire, well done, multi-buying. Marion, Cumbria, Caroline, Vicky. I buy pearls, not just because I'm smitten by them and they're absolutely beautiful, but I also buy them knowing that even outside of the, 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 the hugely inflated prices that pearls are right now, even five years ago, I wouldn't have been able to buy pearls at these prices. No, absolutely. There's no way I would have bought pearls of this caliber at 199. Never mind Yoko, never mind Stratford upon Avon. We used to bring you pearl strands that are about 15 centimetres long that were more than that. Yeah. Pre Pearl Mania. Oh, that. Oh, any of these. Ooh. That's beautiful. Ombre, 18 karat gold, pink pearl, freshwater, freshwater pearl, same as yours. What's that? 14,000? I mean, I do like that very much. Me too. It's 14 grand. Yeah. It's a very nice car. <laughs> yeah, just... yours 100%. I bet you yours would probably sell before that one. Mm. Because it's more interesting. It's a, it's a less common shape, I suppose, isn't it? A lot of people just have a plain strand, but you don't often see a pearl lariat like that. No, you really don't. Good luck, everybody. We're at £49.75 and pence only. Don't forget, also, you get the silk and you get um, the instructions as well to create this beautiful lariat necklace. Marion, you can do it. Cumber, you can do it. Caroline, you can do it. Vicky, you can do it. Alice, well done. Claire, London, new customers getting involved. 
these are I, I totally agree we've brought you sorry ross is just saying in my ear it's like I, i'm a bit confused what's going on these should have definitely sold out by now we're already far lower than what we should have been 299 was really our guide price <laughs> we've gone lower and i'll tell you i'll say oh sorry we've gone lower purely because of the time we we're running out of time and i was like right, okay go straight down to that price tag if what Okay. Okay, Ross is, okay, do you want me to repeat that? Ross has just said, okay, we're a live TV channel. If you go into a high-end jewelers, you've got, all, you've got all the time in the world, haven't you? We have no permission to do this, but sometimes we have to be reactive. Um, we have 83 of these available. There's no point in us bringing them to wear and only a small percentage of them selling and I'm honestly I wouldn't know I'd be lost for words to know what what was said any other place we go okay fine move on move on so give them to our sister channel or we can say to you we can work together if there is enough of you because we're already too low we're a hundred pounds lower than we should have been and that's because of the time 60 seconds then Ross can see if he can crunch some numbers. If there's any wiggle room, and I can't guarantee it, but if there is any wiggle room, he will go lower. He says, but I have to see the response to even try that maths. Does that make sense? So this is where you lovely jewelry makers show Ross, stop the clock. Remember the Brox that we did earlier? Yeah, what did you do? I can't remember. What was the price? <gasps> okay. But how many, how many do you need? 30 people and okay there's 14 now though okay the brocks that we had earlier on we will match the price if 16 more of you join us um again this is different we are different to retailers jewelry retailers they don't have like the kind of straight uh, time restraints that no. uh, a live tv show they also don't have the quantities that we do and they'll go i'll tell you what if we sell this amount then we can take it down to that amount no that yeah? just sits in the window for as in long as sometimes it? for years yep. years and years and years okay there you go i get it lunchtime lunchtime lol we are gonna we crunch well i say we ross has crunch numbers we're already a hundred pounds lower than what we should be Oof. Look at the quality. I mean, literally, I'd pay that price for any one of yeah, these. What a bargain. I might have to join you on this, you know. That's an unbelievable price. And it goes lower. If there's enough of you. I'm making assumptions there. Is there enough? Cool. We are going lower. Look at the quality of those pearls. They're not near rounds. They are rounds. I don't care what anyone says. They are round pearls. Oh. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, right, I can say this categorically, we are not going any lower than 149. No. The physic, the computer literally physically will not allow Ross to go any lower. Alarms will go off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We literally cannot go any lower. That's an absolute steal. You've got to remember, brilliant round pearls are still the most expensive. Yep. And you've just got round pearls, naturally coloured, yep. of size, yep. something I've barely mentioned, um, at one hundred and forty-nine pounds, and your silk, and your instructions—it's yeah, exactly it's an amazing price. I'm going to join you on this opportunity. Look at the split pay; you know it's too low. Well done, everybody! Please make sure you check out your baskets. So if we work together on that one, we should have been—it should have been double that price. We should have been at two nine nine. Well, but then we were like, oh, we're a little bit late. Let's go yeah. and drop it. Let's just knock a load off. Um, well done, everybody. You got even lower, just like I said, to make sure. I can't bring a handful of these. Uh, bring them to air and only a handful sell. They're too beautiful for that. Um, right then, Carol, take it away, because you do get this instruction as well, don't you? You do. You get all the instructions on how to make this necklace and how to do pearl knotting. Right. And I think a lot of people find pearl knotting either intimidating or frustrating at first. And it's all about where you position that knot and people struggle to get their knot close enough to their pearl or their bead and that's where they get cross. Right, okay. So we're gonna have a look at that because it's really worth learning. It makes your pearls or your beads drape in just a completely different way than if you put them on something without knots. 
Um, so when I made the lariat necklace, the both ends have got the thread through the pearl twice because there is, as I say, no clasp. And so the first thing I had to do was to take the pearls that were going to be the first and the last and then actually widen the drill hole on those. So you can do that with a reamer, you can do it with a, a, a pearl bit in a dremel, um, but wear a mask because it gets very dusty and you don't want to breathe that in. But once you've done that, it's really quite simple. So if we look at the example I've got here, the pearl necklace begins with three seed beads, then a pearl, then another seed bead. And so you see I've pre-threaded mine, I've gone through those, then back up, skipped the first seed bead, through the pearl, tied a knot with both strands, and then threaded that end through those three seed beads. And what that means is I can now cut off that excess and you will not be able to see any tails, it will be nice and secure. And that is how the whole necklace starts. I did mine in order of size, so I started with the largest pearls, and then worked my way towards the smallest um, because I wanted that weight hanging down in the drop. But the, the way um, the knots are done, I always use a tool. I know some people do it with a pin and, and a board. Um, but it works much more easily for me this way. So you can either use knotting pliers or you can use some round nose pliers or if you've got some pointy tweezers, you can use those as well. And the point of having the tool is so that we can reposition the knot before we tighten it, which is how we get it right next to our bead. So if I thread, these are not real pearls, these are my demo, demo pearls. imitation pearls. <laughs> <laughs> so if I thread one on there, you can see we've got the knots right in between the beads there. And the easiest way I find a pearl knotting is you wrap it round and then you pull it through the loop from behind and lay your silk out out of the way so it doesn't get tangled and then what I do is through the loop I put my tool and I grasp the silk really quite tightly where I want the bead to end where I want the knot to end up right next to my bead and then I can let go because I'm holding everything with this tool and I take my free end and I tighten it and while I tighten it I make sure it is closing around the tool and not in a tight knot. So then I can lay that down and you can see that that knot is still open and it is quite close to the bead but if I were to just pull on that tail it would tighten away from the bead. So what I do then is I take my pliers or tweezers again, I put them on the length of thread and I use them to push the knot down towards the bead or the pearl and that's how you get it really tight and close like that now when I put my next pearl on I can then use this bead to finish tightening that up even more so if I then push the new bead it will tighten that knot up against the previous one so I'll show you again you go around the hand Around the hand and through the back of the loop lay it down nice and tidy and take your tool through the loop and grasp where you want your knot to end up and then slowly 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 tighten your knot around the tool then we push it down you don't want to grip too hard you want to be able to slide without fraying your silk push it down to the bead and there's your knot nice and tight. So it's something well worth practicing. The necklace is done exactly the same, except obviously the pattern is a pearl, a knot, three seed beads, a knot. So essentially there's just a knot either side of each pearl. But it's worth practicing, it's not difficult. Most people have got either pliers or tweezers or something they can use for this. I think we've got some available as well. Um, we'll put putting the tweezers on your screens ah, right lovely. now. Yeah, um, it's got exactly how many? The same. 
40. So these are also the ones that you see me using all the time yeah. in the show. But because they've got that nice point, it's exactly yeah. the same as the pliers. It closes around and then you just push it down towards your bead. So it's simple, takes a little bit of practice, but once you've nailed it, you've got it forever. Yeah, absolutely. Diamond tweezers, they're great. Can you, um, can I just borrow those mm. for one second? Because actually, the other thing about diamond tweezers, they're fantastic, obviously, for pearl knotting, but um, if you want to hold something in place, you actually have this slide in, that's, you slide it up and it holds it closed. So very clever, isn't it? Yeah, these are my ones. I, I think they're fantastic. Yeah, they are great. I literally. bought them, imagine, yeah. imagine a gemstone, then you wanted to hold it there. You literally just slide that up until it, so it grips. And it's great because little things you're forever dropping. And if yeah. they're locked in there, you can't. Oh, they're, 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 they're <laughs> the best quality tweezers yeah, you can have. Yeah, they're superb. Yeah. But they're great for this too, because that little pointy end means that you can slide off your knot really easily and then just push it down. Yeah, best tweezers we can recommend and definitely amazing for your um, pearl knotting. Four pounds and 99 pence. Bargain. We only had 40 available opportunities though. So again, make sure you're oh, yes. checking out Helen, Linda, Heather, well done. I've got Angela Fife. We don't often see them on show either, no. do we? I'll make sure I don't steal yours. Give me, give me my give precious, me precious tweezers. Your precious, <laughs> I bet, yeah, I bet it's one of those things you're like, oh, where are my tweezers? <laughs> And I do, you've seen, <laughs> Adam say the same, he goes into a little bit of a hot flush if he loses we're all, we're all a bit like mine. <laughs> Stay away, they're mine. People steal them. Yeah, because then, Ad, from Adam, how do, you, how do you record your gemstones? Yeah. Certain gemstones, like. They do, they need fixing, don't they? Yeah. How do, how do, how do you knot your pearls? If that's your technique. How do I show you little individual uh, um, connectors if I haven't got my tweezers? We all go into a mild meltdown. <laughs> if we can't find them. Yeah, they are the best <laughs> tweezers ever. Um, Brenda, Barbara, Kerry, well done, but I can't remember the last time they were on air and 50 is not a huge quantity. No. Um, well done, Merseyside, Maker's got two, well done, they are gonna sell out today for sure. 4 99 that's amazing. It is a really good price, isn't it? Yeah, an amazing price. They're great to have. Yeah, I might try it with those tweezers. I've never done that before. They have a little grippy bit on the inside, so if you find that you're slipping using a, a round nose plier or something, these have got a little cross hatch that makes them a bit more grippy. So it just depends what you prefer, but they are. I they, find it much easier than with the pin. They're, they're, yeah, they're longer, so I think they're probably more comfortable to hold as yeah, well. Yeah, well, do, you don't need much grip, do you? They're yeah. very easy to close, whereas I think if you're using these, you've got to sort of open them and close them, but that's sprung, so that opens yeah. itself. There, there was, a, when, I, when I was working in the jewellers, Carol, way back, God, 25 years ago, <laughs> where's that time gone? 25 years ago, and there was um, lovely Brenda, bless her, bless her heart, she's passed away now, but oh. I, was, I mean, she was, at, um, she was pearl knotting, like I said, she was in her 80s when I was working there. Um, and she'd always worked there. She'd worked there like 50 years at wow. the Judas, which was amazing. And she only used to knot pearls. Well, it's the skill, isn't it's it? It's a huge skill. And it's, I think it's getting rarer. I think there's fewer yeah. and few people who, who know how to do it. Yeah. So it's well worth learning. Yeah, and she used to sit like, we used to chew the fat, put the world to right, Aww. we did, Brenda and I. Well, do, you a, do you want a cup of tea, Brenda? I'll go make you a cup of tea while she was knotting <laughs> her pearls. The drape it gives to pearls, though, is just like yeah, it does. nothing else. Yeah, it gives this lovely movement yeah. to them. That necklace is absolutely exquisite. Well done. Um, okay, what's this? Premier Craft Tool Soft Grip Pliers Times 3. Ah, yes. So if you want to do the round nose version. Have we got a photo? Ah, so this includes flat nose, round nose, and wire cutters. Set of pliers that are perfect for shaping craft wire. Um, they each have a comfortable grip. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Oh, they're the foamy ones. Yeah, so I had a look on the website and I thought, actually, that's a really good deal because you get the round nose if you want to do this or wire work, but actually you get everything else as well. That's good, isn't it? And when you see the price, you'll think it's even better. How do you know all these prices then? I'm very nosy. Yeah, she's, uh, she, <laughs> you're in, I just say in the know. I do a lot of shopping. <laughs> 11 pounds and 99 pence for all three. It's Gosh, good, they love, it? And they've got the long handle ones. Mm. I find them easier to hold. And I think because they're coloured as well, you can you can know which one you're picking True. up. Because I always spot my pliers by the colour of the handles. That's a good point. Go, go straight to it then, don't yeah. you? Because I'm no always more fishing around, yeah. rummaging about. For there it. you go. Make sure you're checking them out. Have we got a quantity of these, Roscoe? Oh, 200 available. So you've got cutters, 
flat nose and round nose. So you can have a go with whichever ones you think work for you. And then you've got them for everything else as well. Do clean them first. When I got these round nose pliers out of my box, they were covered in metal smithing filth. <laughs> right, and you don't want to be <laughs> rubbing that, that on your silk. silk. No, no. no. Give, give them a In nice fact, wipe down. Well, at this kind of price, I mean, would you almost be better actually keeping a pair yes. specifically yeah. for your silk? Keep a clean pair and a messy pair, absolutely. Yeah. Um, now, again, I need to mention, um, we've got a beading board as well. If you haven't yet checked out your baskets on those beautiful pearls, um, the project, they are, I know our graphics say near round, um, they're not near, they're perfectly they're spherical. Near, you get the silk and the instructions. Ha who remembers these? The classic beading board. I used this because as I say, when I made this necklace, I had to arrange my pearls from largest to smallest. Yeah. And I did it on that. I don't think you can beat this. No, it's brilliant. And I put my seed beads in one of the little pockets. Yeah. And it's just a perfect work surface. In Nothing terms of, rolls away. <laughs> no. In terms of making jewellery, I'm going to be adding this to my order, actually, because mine seems to have gone more keys. But um, it's perfect, isn't it? Because you've got the measurements in inches. You've got the measurements in center in centimetres. You've got those, all these lovely little wells. Yeah, I'd show you mine, but it's battered. It looks horrendous. Oh, well, you'll be pleased to know the price tag of this one, then. Oh, can I have a new one? Uh, yes. Ooh. All sparkly and new. How many have we got, Ross? Hundred? Uh, that's not enough. They're great though. Both. Inches and centimetres, 9.99. Wow, it's brilliant. There's a little place for a clasp or you can put your silk or your findings or your crimps. Or and you know everything. where centre. Yeah, and also I, I tend to do half of something and then wander off. And so when I come back, it's all still laid out properly. Yeah, Everything's it's in, in its little, right place. Because they've got little wells, haven't they? Yeah. So if it, for example, if I just pop this down for a second, but if I'm looking and I'm knotting and I'm thinking, okay, well, I need to know where exactly that centre is. <laughs> it's exactly the same. Oh, there story. we go. It's the photograph <laughs> that Carol's literally just put. There we go. But then they're in order. You can just work your way around. You don't have to wander off and look for your crimp tube. There's that photo. <laughs> Uh, except mine's old and falling to bits. <laughs> Three ninety nine. What? Told you. Wow! I can have a new one. Fantastic. Mm. Three pounds and ninety nine pence. We've got a hundred. They're fantastic. It's I just use such these a all good the time. Bit of kit. Yeah. Yeah. They're great for stretchies. Yeah. Because again, you've got centimeters and you've got the inches there as well. And you can, like you just said, you can, if you've got to wander off, take the dog for a walk, whatever yeah. it might be. Let but they're the good for out. designing as well because you can try things on the board before yep. you've actually strung them. Yep. So you can, you know, oh, I fancy that colour, or I'm going to move that bead. If you want to make the graduated necklace, you know, like the Yoko of London yeah. one. If you want to make that graduated necklace, you've got the three wells. Can you see that? It will do the measurements for you. So you can do that one. So one, two, three. Which is not that easy to do without a beading board. No, it's quite complicated maths, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not. I and don't I don't, like nobody that. likes maths, do they? No. I don't anyway. I can't do it. No. I don't like doing it, I said. I don't like it. I'm rubbish at it. Three ninety nine. I'm all up Ooh. for a, a board that does it for me. Exactly. Jan, Maurice, Patricia, Laurel, Maker, Warwickshire, London, Georgina, um, Elizabeth. Hello to you. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it's minimal. Our call centre are getting to you. I promise. Um, check out your baskets, Elizabeth. We only had a hundred. Now, um, if you've just tuned in, you're thinking, oh, I missed the I missed the masterclass. Um, you also could have potentially missed one of the best pearl deals ever um, because these are perfection in a cultured pearl. They are totally natural, not bleached, not dyed. You can get round pearls, baroque pearls, button pearls, drop pearls, rice pearls, fireball pearls. You can get all sorts, can't you? Still to this day, every cultured pearl, before it starts the process, they aim for it to be around because it's still the most expensive variety in the world. Look at the quality of those round pearls. They're unbelievable. The colours just blow my mind. And you can dye a pearl, can't we, Carol? You could. However, you're not gonna. These are natural. Yeah. And they are big. They are whoppers. Now, we did <laughs> run out of time. So we went immediately lower than we should have done look at that look at those look we're under magnification here jewelry makers 
we're under magnification and you can see how perfect how perfect they are we basically half the price of what we should have been and that's jewelry maker price never mind outside these four walls yeah you know if i had brought these to air at 299 would we all agree that's an unbelievable deal absolutely 149 just is illogical basically well done everybody make sure you're checking out because i've got pauline jean merseyside Ayrshire, victoria lily lynn barbara suzanne cumbria caroline and i've got vicky who wants three you get the pearls and you get the silk and you get carol's amazing instructions for this beautiful uh pearl lariat style necklace so you've got that literally uh to print off it becomes available upon dispatch of your order. I mean, look at that piece of jewellery. That's gorgeous. And then you have your knotting instructions forever. Forever. So if ever you need to jog your memory, it's in there. Because that's the thing. It's not just a project. It's actually the techniques within yeah, the project. Absolutely. Um, we've got a message from uh, guest designer Ellie. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> Hello, beautiful ones. Carol, such an amazing project. Really beautiful designs. Ah, thank you, Ellie. I agree. Now, you know what? Speaking of beautiful designs, we've got time just to show off your fabulous creations, lovely jewellery makers. We haven't forgotten you um, <laughs> in the Wall of Fame. I think I can guess who this first piece is. Great. Yeah, knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Who created this first piece? 226 by the amazing Sean Kerr. Hello, Sean. It's the patience of a saint. He must do. <laughs> like, amazing. This is an ambitious. Sorry, this is the most ambitious and difficult piece I have made to date. It took almost three weeks. I bet. The huge dragon is made from copper wire and I set the wings with lapis lazuli. The body houses a glorious labradorite cabochon and I set tanzanite into the tail. Um, the eyes are made from rubies. Wow. The Cellini spiral aspect of the necklace was a challenge, but I wanted each side to change directions, and that nearly tipped me over the edge, he says. <laughs> um, I wire up the connector to attach the two sides together and to provide something uh, for the dragon to hang off. Um, I could not have made this without Jewelry Maker, and everything in this piece is Jewelry Maker, so thank you uh, for giving us the ability and the materials to make our pieces. Love and hug. Sean, you are absolutely incredible. You really, really are. Um, such an artist, absolutely yeah, amazing. absolutely. 226, well done. I have got 227, which is Francis. Says, hi everyone. Oh, wow. I hope you get this okay. This is my Mark Smith project. I hope you like it. Isn't it beautiful? I think Mark would love that. That's gorgeous, Francis. Yeah, well done. And I know that's a labour of love as well. Yeah, that's not quick, is it? No, <laughs> no, you're all amazing. Well I'm done. loving this suite of jewellery. And this is from Brenda Chibnall Smith. Hello, Brenda, you're number 228. Um, hi all, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Uh, this week, um, two makes, one for uh, one I think was Yvonne, um, made not as good, she says. Oh, Aww. don't do yourself a disservice. Um, but I like it when it's on, um, and the other is Black Spinel and Clear Quartz set. Hope you like them. Good luck to all Waffers, and she says, and to me. Good luck Aww, to you, my good lovely. Luck, Brenda. Amazing, you truly are. That's all I've got today. Yes, three, three, just one to three, three today. Good job, because we've been. We've been busy, busy, busy. Busy last we? hour. <laughs> oh, amazing. But do get your entries in, though, jewelry yes. makers. Uh, do get your entries in because you never know. You might you might be our next weekly winner or runner up because you basically get some jewelry maker readies. And we love seeing them. Yeah. Do you know since day since day one we are, or week one we've done Wall of Fame. Isn't that amazing? Hundreds of thousands of pounds yeah. given away. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's nice to see, though. I think if, you, if you're a designer, it's lovely to see how people have interpreted your design. Yeah. We well, just we enjoy thing. it. We want to see what you learned or Absolutely, made. Absolutely, because you inspire us as well. Lovely. Carol, should we talk about what's coming up on mm. tomorrow's show? Let's. Um, so, um, with Carol, uh, <laughs> other Carol, other lovely Carol, at 8 o'clock you've got uh, your antique style connector. Oh. Um, oh, and you've got, are they amazing? 
Yeah, very I'm excited nice. Excited for that. Um, nine o'clock, you've got gorgeous Claire McDonald with a wonderful space of beans. Aww. Uh, Ten o'clock, quartzite jade selection, Ooh. which is always beautiful. Um, Eleven o'clock, you've got a brand new jet selection. Mm, That's I love exciting. Jet. And then twelve o'clock, we're going to be talking starfishes and pearls. Aww. Love it. That's a nice combination. <laughs> Is it a lovely kit? The pearls are incredible, says uh, says Adam Aww. in my ear. Um, lovely Carol, when are you back? I don't know because I'm having surgery on my wrist, so it might be a while. Aww. I'm not allowed to hold pliers. So you're gonna have a little break. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little rest, get better. Yeah, you I'm look you, you look after yourself, won't you, darling? Yeah. I shall oh. miss everybody. We'll miss you, but you can still go on Facebook, right? Yeah, I'll use this hand. That's okay <laughs> then. Yeah, go on Facebook. So I'm still shot at then. Oh. <laughs> Best of luck with your Thank surgery, you, my lovely. And I know you've got a lovely little face my, over there that will take amazing. My little helper will look after. Me. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, you might as well come round my house. I'm looking after two. I can look oh, after yeah, two of you then. <laughs> Have a lovely <laughs> afternoon, everybody. I'll see you very soon.